Hey everyone, I'm Justine and we are here at the first ever Gfinity live in London and I'm joined with Mr. Chris Puckett. How are you doing? I'm so great right now. It's a beautiful Saturday morning here in London. We are in the heart of the city. Big Ben Parliament, just a few minutes of walk away. Yeah. This is fantastic. You guys can't actually see it because it's a little bright out, but there is such an amazing view up here. Oh, it's absolutely gorgeous. You can see the entire city from around here. The stations are all set up throughout the building so you can see all the different landmarks. Couldn't ask for a better venue here in London. No, but the reason that we're actually here is we have Call of Duty and League of Legends tournaments going on all day today and tomorrow. Can't ask for a better Saturday, Justine. Nope. So you guys have two full days, so stay tuned, keep tweeting, and we will be right here. Four props, see if, see if they can climb back into this one. Surely still in the game here, ton. And Jake has to go big right now, has the Scorpion out, picks up one. Can he get the turn on? No, he can't. It's still a stand up here, but yes, he does. Oh, huge play by Jake. Prophecy with a massive play out of that man. And now they're going to be looking to climb back in, only down about 30, 30 points here on the hard point. Can Jake pick up more? Yes, a ton. This is a very nice play out of him. Can he pick these score streaks up? He has a Hellstorm available. Let's see if he actually calls it. It's about to reset. Oh, it's going to be a big kill. Huge kill by Jake. Jake going so massive for Prophecy right now. Oh, my God. It's a big difference. Oh, Jake, you're on fire, sir. You deserve the full screen. Got him red. Oh, but with Salas now going on the ball, that gun in his way. Takes him out, though. Is he going to go that way? Yes, he is. We do actually have Exodus inside the home. Against gets taken out by Salas. Salas, formerly a prophecy. Oh, my God. Salas. They are threatening from the hay bales. If they get that spawn, surely it'll be over. But Unite going massive right now. Three kills on the feed. That's all four down for Prophecy. And here comes the Unite comeback. This is him down. Babe's going on the four kills. Three kills. It's looking like Unite are going to take this away. Still inside the half point. The six points up. Oh my god, Crunchy's going to come in there. Proxy in control. Currently contested. On board with the chain. Four points in it at the moment. Are they going to catch it up? 14 seconds. What's going to happen? Last 10 seconds. Bits jumps in. 2.30, 2.30. 10 seconds remaining. Currently contested. It's going all the way down to the wire here. Who's going to win it? Oh my god, Proxy, you going to take it. Two points in the Oh, two wait. Oh, oh my three god. seconds differential. Prophecy going massive at the end. Huge plays out of there. I nearly burst a blood vessel there. Oh my god, what is happening? First game of the day, first map of the day. You know, G-Finit, you keep going like this. That is fantastic. This is player one here on your screen, as you see in the picture in picture. And here we go. It's be Swanee now. Oh, oh Sours. Picking up the big two-piece. <laughs> Look at him coming in there with a final two-piece. Fantastic play with MSMC. Gets a little bit lucky, if anything, but picks it up well. I mean, they just lighten up. Really. It seemed like Lucky and Sowers knew exactly where they were. A very, very smart play out of him. He is going for the kill and does get it. Does, he's not going to have time to get the defuse, but still, nonetheless, massive play by Sowers. Seven kills free for him, and he has all of his score streaks. Yeah, well, yeah. I so, think he, he really needs to use it now because the players are getting a little bit taking bullets as well. Swanee's oh. going to take that. There's a two piece there. Oh my god, Swanee picking up a three piece. Not going to get a fourth, but Jake's going to take that away. That's going to be six three to Prophecy in the second map. So, Prophecy leads the series now two games to zero. And I guess I'm in England. I need to say nil. It's two to nil. Two to nil. Two to nil. Great position to pull the flag well. here. He is going to spot Lucky. All players here for Unite are on the spawn. And there you see a great play out of Prophecy coming in using the teamwork. You see the map and you see all those Prophecy players running together in a line. Big teamwork out of them. Excellence picking up a kill there on Sowers. There you see Swanee on the Pasco and Gunshi on Lucky. Surely this is going to be a flag cap here for Prophecy, and yes, it will be, as they do take the lead. One to nothing ton, great plays out of them. Feed down now for Unite, Pasco lasts alive, he's defending. Flag does get pulled by Prof, we're on board with Jake, who has pulled that full the, that flag yet again, and he's running pull side. He's gonna throw a smoke here right behind, behind his teammate, Gunshi. And look at this, ton, can they get this flag cap? It's looking like it, I mean, Swanee is just coming out there, very oh. He's down the right hand side. Look, he's alive now. Swanee picks up the third as well. He's going to be very close to the score streaks as that second flag goes in now. 50 seconds remain on this half. Swanee, actually not as close as I thought. Yeah, but still, he was the catalyst in that. That oh flag cap. Oh, nice shots there by Swanee. No. Oh, no, he <laughs> on raid. And here we go. Can anybody pull a flag? There is one player here threatening. It's going to be Vapes. Vapes going for that sneaky pull. Can he actually get it out? So many Prophecy players around him right now. 
So let's see if he can actually make this happen. There's going to be a player up top here. Oh, he does get the kill. He's taking fire, though. And Swanee lasts alive here. Unite does have the flag. I don't know if they have enough time here. They are taking it a very weird way. It's five seconds. Can he actually make this happen? It's going to be very, very close. Bates gets out of his way. Two seconds left. And yes, he does get that flag in with about 0.4 seconds on the clock. Wow. Yeah, that was huge. Very, very... Just a great play there out of Pasco. I believe that was Pasco who just went in for the flag pull, even though he was one versus four behind the prophecy lines. But there you go. I mean, it just shows the payoff. Never give up. If you're near the flag, pull it. Oh, Jay coming in with the knife. He's famous for that play. Fantastically well there. Picking up the two pieces. He's going to run this down. It's looking like prophecy. I'm going to put this flag in. I'm going to with Jay. He still has a Oh, the cutoffs are looking very, very nice. Now you see on the map overhead, who's this going to be? And that's going to be it. Looks like Excellence picked up that kill mid map and that flag. Hardcore and contested. Hellstorm missile inbound. And we're gonna switch on board with Ray, who's picked up two kills. Perfect timing as he picks up a third here, trying to make it a fourth with the MSMC in hand. Hard point gonna go upstairs down. and Envy takes the hard point. From that hill, trying to bring it out. But Curse have done such a good job on that shot halfway, bringing it back, and they do not control 185 to 183. Voices is gonna go all the way to that last hill. Oh, and Black, you know, they needed, Curse needed him to step up because he started really slow, and I mean, he. Hard negative. He's ours. turned it around. The boy is on fire now, and that is why Curse was able to get back in this game and take the lead. Two kills make that three still has contested, and again, Jcap is single-handedly been doing it for his team. Black finally comes in, and now Envy is going to move in to take him out. Actually, Rambo with friendly fire takes out Sango, and it's going to come down to the wire right here in this hard point. Can they take the win here? All Curse really has to do is come in and try to contest this. 210 to 215. Envy mounting up the points here. Dwindling down is the clock here. 10 seconds left. Envy takes the lead. It's contested here. Two points. They've got to stay alive. Play gets taken out. Curse is going to come in. Curse takes it. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. 16 seconds left on the clock. That's going to reset with the bomb down here. 45 seconds now. and Let's see what they can do. Well, he has managed to get out. But the problem is all three Curse players are going to be rushing towards that bomb. They could actually go straight for a defuse. Wonder has to get taken down. Jcap stable. Immediately replies by shooting down Black. One player is on the bomb defusing. So he needs to go straight for it. Is he going to bomb the second? He tags him up. Leaves him. Smart play for him. Can he get the defuse? That's the question. Oh yes, he can. Stable with the huge gosh. play. The second right for him. They're both with the both oh the knife. And gosh. Wonder with the knife. Knife comes out strong. 18 seconds left. That could have been a huge play right there from Stain. So Curse, really good job there to move up with the bomb before they. Oh! That could have been getting a top five fail, but no, he isn't gonna get the bomb down. Huge play from Jacob, but Mac. Clutch. Master. Mac with one. Mac oh! with two. Mac wow. up a two piece, taking care of business. Oh and you can God, see in the distance there of that camera off. angle. You can see Mac standing up. He was excited about that play. That you know, you got 47 seconds left. You're going to be able to use your streaks. And Bizzle Bizzle just, oh, oh my Bizzle. Why weren't we on you, you lad? Picks up a three piece. <laughs> the British line coming yeah, from Yeah, and it's, yeah, but, hey, you know, when in well, London, right? The Hellstorm's going to call the, him out. Rambo. Oh. Oh, it's gonna connect. Oh, my God! I'm switching over to Jcap. He's got two kills and about to make a move towards the flag. I love the way Envy have done this. They've gone down all three lanes of the map and they have now pulled the flag away. It's gonna be Stainville with that flag. Meanwhile, as you can see, his teammates trying to support him. Jcap desperately trying to get the cost. Black is gonna be mid map. He's gonna get taken down by Jcap. There's a second. Mac does pick up that kill, but this is gonna be the big question. Is the flag gonna be running by Stainville? Yeah, Stainville should have there's no any, problem. There's only one player, a basketball. He's gonna get tagged up as well, but Stainville should run this in. 
one nil to Team Enemy. There you go. So MB able to capitalize on that opportunity. Picks up a flag. They are a good capture of the flag team, making it happen here. A frantic for Curse, trying to thwart off all of these enemy NV players that are moving in. You need to be careful because as you can see, Rambo on the flag. Yeah, the one. Flag. You know, that's one of the reasons why they have such a big lead at this point. So, five. He's doing on a tash just now. So let's see if MB can get some quality points here. They need it. The game because if you remember that first hill, Kirsten and they also kind of have 148 to 45 and a 100 point lead here. This is a good spot for Curse to be. Mac is just holding it down. He's on a roll here, so take out into this as the hill is currently going to be contested, and this is exactly what they need. But every going to pick the hill time up. Wonder with the contest once again, gonna get the kill. Oh, Picks up the 200 turns, Almost doesn't got get that. the kill. I mean, that was I'm, I'm trying to do the maths real quick 60, 70 the points. I, I don't think it can't be done. It can't be done. Curse of one. Yes. That's uh, going to be three ones. Curse in this best of five. And there you see the scorpion just kind of popping up inside the hard point as well. And there you see the MSMC here for Legend. Legend actually, nice play by him, not getting too aggressive. And there you see Sotero picking up the Semtex and great teamwork out of Giants early on as they have a huge lead. 21 points on that first Harthids right here. And he is set up perfectly. And he's going to be locking down that spawn point, that anchor, oh, and look at that big two piece. And now the lightning strike coming in for Giants, so a lot of fury and some furious play going on for both these teams. Methods inside the hard point, he gets taken out, big three piece, lightning strike out of big moment, if they can hold on to this, they have the game to lose. Oh, huge play out of Merc, picking up that two piece, certainly a huge monumental push there for Optic. Strike out of him. That's going to do work on Optic and Tahor now on a Tajor, sorry, on a three kill spree. He gets oh. taken out. Optic coming right back in. Legend picking up a big two piece. And Methods picking up one as well. One more Optic player. Oh, and yes, Legend, Legend. picking Great up play. three. All four players in the hard point for Giants now. They're trying to close Optic. And this is, wow. It's Giants. done. It's over. Giants, that, the Giant killers. The Giants are going to take map number one versus Optic. So the European team so far looking so strong. Like this play out of Nate shot. Can he actually catch up to Five him? Five seconds. Let's he's actually see. running away. Oh, he can't see him. Oh, he's oh, going to be around this corner. Very close. close. Oh, oh, but Nate shot so goes close. Methods. Oh. <laughs> Methods so aware right there. Great play out of him. Sometimes players would just not even worry at that moment. But Nate shot comes firing around the corner. And Methods does manage to pick up the kill. Was really an advantage anyway. Oh, and look at this. I like this play by Merc. He's not really pushing this player. Finally does it, Sotero. It's going to be up, up to Scump. One versus three. He only needs to defend for 10 seconds. Can he do it? Oh, huge play by Scumpy. That's massive. I don't think he's going to get that defuse. I don't think he, oh, he is. Can't. No, he hasn't. Huge him, play Scumpy. by Scump. Oh, this is going to be huge for nothing. This is going to be huge dividends. He's got to probably make a push now. Oh, my God. Oh, oh, but no, he gets shut down and Tajor is last alive. Can he get the kill? Yes, he does. Oh, oh but he gets taken down. Guys. Optic going to take that one, Brycey. Six oh, to five. Very so close. Drops it. That's it. That could be a minute and a half of work just completely out the window. Yep. But and now you see Giants actually getting uh, their flag pulled. Optic does have the flag. It's going to be, let's see. Uh, who has that sucker? It's going to be Nate Shot. Nate Shot immediately grabbed that flag. I don't think, I don't think the Giants expected that. And this might be an Optic Gaming cap. Nate Shot. He's actually holding up right now, oh, waiting no. for his teammates. I don't so think he close. knows. But oh, oh no! Oh no, my no goodness! Scumpy is there, but there's another person coming up the stairs. Oh. Can they them? Do they get that? Oh, oh so there's close. the return! Oh, wow! He's got that return! Oh wow! I was Nate trying to realize it. Yeah, that was the thing. I believe he thought there was a player there. He was like, there's got to be a player outside. We're missing someone. And he hesitated for a second, went up the stairs. And by that time, you saw the three giant players were in the area. Flag pulled again. Can they took it away? It looks like the cutoffs are in place. But look, here comes Giants again. Oh, and that flag is right next to the basketball. Look at this nade coming over. There is a cap for Optic Gaming. Shot right there. There, Nate Shot trying to defend his flag. Tazor, Tazor now trying to pull the flag. He fumbles and Scumpy picks that up, takes advantage. That was a big miscalculation. There. Oh, oh Legend. Legend with the three piece and the flag pull. Brycey, what a play that was. That was final kill. Well, I said, it's just unlucky on his part that his teammates weren't there to back him up.
And Nateshot trying to cut this through the middle. Actually does get it through. He does get taken down there. There's one player around. Sotero now pulls the optic flag. Scumpy with a huge two-piece though. He's on a four-kill spree. Sotero has to get this flag away. Or Optic surely going to take a 2-0 lead. Oh, but here we go. He does have teammates backing him up. Can Optic get the return? Merck going for it. Yes, he does. And now Optic going up 2 to nothing. Brycey. Now Merck's going to go for that flag pull. So let's see if Optic can make that happen. Here we go. Merck going for the pull. There it is. Great execution right there. But uh, Hor actually takes down two Optic members. So Merck, he's going to have to put on the brakes. <laughs> it's a bad situation now. He has no support. He's deep in enemy territory. And there are just so much cover. So many vantage points to take him down from. Oh, but look at this. Merck doing a great job staying alive. He's going to run into one player. That would be a big kill if he gets it. Yes, he does. Merck, can he get the two-piece? Trying to stay alive right now. Won't we'll go full screen. Big Timer has his back. So Optic looking strong. Can they put this one through? Yes, they can. That's going to be another Optic flag capture. Great plays by Merck. Being very patient there on the full side and making sure he secured that flag cap for Optic game. But that's the spawn they want. They're ready for the next one. So they're going to try and hold that. That's just perfect to keep the right there out of Optic. Beautiful plays right here out of Nate. He needs oh, one more for his score streaks. Oh my goodness. Almost picks up two right there. Kate around the Optic spawn. And I don't know I don't know what he's doing right here. Oh, oh the horn of these three beats. Huge drop out of Methods. And here come the Giants, Pricey. Oh, what is it? He cannot. So much smoke in that area. Actually taken down by Big Timer, who was behind him. And there we go. Optic locked this down now. Thing that we first saw. I mean, that first game, they weren't rotating as well as Giants. They weren't. the close in gun battles now it's not the other way around Merck on a 12 kill spree to close this one out five points left there you see two more making it a 14 kill spree that's going to be it to end the round we're going to see Merck stealth chopper doing work as you see optic gaming on your screen shaking hands with the ozone giants from spain just clearing out that squad, and that's exactly what they need to do now. They're putting more points on the board, and TCM coming alive late in this game. Wow, nice nut. It wasn't quite a two-piece. Marky B pulls out the two-piece, but TCM thwarting off any effort by AAA. Huge on the kills there. Jeez, well, no captures. He's, he's a beast, though. Yeah, he's, he's playing Slayer. Let, playing yeah, Slayer let, him, let him run around, play anchor, and Slayer roll, and that's what he does best. But Rich trying to do business here, but he gets taken out by his teammate, Marky B, who brings the... 4-4 to 2 6 Going to be really interesting to actually see the scoreboard here as well. Um, I want to know if Marky B managed to pick up the 40 bomb man because he was on fire <laughs> yeah. in that game towards the end. The 40 bomb, he was close because when we looked, he was at what, 33? He was. Yeah, he was I, think he, close. I think he heard that it was going to try to stop this push here. Yeah, now this is interesting because obviously, or well, usually on this map, people go to the B bomb. It is the easier one to get down. Agony getting a nice two piece there, followed up by, I'm assuming, Guitarga playing under the Bissell tag once again. Yeah. And it's looking real good now for Whoa, them. But Marky B. B, wow, a nice two piece there. And it is a one versus two. Marky B's actually on for a 1v4 here. Yeah, he's on a 1v4, trying to make an ace happen out of this situation, and let's see if he's able to do it. Was able to pick up a beautiful two piece there, and Marky B, one of the best players in the world, showing it off now as he does pick up that bomb. He knows there's two players over there. I'm surprised. Like, this is just a tough situation. He's just frantically yeah. looking for him. I'm not sure TC, I'm not sure AAA knows the bomb was down there either, so he is going to get this bomb down, he no is. problem at all, which is going to be a great situation. And if Marky B clutches this 4v1 i don't know what i'm gonna do but oh, you know his heart must be beating real fast right now i mean oh interestingly God. aaa haven't actually made the push for the bomb yet they're trying to find marky to make the kill Ooh, shots fired. Not able to pick up the kill. Oh Makes it a 1v1 situation. Marky B trying to be a hero here as now he has gotten it down to just Azox versus himself. Marky B and a 1v1 situation. Bomb is down. They're playing ring around the rosy here. There we and go. Azox not sure when he should go in and pull out that defuse. And Marky B going to sit back here a little bit. Now knows he's going to have to make a push for it. Eight seconds left on the clock. Shots fired. Marky he's B is going to retreat. And he was able to buy enough time. And Marky B coming up huge in this situation. Well, what an amazing wow. play. Bomb detonated. Gets the Hellstorm. Marky B says, come at me. And takes a 1-0 lead on offense. Huge play by him. Wow. Like the right thing to do. But that's that's kind of what the team's calling out. He's got his whole squad here. Monks is going to pick up a kill. Oh. Gets another one. Nice two. By Azox and Agony all alone here for the AA squad. And that is it. As TCM ends it quickly. They now take a 2-0 series lead. 
as AAA was not able to come back in this search and destroy game. Yeah, and I'm guessing from the reaction when Marky got his kill that there was some sort of turn on or something big just happened. Yeah, nice play out of him, but Marky B is actually going to pull the flag and can try to pull. Oh, oh no! no! You whipped the. No, my goodness! And they, they did, did get, get it. it. Wow. Oh my oh. goodness, that was a bad dolphin dive. It, it was in the wrong direction. Uh, yeah, it was in the wrong. <laughs> he's a, an amazing. Yeah, because he's hoping he's going to get them both back. Yeah. yeah. Oh, and if he dies now, it will have been wasted because he didn't use that very well at all. That lining strike. Yeah, but nice, you know, he retreated from there, and now you got Rich in front of him, there so no, that's huge, because he gets a flag stop. That, wow, they capped that just in time. <laughs> not only did they cap it just in time, he got his Hellstorm and Lightning Strike. Er Lightning Strike, or Hellstorm came in, not going to connect. His Flux is actually going to take out Broken. He's not going to get Gotaga, the flag carrier, in the back there. And flag is now returned, so he can't cap that. He's going to try to run in here, but TCM members there all over and finally gets the cap in. So it gets taken out by the chopper. So AAA going to tie it up and you've got to give 100% credit to Gotago and his Gotago and his, his score streak. That's that's really what made the difference. Exactly. He's going to roll with it. He's got somebody in his sights here trying to get those shots a little bit of pre-fire in case anybody pops out. And back and forth they go. He does have hit markers. Almost gets that kill there, but Monksy able to take him out. Flag has not been returned yet and there it is. Rich still close to it, but in the meantime, Flux pulled the flag and he's gonna get the cap in it, and that go. is it. There we go. Much, Finally. much better dolphin diver than Marky oh, B yeah. as they're able to close that one up. And beautiful play out of TC. Move on if they want to get this defense. And the only person there to stop him is Flux, so he's gonna try oh nice smart play to come in. Ooh, he does oh, stop well, the flag carry, but he wasn't able to get that third kill. Flux almost pulled off a miracle there. And oh. wow, Rid. Oh my goodness! Rich coming up huge with the stop oh. here <laughs> and pulls the flag, but a minute and 30 flat kill, but he didn't manage to do it. Marky B does have the flag, picks up a two piece, taking out Azox and Agony. He's got good setup, but not completely. Gotaga is there to try to do something about it. He knows that he's coming up from court. Gotaga gonna pull the flag and push, but Flux is there to stop it. Marky B, there's the cap it, and TCM wins it 3 0. He loses control of this next point. He'll be able to call those in. Back positioning at the fountain, give his team the spawn, but already TK and Clay being taken down. Crim6 and friends spawning all the way across the map. Let's go back to Clayster to see if he uses his score streaks. And just like that, here they come. Lightning strike comes down. How many does it connect on? Just one. And it's his teammate, Crim6. So nothing going in Complexity's favor is already prophecy up to an 80 to 23 lead. So that Hellstorm is going to get him a triple. And here we go. Clusters it at the top, gets the triple, takes out TP as well, unfortunately. So, complexity struggling a little, but I feel like they're going to start making their comeback in the second half of the game. Remember, this is their very first game in the G Training Call of Duty Black Ops 2 tournament. In the side, the hot point taking out Gucci. Jake's going to go in there, take him out, though. Fantastic play by him. They're going to move into the next hot point, which is momentarily taken by complexity. 107 to 91 with around three and a half minutes to go, and Swanee picking up the two. Oh my god, wow. what was that cross map by Are Jake? you kidding me, Scorpion <laughs> across the map? This thing has such incredible recoil and he just handled it. Perfect shots. Oh, and just catch them out. So he's picking up two pieces after two pieces. Guys, and there's the third oh. as well. Fantastic. So when he here comes, they'll miss it. He's going to probably pick up about two with that. Maybe just the one. Just the one. Fantastic play by the way. Obviously keeps playing yeah. like this. Amazing stuff. You oh, in the kill feed. The triple. M8 on the other side. Clayster dropping 29 kills, but it's not yeah, yeah. enough. Oh. Kaiba Clayster has his back. Great pick on Excellence. And now it's going to be TP and Clayster versus Jake and Swanee. Great push there from Jake. He goes down all up to Swanee. This is the last death, and he's going to go for the defuse. Does Clayster know about it? They do. And Clay is going to end it with a headshot, picking up three kills that round. Helping his teammate out, Clayster moved up a little bit on board with Crim6 now. Oh, nice kill on Jay there, fantastic play. Having a couple more shots just to make sure he died. Still on board with Crim6, flag is being pulled by TP. And Deep is gonna pull, he's got a player directly behind him. Crim is gonna cover him as he takes down X. However, Jake was able to get by X. Crim6 takes down Swanee, so Jake is gonna be the key player here. And it looks like he's not gonna get the return. Crim6, a six kill spree, gets the flag red, has the cover. Clayster's gonna take down Excellency, and there we go, the first. Flag put in just 90 seconds. Fantastic play by him. Full score streaks now from <laughs> Complexity. Complexity pinch. They had Clayster on one side, Krim with the escape route covered, and this is just perfect play. Meanwhile, TP is running the second flag. Two flags in just a minute, or okay, two minutes and about four seconds. Phenomenal play. Complexity's not going to slow down now. 
He's going to get just one with it. Aches staying alive, and that flag is still in the hands of Excellence, doing a phenomenal job of keeping this one moving. He did so, so well there. There was somebody in the kebab shop there where Excellence had right. Has he oh, just missed somebody him. behind him? Clayson comes in there with the cut knife kill. Fantastic play by him. Aches is going to go in here. This is going to be 3 0. Clayson out of nowhere. How did he not spot him? He's going to do with that. He's probably just going to take his yeah, time. He's going to kill one. people with. In his hands, making uh, another uh, one. Long range shots to top wood. His teammates will easily clean that one up. That's Krim working with Aix there in the middle. Both players getting a kill. There is a flag fully streaked out now. It's Clayster. First it was Krim. Now it's Clay. Who can stop him? City today to 20 and 11. Clayster is dominating. 24, make it 25 and 13 for Krim. Six at this point. Streaks throughout this game. Aix has the flag as well. This could be five very, very easily. And here comes the score streak. They are coming down. We got Clayster just sitting inside the base. He's going to watch as that flag comes in, protects it. 5-0. This is a spanking prophecy. Grenades come in. Aix and Krim will breach the hill. And they're still down by five seconds. But look for Complexity to lead. As they... It's going to take him out. Swanee taking him down from the other side. Oh, oh, oh prophecy good. though. Oh, he gets taken out eventually. Bring this back now. I mean, what there is like 160 points to Rafa and uh, about 129. So it, it's pretty much GG now. Oh. Yeah, 16 there's seconds. the three. You got oh my Clayster god. Wrecking in the hill. Here come the score. That's the, four. the final 11 seconds. He's got the death machine, but he's going to go with the lightning strike followed by the hellstorm. 250 to 109 is going to be your final score as Complexity dominates. <laughs> Clayster standing up saying, Prophecy, what's up? We're in your hometown and we're making you look bad. And one note on the cleanup crew, he's gonna take up down killer from him. I mean, that's over 50% of his kills actually on the half. Exactly. Mac has been playing so, so well. I saw him I earlier on in the tournament. It was absolutely fantastic. A lot of people have been saying that he has passed his best, but I don't think so. Not after what I've seen so far. I know that the practice has been coming very, very thick and fast from him and his teammates in the most recent week. Blue. So he's just going to flick back as well. Knows that there's no one coming from behind him. And oh my god, Karma taking down Mac and Wonder securing. Has the health from has the line strike working towards the stealth trouble. There's one second in front of him. He has the scorpion to pull out. Nothing but hitmarkers there. Goes for the challenge, picks it up. And that's a stealth chopper. 20 seconds. Cured it. Goes 34 to 19. Seven defends, which I think to be honest, were all in that one hard point as well. They were, I mean, he just went hard point locked down. For lack of a better word, hard point just contested. Massive. It was unreal play. I mean, look at that scoreboard. It's going to tell you the story there. The Karma managed to actually finish up on 35 kills. It wasn't really, pretty, really but you got it done. Out of Good his job. mind on that second to last hill. Push. Not sent anyone middle. And Parasite's gone up the top. He is going to get early shots onto Black. Picks him down. Use Killer. There's a little bit of bait. Parasite for the two piece, taking down Bissell as well. So now this is a three versus Which not to pick up a second as well. He's going to get the top map control there on the right Ooh. side. Oh, I thought he just managed to pick up that kill. Parasite's still going strong there. Takes down Bissell as well. Nose of the third in top oh, window. He's going to go Parasite. for him. He was unlucky there. He could have oh, had now Parasite. Parasite. He's going to go for the ace and top. Very, very dodgy for Curse Gaming. Let's not forget, in fact, one round away. He's going to connect. One assist away would do it. 51 seconds left. Plenty of time left in this round. Black currently on a four kill. Minimal oh. with the aim there from Black, though. If he'd have made that, that would have been game. That would have made Made it to 5-5. Five, five. Black needs to make oh, this kill. No. That would have been X vital. Rush. Gonna be a rush now. Does manage to pick up Lightning and Hellstorm. Needs to pull it in. He knows they're gonna be rushing towards him. He's just pinged it in as well, so he knows exactly where those players are. He does manage to make one kill, so he has got a Hellstorm. Is he gonna use this or is he gonna try and save it and go for the win? The problem is Karma's top laundry. If he goes for the bomb plant, he's gonna get taken down. He saw the lightning strike ping if he plants on this bomb. Oh, oh that is it. Unfortunate there from Black. He perhaps should have used his Hellstorm. Like you said, Benson, can't leave it to chance. In the form of Killer, if he makes that kill, the flag carry is going to be in some deep, deep trouble. Killer in a gunfight right now at the back of the ball, but now it's going to be time for Wonder to be aggressive. He's going to be running straight towards Miracles. He's going to catch him with his pesto, gets the return as well. Can Curse put the flag in? Yes, they can. Black is going to run that in, and with 40 seconds left of round one of two, it's going to be one nil to Curse. Here comes in flag. Chase, might one jump over the wall now behind him. Yes, he does. Ooh. Wonder does manage to get himself away, but Karma there quick to shut him down on his way out of that petrol station area. Oh, does manage to get a two piece on Bissell as well, and the flag return. Huge play from Conroy, did not want to let that go 2-0 down in the first half, and he's halfway towards the streaks now. On that side, Bizzle has already taken down Killer, Parasite was one by shutting down Max. 
and he's gonna get the two-piece one to finally shut down Miracle. This could be a huge oh. momentum shift now for Impact. Flag has been pulled, going straight down the middle of the street. Parasite not waiting any time. Gonna go for Brown. This has to be how long until Bissell Streaks come in? They've Bissell's already, in. already called it in, but Black was there sneaking around the back to take it down. Mac taken down, Killer took down Black, and that is the flag return now. Can we be seeing a counter cap? Mac's gonna go for it. Straight oh to the my middle. god! Yes, the P23 Archer on Karma. I think he should pull the flag, then use his streaks, or use his streaks to get the players down to enable him to pull the flag because with one minute left on the clock, things are getting tight. There we go. He's gonna go for the kill. Oh, I don't think that's going to be Oh, he managed to make the kill in that top window no. and take that no. back as well. Three no. piece! Three piece and four <laughs> down here for impact. That was a huge play from Karma. Will that be ran straight down the middle? Karma's going to pick up. No. No, oh, I thought he was going to make that six. The Hellstorm's coming in from his teammate to secure this. Gonna this this is going to be tied up game. One play at Black. Black needs to go big, has his MA out. Can he try and stop this impact flag? All the pressure on him. He has Miracle's in front of him. He's still going to kill him. He rather gets the assist. Can he go clutch? No, he can't. Karma's going to run out in with 28 seconds left. Now, Kang first on stand up for Karma. He's just running away right now. He outshoot with Bissell pulled. there as if it was a public match. And now he's going to help. Oh, uh -oh. there uh -oh. we are. Celebrations. Gonna see. There we are going to see a flag pulled by the look of things. Is that going to go all the way in? I think well, with the, the streaks. Yeah, the streaks of Killer there, able to. Uh, Aid Miracles pull that flag in now. Remember, he did have a lightning strike as well as that Hellstorm, did he not? Yep, Hellstorm himself. If he gets this kill, that is going to be GG. 60 seconds left, but he gets stuck. Vital oh kill God, from Bissell. That was an absolutely vital kill from Bissell. Now, that could be a game changer, but will we see it as Bissell is now pulling this flag? He needs to get himself inside. If he runs that long way, Killer is going to. It's going to be down to Karma. This is going to be big, but Karma coming clutch again. Wonder taking him down. They think they're going to be able to get this all the way home. Is it going to be possible? Let's have a look. They've got into the safety. There's no. There it is. It's come in, and it is going to be captured. Huge, huge play there. Completely uncontested. First of all, we've had a sensational tournament so far. Wonder as well. Gonna get the 200. Can he find a few kills? Well. Wonder just went in, so did Parasite, but Bizzle is just going to get out of on that first one. It was a bit, can he go in, 14 curse, I don't think it's going to happen, Health on the side there, and I think it's fair to say now, at this point, UGD has a look at the score, well Parasite 26 and 8, oh my. 26 to 8, as I said, the battle of the anchors, that was Black versus Parasite predominantly. And as we said earlier on, before the game, that Parasite was going to be more dominant in that situation. So that's unfortunate there from Curse. I think it did come down purely to uh, Parasite's better ranker because. Hey man, he just wrecked everybody. Merc picks up the two piece and now he's going to flank on the anchor. I don't know if Unite can uh, rebound from this positioning here. It's going to be tough. You got to take Merc out and Merc picks up the nasty two piece. Only for a second though, as Vapes and friends will take care of business. And look at your scoreboard, Rel. It's within 10 seconds. And I think we're going to see Unite take the lead if they keep doing this. Wow, this has been massive from Unite. Uh, I mean, as we've said, they're in a great position of Hellless for pretty much the entire time as well. And there we go, Unite take the lead over Optic. Uh, one of the favourites to actually win this tournament. And still, Pasco, who was 4 to 13 at one point, has full streaks and has really stepped things up. Wow, pass. Oh, just ripping it. There comes the B20R for the two piece. Optic Gaming, Big Timer, and Vapes both battling inside the hard point. Yeah, it's all going to come down to this oh. next hard point. That was a nice kill from Big Timer. Next hard point. Merc, though, is going to be challenging Pasco, and that is the going to be the victory if Optic Gaming can stop one more player. Scump calling in his Hellstorm. Has a three piece opportunity, only gets one, but calls out the players. Nade Shot is going to be making his push. Scump is going to be pushing from the middle as Nade is on the flank. Perfect execution here from Optic Gaming. Down goes Scump, though. Can Nade get the triple? Three players in, and it's going to be Pasco staying alive. 30 seconds left on the clock. Here comes Unite Gaming trying to retake the lead, and they're going to do it at 25 second mark. Can they finish this? Oh my god, they've got it. There is still a war machine for Pasco, which he hasn't introduced, but now Optic have taken control, and we are going into the final 15 seconds with the score tied 211 to 211. And I I think Optic have control of this. No Unite players are contesting. We got Nate Shot watching the blue stairs. He's going to get one, and Optic locks it up. It is going to be the final score of 224 to 211. It was so close towards the end. Unite with an incredible comeback after being down 80 points. But Big Timer is a long serving member of the Optic team. Here we go. Watching Nate Shot. 
Oh, oh Nigel nice with the two piece headshot on Vapes to close that one out. Remember, he was on a six kill spree earlier. This is a five kill spree for Nate Wow. Shot, and he is going to make it a six kill spree once again, five and two. I believe that is going to put him in double digits. Uh, Unite are going to have a really difficult time breaching in. Nate Shot does manage to take down Hellscape Pasco. Hellscape was acquired and he immediately uses it, closing it out in style. It's all up to Vapes. And it's only a matter of time. Scump is there. Vapes right next to him. And shots are going down. Does he get the shot? Big T is going to get it. And Optic Gaming, they have map control. And it looks like Nate Shot is about to pull the flag. Oh, he's being really sneaky here. He's surrounded by Unite players, but he's still making that audacious Oh, the roll. juke on Vapes, and he's going to win it. Oh, wow. Three kill streak, 200 point bonus as well. You see, he's got Scump watching his back. Big Timer's going to be playing base D, as he always does. And it's going to be 1 0 Optic Gaming with a perfect flag run. Amazing cover, and that move with the flag, the juke at the tank by Nade Shot yeah. really sealed the deal as he got the kill on Vapes. The back knows there's a player far back. It's Nade Shot. Pasco is going to grab that one, and here we go. The two players from Unite trying to force it through back alley. That's not going to work as Pasco has cleaned up the flag return. Sours in the middle of the map at 28 seconds. This is the last push for Unite Gaming. Yeah, it's all on this now, but now we are seeing, I believe, Nade Shot calling in these score streaks. Might as well use them. Time's running out, and that is going to be it. It is going to be a 1 0 victory on the capture the flag here by Optic, which means 3 0 overall, a clean sweep against United. is the spawn of this area of course because this one spawning point controls two hard points consecutively so Rambo just going to so that sort of defensive style there Marky B so he's going to try and hold this for his teammate he's going to get some kill on the point he's going to pick one out pick oh. up the burn however he is going to be challenged what can Marky B do no. dolphin he's going to dolphin dive into him. the wall as Jcat manages to pick up that two piece tested look, a lot at how, of open area. look how close he is to those streaks he needs to play passive all he is is an assist away from a score streak that will of course earn him his health storm and his lightning which he does manage to get before getting it killed so of course that contested middle half point now the score streak is going to fly in he's not going to bang it straight onto the middle because of course his teammates are there didn't want to of course make any team kills but they do manage to gain control so that was a good play from Fruity and still got that lightning in his arsenal but oh, a wow, he actually from him. hit that that was incredible what a play from Fruity the man is starting to go off a lot stronger than TCM as it stands but will that change as Monksy and Marky B? Monks with a two piece there. That Monks with a three piece. Let's get on board with him. Let's see if he can continue this little streak. As he oh, does so, he does. getting a fourth. And he's going to go for a fifth as well as he's going to lie down in the cover of that smoke with the AN94. See that fifth player. Oh, does oh, manage to take oh, down Monty. Rambo as well. Goes for a sixth. Gets that kill. On Finally fire, getting shut Monty. down Just by Jacob. No score streak for just about doable. There are only a few points. And they're going to prove it. Oh, double actually managed to get that kill. And it does look like TCM have actually managed to flip the spawn as well as take control. So this is going to set them up great for the next one. 15 seconds left. Yeah, they are set up ready for the next one. Only five seconds left on the clock of this hard point. It's going to spawn towards the next one. And with only eight seconds left on that clock, they need to control it. And I'm sure they will do now. And it looks as if this is going to be the first map to TCM as they are just sat all around that hard point area. I can't see a way of Envy getting in. 252, 179 high fives all round from the team. Rich there closest to you. Monksy close to him. Be very, very close. Rambo still intent on watching the back. Nobody's actually coming there. So that's Rambo taken out of the game. Oh. And he does get taken down by Rich. Now this is going to have to be a huge one versus three for Jacob. As he does manage to take down one. He's going to go and check the bomb. See the diffuser. Takes oh. it down as well. But not going to get the third. Flux, as can Flux he do it in was time? there. I don't think he's got the diffuser. No, he hasn't. He did enough. Jcap Jcap did enough. What a great play from Jcap there. Showing himself. And in there you go. Muncie actually picked up one kill now. He's got another player oh. there. He gets taken down. Rich is in all last five. Can he pick up one the three? Picks up all. Oh, no. Shuts down before he can even make the first kill. I thought there Rich was going to get himself a collateral in that far right corner. He'd already seen the third as well. That could have been the Look things the that dreams were made of. But Proofy, quick with those reactions there, spinning straight round and taking down Rich on that staircase. What can Monkey do with the ball and him picked up one? No, Rich now, one versus two with that bomb. Is Complete the mission, two. you're the Why only Rambo one left. He needs to check that bomb, he's not he's checking it, he needs to go now. A little bit too late, oh, no. yes it was too late, just managed to make the kills. Managed to make the kills, but it was too late.
Where's he gone? Oh, it doesn't look like that player has gone to low plant the bomb. The bomb has been planted. Looks like, yeah, he's actually down. Rich is now going to have to all the leg work and find out a way into this area. Such a horrible area to get into. So much cover, so many hiding spots. And unfortunately, he's actually going to flank him. Is he going to do a full lap here? Personally, oh. if I was Rich, I'd just get straight on that bomb and just hope for the best. Oh, the ball up he goes for the turn -off. Is he going to get oh. that? Oh, he's just going to go oh, straight for that bomb. He needs to duck his head down, otherwise proof he will he be seen. That there. It's proof he's going for the full lap and going to come out of kitchen. 7.5 seconds. Oh he's going to do it. God. Rich has made the one versus oh two. Six, five. God. I can, I can hear the screams from here. I can hear the screams from here. Look oh, at Swizz there. there. Oh. How did Proofy not make that kill? I don't understand. PCM pick up another two and they're going to try and challenge it. He does actually get that kill. Rich is going to pull away. He has Marky in support. Monkey on the cutoff. He's going to see anybody. Can he get one? He has. Going to get the second. Can he? No! Oh. Rambo shuts him down. Huge play there from Rambo, that was a vital kill, but Marky B in the support there. If we get on board with a player closer towards that flag, it looks like it is going to go in. Oh, Dolphin we'll Dive missed forward. initially, 1-0 up early flag. on for TCM, a 1 minute 10 capture on standoff, despite it being very, very stark, slow start to this game. Position to stop anything flag. He's right next to their flag, and looks like he might secure. do it as Proofy, starting to put the pressure on. Flag Here we go, for the counter cap, we are seeing that as Proofy's running this flag away, getting out towards this black petrol station area, and going to opt for the safety of the alleyway. I don't think there's any streaks currently in play. If Proofy can just hold this up a little bit and get himself a couple of kills whilst having the flag, of course, you do get an extra 25 points per kill, which all count towards those vital score streaks. He has got the Hellstorm equipped with the lightning strike and the war machine, of course, sentry gun not available in this rule set. Go. Go. Captured. Who can possibly shut this down? And oh, who is that coming up the side? Oh, oh, look. Rich might actually be able to get a sneak in there. He just walked by three members and he has it. Dive he needs to dive. Good money to get the turn. Rich going huge. The yeah, and this is taking me a flag away. And they come down the back, and that is just phenomenal play by Rich. There were three players around that flag, and Rich just somehow got in behind them. Counter cap is on incredible. as well. There is still a lightning strike that can be used. Proof he's calling that in. Doesn't manage to get a kill on it though. Monks is winning that down Marky that middle. He needed to make that kill. Who is that who's got around the back? It is J Cap. Let's jump on board with him. Can he make this kill? No! Monkey shuts awesome him down! And that is now 2 1 to TCM. 22 15 for Monkey Rich. 19 and 14. It looks like. Oh, there you can see. They are separated. Rich, the nearest one on the screen. Calm and collected as always, even though he has had an incredible game. Marky P's out the good. And Envy looking dejected right now. They just can't do anything. It's Marky P, as you saw there. Shutting down that last flag. What giants are trying to do at this point? You can see methods on your screen now rotating towards the next hill and gonna try and pick up that early 200. Looking at that mini map, there's gonna be one player gonna go for the challenge. That's gonna come in the form of Crim6. Is he going to be able to pick up that kill on Methods? Well, Methods, he's not wasting any time. He just decided to run out. Shuts down TP. Nice play from him. Can he find the second on the hill? There he is right oh. in front of him. Knife. And that's some fantastic oh, rotation play from Methods. See here, which I love the most, is shotguns are not in the rule set. Thank God. We get hallelujah. Which means... <laughs> hallelujah. There which means that this hard point isn't so ridiculous. It's one-sided to whichever team gets there first. And I love this GPT oh, rule set, by the way. It's the perfect mixture between the yep. American and European rule. Luckily, Kokoda did stay alive, but Crim6 coming around the flank has one, has two, and this is dangerous for Giants. They obviously have the hill control, but they're not getting favorable spawns because Crim6, he's just running riot right now. There's three kills to his name. If he can try and get this kill, he will get some streaks to get the 200 as well. There's one, needs to dodge the Semtex, jumps on the hill, and assist away from streaks. Oh boy, that was amazing play there from Crim6. Just running riot, he's oh, just wow. a lone wolf. You can just throw him in there, and you know he'll take out the enemies. Uh, and now he's bringing in those score streaks. Absolutely fantastic. You called it. Stone yeah. Cold Killer. He that's, is a Stone that's Cold what Killer. He's doing. And that's the brilliant thing about him. He doesn't react to this. He is not in a bad way, but he's emotionless. He's so focused on the game itself that he doesn't let emotions come into play. Yeah. So Complexity had a good team, but it wasn't a winning team. Now you've added closer to that mix. This team looks so, so dominant, obviously. But look at that rail. So close to the, the Hellstorm missile. He's going to go straight for the defuse. And is Clayston going to figure it out? Well. Uh oh. Oh, God. He's gonna. Uh oh. No! Oh, not gonna get it. Clayster checks the bomb at the perfect time. A little smile on his face there. But for now, Aix is actually gonna be in a 1 versus 2, and he's getting a little bit confident there, challenging the bulletproof. Oh! Did that just happen? I have no idea. How has he just what? done that? Yeah, I, 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 I'm, I'm speechless. Me I don't understand. Oh, okay, okay, fair. I, for me, I thought Methods was the player in the, well. in the elevator, but still. 
I'm, I'm not so. I'm, uh, Harry didn't die. I'm not entirely That's sure. That's what I, I mean. Be pretty annoyed about that. I was gonna say, I, I've got Giants players. They're just trying to run that clock down, and they are going for the plan on B. It's two versus two now. If TP can take out the bomb carrier, which he can. He's just gonna make sure he stays alive. Oh wow, TP! Fantastic accuracy and Clayster. That's that's his role on the team, as well as being a fantastic player. He's going to pump up his teammates. Yeah. He's going to get them hyped about the game because TP, just such intelligence, peaked at the perfect time, killed the bomb planter, knew exactly where the second Giants player was going to be because he killed his teammate. Easy two-piece, 4-3, complexity back in this game. But it's preventing the defense of this bomb yep. site, and as the bomb goes down, it is just raining fire from the sky. TP <laughs> takes out Tojo, one versus four now, and the defense is wow. There we go. H is going to get that kill. Clayster celebrating a few kills, but obviously with methods in blue, Oh he's boy. not going to be able to get, implement the spawn trap, but he did just oh, destroy wow. Oh, well, he's a machine, that's, that's for sure. We can confirm Crimson is an animal. Currently on a five streak, desperate to try and earn some streaks. Oh Make that God. six. Can he go for the flagpole? Well, X is going to be there. There's going to be a play to his left hand side. Crimson's going to pick him up. He has wow. the health storm, has the lightning strike, and unfortunately for Giants methods, he's no longer in blue. Crimson has a clean sight down this left hand side thanks to a fantastic spawn trap from TP. He has two. Make that three. Surely no. Legend is going to break it, but it's going to be too much too late. Crimzix with that seven streak, he's going to be fully streaked out. And um, look at his third streak, bro. His third streak. Let me. Oh, this is interesting. I don't know. I've never seen that. I was, got, I was going to say is that, that thing, but he surely had to choose that. Uh, ban. I'll have a quick check. No, score it's streaks. not. No, he's not. Yeah, he can use that. That's fine. It's just I want to see him use Interesting it. choice. Um, I want to see him spawn trap. I, he's on a nine kill streak. He's so methodical in his the way he plays there. I mean, he, he was just kill, 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 flag pull, kill. I just, just, just oh my god, street. will you please die, Crim6? I'm sorry, but he's 11. on an 11 streak right now. This is ridiculous. And you know what? These aren't easy kills he's making. You know, he's challenging him. He's thrown himself into the lines of fire of giants. And he's oh, finally, finally. going to die. And meanwhile, Crim6, well, yeah, he's, he's back killing people as he, as he does. But giants actually pulling that flag away. So Terror is getting down towards his blue side. And he's made a kill there, getting the extra 200 points. This could actually level up the playing field. I mean, looking at Crim6, is he still alive? He is. Has he use his streaks, he's died as well. Wow. He's not going to be able to stop this flag. This is going to be tied at one flag apiece. There we go. Are they going to end strong? That's going to be the big question. We keep saying they, they sort of filter out towards the end of games. Yeah. If they filter out now, then this is the worst possible time to do it. Two minutes away from taking this to stop. Watch where in goes Crimzix, the animal himself. And he's going to use those streaks aggressively. Now, I like this play. He's dropped the lightning strike. How many kills should it get? It should at least minimum get two, but he's only managed to actually get one. He has pulled the flag away, so this could be worth. Free fire to the left, has the support of his teammates. This is going to be an open run. You can see exactly where Giants are spawning. This would be the ideal time to drop that Hellstorm missile, but it doesn't look like anyone from Giants is even going to bother oh, chasing that. They're going to have to let that go. Crimzix has got the capture, and it is now going to be 2-1 in favor of Complexity. Giants, what can they do differently? They've been pinned in their own spawn for pretty much four minutes now, and finally, Sotaro, he's going to make his way out. Toto has to pick up an important 2 piece. If he picks up that kill, would have been able to pull the flag away, but gets denied. TP with a crucial kill, but Legend's going to give him some support. Can they try and lock in the spawn trap? B23 art comes out. So does the Hellstorm missile though from Crimzix. He is gonna kill Crimzix. Flag's still away, Rel. Oh boy. Well it is not over yet. I don't know if Complex are gonna be able to stop. It's gonna be down to eight. Oh, H, you're going to have to do something special, and it's no! Giants have equalized there and brought it back to 2-2. Anticipating that, but Sotero pushing down the left-hand side, pushing that spawn. Can he try and take down these completely plays? He has X in front of him, gets that kill. Going to go for the flag ball. He may just go straight in the middle. Not going to happen though. Complexity is doing such a good job on defense. Absolutely, and with just over a minute left, I'm imagining a little bit of a turtle here from Complexity as all four plays are alive and Giants are falling like flies. Just off the respawn now, Complexity is getting set up to defend this for the final minute. That's all they need to do is one last push, but in goes Sotero with the two kills. Crimson is going to take down Methods, the pre-fire towards Blue. Ineffective that time. He's going to be three just outside Blue. He's taken down one. He's going to have another one on that stairwell, just somewhere to the left-hand side of the flag. If they pinch this at the same time, he could actually get the flag away. There's one. Going to go for the pull, but does get shut down one more time there by Clayster. But this is the problem from Giants. They're not pushing at the same time. They're getting individually slain, and Method is going to get that flag. Can he get it away? There's going to be one on that mid cutoff. TP with the Semtex, and also the second kill. No, Tojo has it. The well, this is too epic. This is going to be good for Giants. Now, I don't think anybody can stop them, but Clayster Clayster's making a push through that graveyard. He Tojo isn't going to get kill. the off. There's one person left, and he's not going to make it. And they have pulled it out of the Oh, flag. my God. Giants Gaming, a huge comeback there in wow. CTF Stopwatch. Giants still in this now. 2-1 in this best of five. Things were not looking good for the Spanish there. 
He's actually going to be waiting to see it. Those complexity plays from the full stairs. Does manage to shut down X. There's going to be another one somewhere around there. He thinks not to be. Someone coming from Zigzag picks up the 200 points. He's going to get closer streaks if he can get a few more kills on this hill. What is Zigzag? Turns, shuts oh, down, plays oh. the fantastic play from Tojo. But in goes T. Sorry, in the form of Tojo. Hardpoint actually contested as well. Pulls out the B23R. He's going to get taken down. Legend's going to be the only hope there. He's going to get shut down from Crimson as well. Once again on the fourth week. Just an assist away from the wall machine. Are we going to see him finally get him? Ooh. Yes, we are. <laughs> Picks up the kill. And there's an. Oh, this is where he just goes hand mode now. Top of that scoreboard 35 and 15. Seven caps, eight defense. Meanwhile, TP, 11 defense for his name. And this is now just a formality with two seconds remaining. They're going to rotate. It's going to be eight. He's just going to sit on this hill. And there's absolutely nothing the Giants can do about this. There we go, and it is going to be 250 points to 114. Let's have a little bit of a recap of what we've seen so far, as all the players show great sportsmanship and shake hands across the table. Rack up some more time in their great position. Yeah, currently around 20 points in between the two teams. Impact taking that advantage early on. Two minutes remain. Uh, two minutes just passed on that clock. They're still on board with Karma, just wiping out AA players as he goes. Got to get taken down. They're such smart play. Pretty, some pretty nice consistency out of AAA. Ago and Gataga leading in kills there, 18 apiece. So they're doing a great job. Up by one now Whoa. as this hard point spawns up. Karma picking up a two piece. Is he going to get a third there? Yes, he is. Oh my god, if he can get inside this hard point, this is going to be a ridiculous play from Karma. On board with him, spraying through the wall. Nelly gets the kill as well. Staying on board with him, going to pick it up. There's the fourth kill of that death, although saying that. Picking up a huge kill right there to maintain control for AAA. We have about 30 seconds left with this hard point. And you see Ago now picking up a huge two piece in the feed. Parasite taking out Gataga. 30 seconds left in this hard point. Broken. Can he pick up this kill? It would be huge. Oh, it's so and yes, important. he does. Fantastic play by Broken there. He's just held that down so, so well. Fantastic play by him. He could have won the game for uh, AAA there. Fantastic play. A minute remaining. It looks AAA are going to take away the first map. Well, I thought they weren't really in competition for this group, but. Uh, Apparently they are. Yeah, yeah. Well, Envy is struggling right now. They're down three to nothing. Uh, it's not you know, good for Envy. They went, they went down three nothing to TCM. They've only won one map in their two matches. So, you know, I, if it comes down to maps, I'm not sure we're gonna have to check our rules. But AAA <laughs> just off of map wins might get through if Envy were to beat AAA. And there you see AAA hyped up on your screen at the moment. A one player last alive. It's gonna be Ego and. Oh, oh, Karma so misses close. the first shot, but he does finish <laughs> the cleanup with the B23R. You know, the guy's just ridiculous. And, and toss out an EMP. I don't think that connected. And Karma now flanking, gets the assist. It's a 1v1 now, Tunny. Killa versus Azox. And here you go, Killa with the headshot. Beautiful play out of him. Yeah, and I don't know, Gataga is very close to getting his Hellstorm. Uh, he is getting sniped at at the moment. And oh, oh my god, the quick scope coming up from Kataga. Can he get the second kill as well? He's looking for it. It's oh, not going to happen, but such a, such a good effort. Yeah, that was. Yeah, they're just taking their time. It's 45 seconds to try and push up. And, you know, it's, it's quite a long time in terms of Call of Duty terms because it only takes 7.5 7 seconds to uh, defuse. Oh, but it's look at parasite. this. Oh my god, Impact are doing work here, they're just coming oh. in, uh, they just absolutely ran a train on AAA oh there, that's going to be the map. That was just beautiful play out of Impact. They just, in one end, in the other, in the other, boom. It's their time, and they could not capitalize, and now you see AAA on the counter attack. Here, yeah, we're going to jump on board with Gataga. Gataga with the MSMC, he's actually got a reflex sight on this, Tun. What do you think about that? Oh, I'm sorry, that's a... That's an A94, oh, yeah, but it they, says an they, yeah. MSMC in the corner. That's just a little bug. Oh, he's done. Oh. He did so well to get that far. He eventually gets taken down by Broken, and yeah, I think there was just a little bit of a bug there. Oh, Broken's going to come in there. That's a very important kill by him. Oh. He's going to run this forward now. Can he? Oh, and <gasps> how he has he survived that? He was under the awning. <laughs> Great positioning by Broken to avoid getting taken out by the Hellstorm. And here you go. Impact. Nice no chance right now. They're going to go ahead and get that cap. AAA with the 1 0 lead. How did he survive that? I don't even see what it hit. He's just buying some more time for his team. Impact now threatening the flag. Parasite's going to try and pull it out. He's got tack mass. That concussion didn't hit him. There is a player that's Smart. broken. Parasite shuts him down. This could be that impact flag they need so much right now. Can they put it through? Impact cutting it through. Dangerous, risky play. But Killa has his back, and that is going to be Impact on the board. They go into the bad side without capturing a flag. It's not looking good. But Agony picking up a very important two piece. They're going to push out. The flag is actually being pulled. Oh, God. Gataga with a huge kill there on Killa. And now that flag is away. It's risky. And this is about a minute and 15 left to go in this half. So about four minutes, they're going to get this cap. Ton. It looks like AAA 
takes that early lead in overtime here, so one to nothing. They're just running in. There you go, Karma is running with them together. Oh. Parasite picks up the kill as well, so here we go with the flag because they work together as a team. Look where Broken is. <laughs> Look this where is gonna he be is. Interesting. This is oh going to be very gosh. interesting. Oh my gosh, Parasite, I don't know if you he's know he's there, but he look at him? this. He cuts it back. Can Parasite put this flag in? They're looking for Broken. He's taking shots. That's two players down. Hellstorm coming in. It misses another Hellstorm coming in. Can Parasite get oh, it in? No, he no, can't. Broken. He gets shut down no, by Azox Broken. Did, Azox no, Azox Broken. No. no. <laughs> What just happened? Azox is choked. He's oh choked the life out of it. my god, Ton. Who what? was that for impact that put that flag in? I'm not sure, but Azox took out Broken as he was about to return it with the Hellstorm missile. <laughs> oh, and now you see AAA climbing back into it. Five minutes and 30 seconds left to go. Azox firing that MSMC. Can he get this? Oh. Yes, he can. With the combat knife. Or, sorry, that was just his, his knife. and. Oh, a Azox. great job. Yeah, he's just running around. A great movement by him, just jumping in and out of Hardpoint, completely bamboozling the Impact team. Fantastic play by him, but Impact once again inside the Hardpoint. Miracle's picking up a two-piece. They're going to pick up some points. Katarga's going to come in there after his kill on Parasite, but bad, fantastic play by Impact. They're just holding down the area surrounding the Hardpoint. Point. It's going to be Parasite here trying to lock down the anchor, which he does so well for this team, so monumental in their successes for Hardpoint games. And look at Parasite with the patience. New Agony so was well. going to challenge. And and just stays alive, putting his team in great position to hold spawns. And you see that they're still spawning basketball court ton. That's going to certainly help them. Two players down now for impact. Can Gataga and his squad with AAA break in here and get a setup? And look at this. Oh, oh Parasite sniffs him out. So again, he definitely wants to add to his kill total. And there you go. He picks up two. Can he get a third? Gets the hit markers. But nope. There you see the handshakes coming out of impact and AAA. Great sportsmanship here. Impact takes it three to one. From Prophecy, the Optic Squad moving together as one unit here. Finally, Skunk stops short. Big timers got two seconds kills. This is a hard point. Picks up another one on Swanny and another oh, one on Axe. Oh. Big timer catching fire. Four consecutive kills. So actually the next half one because he refused to rotate around at all. And there he goes, picking up another kill there, Gunchy. And he's going to get that last one, putting shots down. And it does seem like he's got another kill. Gunchy's actually catching on just an uh, incredible streak. He picked up big timer as well. Not too far behind him was two. Now he picked up one. Can he pick up the second? Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, so close there for him. Oh, it's going to be very, very close. There we go. Jake actually managed to clear it out. They can hold this. It's going to go all the way. And I think, I think it's now mathematically impossible. I think Prophecy have just taken the first map. Swanee actually on top of the thing, and he has seen him. But out comes the sniper rifle. Nature needs to make... No! Swanee! <laughs> Swanee said, don't you pop that head out. Yeah. I will take you out. And I'm surprised because Nate's shot is lethal with the sniper rifle. One of the best but in the scene. Just look how quick this was. He just knew it. it. Yeah. He was ready for it. And it's going to be difficult, but certainly doable at the hands of the Ninja Ginja. <laughs> he is just a monster. Unfortunately, the other ginger improvisely took yeah, him down. Right. Well played, well played, Blasey. <laughs> we have just counted you with our own ginger. Yeah, I like that. <laughs> and man, those two, if you put like an all-star team together, those two would be really scary on a squad <laughs> together. That, and now as the Prophecy players are converging, it is a wow, Nate shot going big there. Four consecutive kills, earns an RC car. Makes it a 2v2 situation, now 2v1 as Gunchy gets taken out, but now yeah. Gunchy versus oh, Nature, Nature comes Nature up just big! Takes that kill. And a hero for Optic to keep him in this game, and now tied 5-5 going into overtime. Looking around here, knowing that they're clearly around, just trying to find them. Sees one, that's Merc, and he oh. takes him out, but Skump able to do the final kill there on Swanee and Optic after being down 5-4, win two consecutive rounds to take game number two, and that was huge for him. Putting the other team the wall team and making them do the work to catch you. And Nate shot, able to pick up an early kill there, and yeah, we'll see if they can kind of play a little oh, bit differently oh, here. Oh, Nate oh, shot coming Nate in aggressively, shot. picks up two kills, grabs the flag, and he is rolling. By Swanee, Semtex comes in, he dodges it, picks up Merc as well, and Swanee on a roll, five consecutive kills, very close to his Hellstorm and Lightning Strike. So he will play a little more conservative, but you got to see this. Skump does have the flag for Optic Gaming, and cutoffs are pretty well set up. If he can get past this, he should be able to get a cap. And Swanee's actually coming in there. So nice play by Skump to kind of go challenge Swanee. But Swanee's actually backed off. Backed He's gone off. around the other way. 
And it does, this is going to be difficult for Swanee to stop. There's not a lot of cover there, oh! and Bird takes him down. And the Scum Dolphin dives that in. One nil the Optic now. You do have Excellence and Jake that are there to stop it. And Jake does that. And what a beast! Picks up a two-piece and the return. Great, great play by Jake of the Prophecy Squad. That is what they need now. They need to put Optic on the back foot. Stop letting Optic run this game as Nature actually takes down Excellence. And that's just going to still Prophecy for a minute or two. And we are on board with Jake here, who just picked up a wonderful two-piece that we missed. Make it three there as he takes out Merc. And this is why we talk about Jay, Jake and how powerful of a slayer he is. Picks up Scumpy oh, okay. as well. You've got to watch out because Jake is hot and he's on a roll here. And the flag has been pulled by Swanahue. He's doing pretty well as well. He's got three kills. Looking at the stats, 16 and 9. Life is good here. I mean, oh, you got to love it. Dodge. He just dodged the hill streak coming in. He's actually oh, going to put that home. Huge. One, one. They still got them in the spawn trap. Prophecy have kept them in the spawn trap. They're going to try and run it again, but I think he's going to be. No! Jake oh has got away. Gosh. Jake has got away. If he can get this home again, he is being chased time and time again. Oh, he's done it again. That is the second time he has dodged bullets. The oh, Scunchy comes in and shut them down. Relay from Prophecy. Watch out, the, the Hellstorm is coming down, but oh no! it's okay. No one's there to get the return, I don't believe, for Optic, as the only player that was close was Big Timer. I believe he got taken out, so flag is capped. And quickly, the tables have turned in the favor of Prophecy after being down 0-1. They are now up 2-1 in the series, and great, great play. And Prophecy just feeling the momentum yeah, that they've they got go. going for them. Here they go. If they can get this in, it looks like Excellence is going to go support his mate. Jake has actually got that out again, and Excellence oh taking up the gosh. kill, and they have got that locked in. Look, once again on Look the like mini-map, it's in. locked. It's just absolutely locked. Merc, however, answers back two feet, and they have broken it a lot quicker. However, that flag is in. <laughs> really rallying here in this hard point, which is what they needed. Merc's got five consecutive kills, earning himself a Hellstorm and oh, Lightning oh, oh, Strike, oh, oh, oh. and he's going for the chopper, man, so he's got to play a little more conservative. He can't put himself in that hard point, and he's going to have to now, and that was huge because that's what's going to get him. Oh, the oh, Chopper oh, and oh, Optic oh, Gaming turning it around, making it happen, trying to make this go to a game number five, and they are just playing phenomenal Call of Duty. Got, and I believe Scumpy has been right in front of him. So Merc, Scumpy, and Nate Shot all in here trying to make an advancement, and you've got Big Timer not too far behind him. You can see the hesitance from Optic. They're like, we they know Swanee as well in that yeah, land. Yeah. I don't want to rush in there because like, Swanee will just sit there and pick you off all day. So like, you go first. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Here we go. However, Prophecy set up on this next half point. It's going to be the final one. However, difficult to hold. Famously difficult to hold. But Jake, they're doing it at the moment. As we switch in, it's going to be a very close one. If Prophecy can hold on to this for any length of time, how are they going to do this? At the moment, they are holding. And let's see what Merck's able to do here as we are going to stay on board with him. And he gets taken out by Swanee. Switching over to Nate Shot for the Optic Squad. Picks up a nice kill on Swanee. Hardpoint is contested. Clean kill there. That's going to do it. And they can hold it down back and forth. They've just got to keep this one down. Going to throw those nades out to buy some more time. And really, really sound play out of Optic Gaming. They're going to take over. this Hardpoint raid game. What a phenomenal play by Optic. The probability of winning search and destroy when you're down 3-0 like those yeah. kind of stats you know like what are the odds that actually come back from a situation like that we don't have it but one day in esports we will and i will sound very smart when i pull those <laughs> stats out in the meantime i think it's 38.6 yeah. percent <laughs> yeah there we go jake actually picking up a kill there making for us two picking up another one jake has actually put them as one of the back because oh even my bigger. goodness one versus two i got so excited I switched Sorry, the options now one versus one can he take this no wow. scum has taken it down once again and you can actually hear that from where we are in the casting yeah. booth it does seem like Optic now may have finally come to life and they are screaming and shouting. Yeah, it was a nice kill. I mean, Swanee, an honest effort, he did get some shots and, and Scump was in a good head glitch spot, but Scump, beautiful AR skills, takes out Swanee. He's determined that they're not behind him and that could prove his downfall as they are now trying to close the net on him. This is interesting. He's got to know that now that now that they're not oh, there, that they're behind, and he might reversed. actually he might swoop back around here to try to stop them. They are going for the defuse. He's going to pick up one. Can he pick up two? Excellence versus Big Timer. Bomb is down 20 seconds. He's going to wait a little bit. Big oh, time. Big gets time the gets kill, it. and he's going to get the defuse. Enough time on the clock. Optic Gaming going up 5-0. Valiant effort by Excellence, but not enough. What I've heard from everybody that's watching them, they seem to be sort of very quietly confident getting into a stride and look like they're capable of actually going all the way. Yeah, um, I don't know if you noticed, but every single time that, that Will, like Big Timer, would kill somebody, he doesn't get excited. He's, 
he actually mocks the excitement of, of the other players, right? He's like, yeah, yeah, I killed someone, which is uh, endearing to me and endearing to a lot of people because that's, you know, so, sometimes people go a little bit overboard with the celebrations. I mean, it, it's not, there's nothing not wrong with that, but Big Timer's that cool, calm and collected dude. Uh, Merck did an amazing job, so I, I, I look. I always look at them to to carry the team as far as the the you know the the keeping them calm, keeping them grounded. Obviously, when you have an amazing player like Scumpy, and then obviously a huge, huge uh, you know clutch player like like Nate Chad, because he comes through when when we need him to. You know, it's uh we need that that grounded support, and that's uh, what Big Timer and and Merck's. I mean, Merck's been going off too, so I'm, I'm getting uh, double the work from Merck, so that's awesome. Yeah, Armour with him, he's going to be using the M8, I would imagine, trophy system and grenade with him as well. So that trophy system is going to go down, that's obviously going to stop any grenades or any uh, tacticals going over. But first thing in the hard point is going to be cursed, Marty B with a grenade into the hard point, going to get the kill with that EMP, not sure who was on, 15 seconds in, 5 point lead already for Curse. Yeah, Curse have started strong here and as they do need to do oh. as well. They did actually lose 3-1 earlier to Impact. Marky B going to go for that, unable to get the final kill there on Bissell. Not having the best of games so far, despite Curse yeah. currently leading by around 15 points. If he was to step up his game, it would look really good for Curse as Bissell picks up three kills with that lightning strike. Fantastic play by him. Wonder cleans it up on Rich as well. So that's momentarily four down there. TCM, thank you, Rich, shutting down Bissell though. Half point with still 30 seconds left on that. They can't afford to give it up. Moxie's Not just done something silly on that half point. He just got a knife kill there. I seen it on the minimap while he was running around. Six kill streak as well. He's been really influential so far. Not gonna get a kill there. Gonna pick up an assist. He needs to make this kill if he wants to go towards his score streaks. He needs oh, some he's help. Oh my God, life. he's gonna get taken out by Wonder. Curse take over that half point. 50 points as you've said to him. They They've actually taken the first map, which is very, very good teamwork by them to get themselves back into it. He's going to have to make his way round either towards that A bomb or get behind those cursed players. Of course, they'll still think that he's down the bomb. He's just managed to catch the black and all. Oh, oh my he, God. He's just choked it. He's just managed to smoke that middle. Has seen trophy system go off, so is he going to go and try and Smart get play. behind him? Yes, it's he is. Insane, Doesn't miss bro. those bullets this time. Takes down that, going to push in, gets the two piece there on black as well. Marky B taking down Wonder, so that's one versus three. For Bissell, just been tagged in the back there. He has just picked up Marky B. Going to oh. turn it back around. Oh, that was a risky move straight away. Flux is going to take him out. That's going to be 2-1. Let's go on board with Mac, right next to the bomb site. And you know, we'll stay in picture in picture just to see what's actually going on. And TCM seems to be moving in a little oh, bit here. Head on head collision by the look of things. That is TCM that get the better of that. And that is all she wrote. 6-4. Oh, as the TCM players jump up there screaming, let's actually see what that was all about. Marky this with is the, the final, final kill cam, but this is not actually the round and winning kill cam. Because watch, he takes out Wonder here, who had the grenade in his hand, oh, dropped and the grenade that... and took out his teammate. That's wow. that's 6-4. Yeah, He's Kirst just holding here. it in the mid-map here while the way on the rest of their team respawn. And they're going to push down the left-hand side, but Marky B's doing damage down there as he's been doing all weekend. Gets taken out eventually, Biss taking out Flux as well, so that's momentary three down. Last guy alive is going to be Marky B taking out four of the cursed members was that all four of them did he pick up the ace on his own i'm not quite sure he's gonna go for the kill on wonder as well and you know what he's gonna be able to pull that flag away if he can get yeah he can get it and that's three down the last guy is currently chasing him if his team come in to support them they can get about a flag on the bad side and, and he has support i mean if if, if curse don't have score streaks that's it that that flag should be I going in that's a risky way to run oh, it though Marky, so risky was... why did he do that he could have ran round taking his time and hopefully his team would have held off he had so so much time to do Silly. that there that he's not a flag runner to be fair but at the same time that was, that was very oh important. and dodgy shots being followed up there by Monksy as well shaky that was a little bit shaky there from TCM I'm sure they'll bring themselves back into this and recompose themselves but they could have actually grabbed a flag on the early side there Monksy got himself two score streaks there clearly a call from his teammate there leave that flag let me return it and as you said Tun, they are on the bad side He's and going at, streak, at level on the bad side on a 10 kill streak as well Monksy doing absolute work shoot his own teammate oh, oh my, my god what is he doing oh <laughs> that's amazing that a 12 kill streak we're going to stay on board Monksy destroyed it already what they did they just put a, a pack into it each uh, sorry another pack uh, a magazine into it each yeah and I'll, that takes it out so fantastic play the flag was momentarily I pulled said as well i said earlier on the stream it was uh, i think it's four clips of m8 it takes to actually get that kill but that took them all out of the game while flag they coming. aimed at that monksy used that hellstorm and marky b while they were all taken out of the game shooting at that chopper managed to pull the flag and that's one nil in the lead uh, i'm not sure long. what happened in the optic uh, against prophecy game i, I think uh, optic probably walked away with that on board with Flux now, and you know what? They want blood. The flag is actually being pulled, though. If we go on board with Bissell, 
He has yeah. the flag. If we have a look in the minimap, though, he needs some help from his teammates. He has somebody patrolling around him. That's going to be Monksy. And if you want anybody to defend your flag today, that's going to be Monksy. And Bissell is going to get away, actually. Monksy choking his shot, and he's running through the middle of the map. Risky play, and Bissell, it's not going to happen. Marky B is going to take him out with the EMP. On board with Black now. See what he can do to try and get this flag. They're going to run for it now. And the flag's being picked up by Wonder. Is he going to put this flag in? He's been EMP'd, and that's going to be 1-1. One, one. Fantastic play by Kurs. from Wonder. It was, and it was Bissell. That was all down to Bissell. He got it all the way through the middle of the map. Fantastic play by him. Monksy choked the shot a little bit, so not like him to make that mistake. Especially not after such a solid early game. And Black on the pull now as well. Knows there's a player behind him. He is bamboozling him his way out oh. of that. That garage and he has got away to the support of another player as well so could this be some major choke both teams of course played better on the bad side despite TCM capturing an early flag now we're on board with Marky B who's going for that flag he has got a grenade still in his hand decided to walk away from the cover but does manage to get that nade after kill there and Mac going to retrieve that flag the flag's been very, pulled out by quickly. TCM too a minute and a half to go TCM we've got three men down momentarily on board with Mac and he needs help from his team but they are spawning around him now on board with Max still. We are seeing Taken out by Monksy though at the back of the flag. Monksy making it, it Picked worth up a two. his while. Of course they were. That oh my flag. god, Monksy oh. has just went off his oh. oh, it's a huge play by Monksy coming in with a three-piece flag return. Fantastic play by him. He might have saved his team as that flag. Is it going to go in on the other end? On board with Flux now. You can see Cursor pushing up. Here come the score streaks as well. No, that is too late to use your score streaks there. Flux has managed to get himself help, in, that, in that area. Not going to oh get away God. with that, surely. Flux is one off his Hellstorm as well. So another kill, and he has got that just to help get that flag return. It's been pulled once again. Where are the TCM team? They're not in any position to actually get this. Yes, there potentially could be, but Bissell there to support his flag runner. And now we're currently on the flag runner, which is... Flux, if we go on board with a potential rusher or... That's going to be Marty B. He's going to run straight into them as well. Is he going to come away? No, oh. he needs some help. He's in a lot of trouble here. Shot a little bit too early there. He has landed bullets onto Wonder. Wait for that flag carrier. That was Black who managed to get the headshot on the drop shot in Marky B. Black just securing this area. He is at the back of that far car. Flux still with that flag in his hand. Uh, Sorry, just I'm just trying to change it up with some people who are pushing up. I'm going to in the final 20 seconds. Pushing up, he has been spotted those shut down. Is anybody pushing from TCM? If either team managed to actually capture this flag, this is going to be an absolute huge play. Rich Wayne in the middle map. It looks as if TCM are happy to go for the stalemate and go for the overtime. That's looking that way. Yeah, and that's exactly what's going to happen. That's going to be 1 1. And you know, TCM will be disappointed with that. They win the driving seat and Kirst came away with it. Yeah, now we're going to get on board with Mac, who's. Uh, retreating away from the defensive but as soon as he does he sees a player pull his own flag that's Marky B and he's getting himself away down oh, garage side huge. takes down Wonder that is huge play from Marky B gets first third as well he flung oh, around he's takes him. down Black absolutely huge from Marky B there is he going to be able to run this flag all the way home let's have a look he's got the support he's not gone middle map this time he's it should learned, be going in. He's learned from go his in. mistakes and he's going to capture this flag huge play from Marky B absolutely huge all him picking up the three piece as he's pulled the flag running that all the way home is all i have to say about that kill street let's look at the scoreboard is about 37 and 13 is ridiculous wonder's having a good game here the rest of the curse team needs to step this up though here comes the flag pull it looks as if they are actually going to better their previous time as well there's only wonder left alive there who has been taken down by marky b bissell off the spawn and Monksy actually attempted to run that into the spawn there. That wasn't going to work very too well. So hang back a little bit. Takes down Black in midair there. Nice jump shot from him. As, Stealth uh, Chopper's causing a lot of problems, Marky B's. Three Hellstorms on TCM's Arsenal. There's two lightning strikes. It's all They're over. just going to pick up a few kills just for fun now. And TCM are going to run away with this. 3-0 clean sweep there for TCM. As it, Monksy just baits <laughs> around with that flag. He was letting Marky B get his final kills. That was absolutely TCM. insane from TCM there. TCM. They've got a great position now on the map and they're looking good to set up for the next spawn as well. Yeah, most certainly so. And it looks like they are in. We're going to on board with XX because he's actually on a three streak at the moment. Crimson picks up. Oh. Wow, what a play from Crimson. Let's get on him. He seems to be on fire. Look at complexity at the moment. They do seem to be just out slaying Unite all over the map as he tries to pick up another one there. Gets something on the. He has a Hellstorm as well. And he pick up this kill. Yes, Crimzix. He is ridiculously good. A former, <laughs> oh my goodness, a former. Sit down sour. So far, it would be him <laughs> without a doubt. This is Nine. ridiculous. They can't even tackle Crimzix. The good block on his face is actually going to back. Hey, oh my goodness. Whoa! Well, Crimzix going off 10 for 0. He actually he has died once. But look at that. Two captures, five defense. 
He's on a 10 kill streak. He has a war machine. He actually doubled up on the Hellstorm. His lightning strike is now the war machine is out as we jump back and forth with him. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> oh. sit down, Lucky. The players weren't planning to put down the control pad. And there we go. Like you said, first map to complexity. And what a map it was. We're actually going to bring up the scoreboard right after this final kill cam. Because you can actually see complexity there. They are hyped. There is Mr. X in the background. And like I said, this is a hype team. If they get hyped, they're going to be loud and they're going to keep pushing fast. Uh, and that's just what happened. I said, they have five, three or four minutes. I've never really seen anything like it. They just didn't. United couldn't find their stride. Yeah, they just couldn't do anything at all. They had no answer. Oh, 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 they had no answer to Crimson. Wow, 47 to 24. Almost dropping the 50 bomb against Unite. And he is edging towards that B plant. You can see them congregating around the B bomb oh, oh, oh. site. Does finally manage to kill Clayson, but sustained a lot of damage, but is still alive. On his However, own. now he's the last alive. It's now two versus one. He sort of just ran away. He knew that he'd been flanked. He's like, I can't even, I can't even turn the challenge. Yeah. Oh, he's oh, been he's spotted. He's in a bad position now because they know where he is. Oh, can he take him down? Yes, he can. Oh my goodness, Vapes. Oh, unlucky there for Vapes. I thought he was going to get the one versus two. To do it because they're surrounded by complexity. You were trying to get in, uh, so it's very, very tense right now. Yeah, and unfortunately, it will go advantage complexity because they can wait. They can wait another 30 seconds. They haven't got to do anything. There you go, one versus one. Pasco versus Playstone. Oh, Pasco takes Pasco. it. Good call, Rel, watching him. He, he just played phenomenal there <laughs> and picking that one up. Apes applauding Pasco for that as well. Oh no, Lucky, can he take down the kill? No, Clayson takes down. It's going to leave Pasco in a one versus three. Picks up one. Picks up oh. two. Pasco, can he do something? He has actually been stunned. 10 seconds left to go. He has to chase. He needs to go for the he kill. Another bomb. Oh, and oh, it's not going to happen. There's no it. way. Pasco. Very smart. Very, very close there. Yeah. They challenged him, he could have won it. Great play from him, but unfortunately time ran out before he could make a final kill. And he, there we go, he actually shots on him. Going to challenge, oh, takes down TP as well. Pasco playing so well for his team. And he's now three versus one. Let's go on board with the one. It is Clayster, he's on a three streak. <laughs> and he's just sitting back on B. He was expecting a B push. And the bomb hasn't actually yet been collected by Unite. It is just lingering around the area. Clayson doesn't know that. And he is going to go down to Sowers, meaning a 6-3 victory for Unite. Finally getting a round under their belt. And of all teams, they get it against the MLG champion's complexity. You know, well, that's going to be a bit of a confidence boost now. Oh, yeah. Go, though, with TP. Does pick up the flag. Find somebody. Is going to make the kill. Aches with the support and fire taking down Vapes as well. And he's pretty much open apart from the one player who's just hanging in this little corner. Oh, and he's going to get two. Oh, lucky. lucky. And Lucky no! does gather it oh, to he does. He does just about your fingertips. Yeah, I had to think about that myself then. I wasn't 100% sure. Does get the return, sacrifices his life to make sure that flag goes back to the home base. This is actually, they stalled Clayster enough, he did enough. Oh, well, he Clayster did. Clayster was not able to just run through, so he stalled and Vapes caught him. Yeah, he did enough. But the problem is, this just seems to be the story of Unite so far. They're just doing enough to hang in there. But now we are finally see that, seeing them on the attack. Sowers has pulled this flag. There is only one person who can challenge for this, and Vapes has taken him down. Oh, but wait a second. Who is this for complexity? It is Aches. Let's oh. get it. No, Vapes oh. takes him down, and this could be Unite putting the first one in as it is. Yeah. They have a chance. This is it, but wait a second. Complexity now all over Unite. Flag has been picked up by Crim6. Cannot oh. make the kill against Sowers. One out of ammo. Just on the spawn. And that is a big shame. Unite dominating that kill feed. And now Unite in command, in control, I have to do, which is why he jumps out. But does go down. Pasco's on his own. He needs to defend this flag. He has gone down. Complexity now. Everything has opened up for them, and they're going to look to make this pull. Nice now there. Crim6 running out the top. He's actually going to run it through the middle by the look of it. He has support. There are two in this house, though. Can he get, he's got one. And chooses to back off. He has teammates in support. This is a clear run right now. Yeah, there's not really much that Unite can do. And that is going to be 1-1 one, one now between these guys. This is EMP. He's run right to the back of his flag. And he was just full on defense there. Sowers now the only person left alive for Unite. The Hellstorm missile does come in. Sowers isn't going to be able to escape this. <laughs> Using it to make sure nobody was coming around the back. Very clever of them. I also know when they use score streaks, the person, whoever is using it, just sits there and screams out every position of every player they can see. And that is going to be it. It's going to be another flag capture there. It's 2 1 now to complexity. You're absolutely right. As soon as he brings up that little mount, it highlights all the enemy players so they can see exactly what's going on. I saw, I saw Clayster do it earlier and he just rattled them off like machine gun fire. <laughs> just telling his team, using it as a UAV at the same time as using it for kills, 
making sure his team were aware that, and to pick up anyone else. As Sowers answers back in kind, and this is going in. Yeah, this is a brilliant counter cap. Things weren't looking good at all for Unite there, but as soon as that flag was captured by Complexity, Unite was straight on it. Maybe he wants to chase someone with it. I don't know, but I think it's more likely that he didn't change his score streaks. So it's just holding up. Can he get this kill? No! How did Crimson get that? As that flag is now away again, Pasco is up top, desperately trying to chase. And I think he might come up behind and pick. No! No! Oh, Pasco fortunately had to pick up that kill. And now he's going to be chasing from behind. And the only person in any position to stop it, I believe, is Vapes. Vape does stop it. There are two to stay alive. Oh, oh unfortunately for them, down. that's going to go in, making it 3 2 complexity. A lot, this is a high scoring flag game, don't you say? Was it Clayster? One of the two, yeah, it must have been Clayster. Just pulled their flag away as complexity don't let off. Flag again once again. And it looks like Aces has that as they're using that score trick again to clear them apart. Yeah, and of course, as you say, they can use it as a bit of recon work, scouting out the enemy. Um, a lot of Unite players actually are in this house and ready to shut off this flag run. See if Vapes is able to pull it off a big, big kill there against Vapes. And Clayster is screaming. Oh, this is, uh, is going to be a complexity victory here. It's going to be 2 1 in this best of five. For a long time, it looked like Unite had this game in the bag. They, they were being dominant. They had a score. And then, second half. Oh. Oh, a nice kill by Pasco there, by the way. You he might like get him. one. He might get one. I don't think he's going to get two, obviously. I said there were still some score streaks in play, I believe. Picked it up off the dead body. I'm not sure which one. We'll go back to him in a second. But for now, it looks like Gotaga is going to be on a five kill spree. One away from getting his Hellstorm as well as a Lightning Strike. Goes down though. Big kills being scored by Rambo. And Rambo's going to get another one. 79 to 70. A very tight hard point so far. Going back and forth twice with the lead changes. And Rambo is just starting to <laughs> oh, no. heal. We almost turned on him. Such an important two piece from Stainville. He is going to get taken down though in AA once again, grabbing control. Rambo's just going to try and contest the hill. That's all he needs to do. Jacob and Proofy Bush slaying around the outside. 60 seconds remaining, 240 to 184. It's not looking good for AA. It's Proofy's just going to pick up the last 10 seconds of this hill. If he gets that time, GG. GG. And you can see AA realizing they must contest. It's going to be 250 to 184. And game number one, hard point on slums. Solid showing from Envy. It was close in the middle. They pulled away, but AA showing their gun skill and their strength. For now, it looks like they're going to force the B point because they only have 28 seconds left. They've not given themselves enough time to rotate. So expect Envy to just go all in in a few Ooh, seconds' time. Dog is caught. Well, Rambo's taking him down. Azox immediately shut down. Rambo Broken's going to get Stainville, and that's going to be the last play. It's Jcap. He's taking down Azox. It's going to be a 1 versus 1. 15 seconds left. Broken, not enough time to go for the bomb. He just needs to go for the challenge. Can he get the kill? Yes, yep. he can. Big round there by Broken. Clutching it in the 1v1. Yeah, he doesn't have the time to play. He needs to pick up these two kills. He needs to do it very, very quickly. He's got one to his right side. Oh, He's no. missed the bullet. Gataga knows to sprint, and you win the round. And there we go. AA with the end of play, and Gataga comes out for good measure to get the final kill. I can he just try to cover that middle side. There is going to be a player peeking. He is going to see him. Just needs to stay alive. Just try and wait the time out. That's all you need to do with 27 seconds left. But Proofy has shut down Agony. Jacob's in there as well. He takes down Azok. Now it's going to be left to Gataga. He has two yeah, kills. Buddy. Make that three with the two piece. Showing down Jacob and Proofy. Now it's going to be a one versus one situation. Six 16 seconds left on the bomb. He and is going to get shut down. down. Good kill from Rambo. is going to earn the defuse and the first round win. Two on two situation. Rambo getting chased. Stain trying to answer back. No! And both go down. <laughs> Broken says, what's up, boys? <laughs> Broken. You, what I think he used say? Rambo's weapon. But, really? Yeah. Did he pick it up? That's two different MSMCs. Well, we're going to see it in the kill count if he did. That's a sensational play. Oh, show me this. This could, this could be the most, this could be one of the top plays. If I'm wrong, broken. blame Benson. Yeah, oh, you would. You all right, would. so broken so once him. again. Nope, same gun. Was it the same gun? Oh, you guys all excited, fuck it. Sorry, you guys all confused. excited. I was like, how did he sprint on Rambo's dead body? Did I have enough time and to broken get broken was just six. There's the challenge, and Proofy is going to finish the bait and switch. Four, four, three straight rounds for Envious, and Proofy's coming alive. Yeah, Proofy is getting caught. I think he's actually going to have streaks as well. So we're going to need to check that out because that was a nice two-piece from him. But you have to say, AA rotating with just 20 seconds of life, that, that's just not a smart play when they don't even have the bomb. Creepy has those streaks as well. So they know that the only place they can go is A. Stainville was just dropped. Here comes the rush. Rambo and Proofy are aware oh, of it. God. Rambo's going to get no! go for the three, but Gotaga says no. The French monster is inside the <laughs> A bomb site. Were they not just holding? I, I swear. No, they're, they're right. Th he's other. right outside. And there, Jcap now knows where Broken's at. Makes it a one-on-one -on -one versus Gotaga. Gotaga not going for the plant. 
20 seconds left on the clock, sitting at the bottom of the stairs, expecting J-Cap to challenge. Man, he does not watch MV streams. These guys will be so he patient, have time. so cautious. It only takes five seconds, he but he's not time. going, he's going for, for the it. kill. This is what we were talking about and earlier on. Just I'm just upset. Silly decisions like that are going to cost you the, the round there because there's no way Envy are going to be silly uh, to challenge that. All right, well, at the start here, it's game number three. You're watching the split at the start. And we had two players push middle from both teams. Azox is going to be challenging at the tractor as it looks like the flag Fox already the being pulled by Rambo. Rambo's going to get the kill as wow. well on Gataga from behind. And Proofy's going to try and come get his cutoffs. There's a player in the store. Does Proofy know it? No one looking in that direction quite yet. Rambo's going to go down. Now it's time for Proofy to react. He goes prone. The player not challenging. It was broken in the back. Great angle there from Proofy. No. Now the top of the building as Agony is pulling out the flag for AAA. Can he juke his defender? There is one player back at the base, and I think Agony must have just clutched it there. He got it out. We're going to have a stalemate on our hands. Already within a minute of gameplay, both teams pulling the flag away. Aesox is going to take down Stainville there and immediately pulls out that Scorpion, dropping Three the dead. trophy systems. He's going to be so, so aggressive over here on that right-hand side. Has shut down one. It's Rambo with that flag, and he is going to have to challenge. They're pincering him at the same time. Stainville's going to get shut down. Rambo is going to be left all by himself. Trying oh, to get the two pieces. Not going to happen. Aesox has the two. got it, and Agony puts it in. A five-kill streak. He's got his Hellstorm. He's got his Lightning Strike. Now working for the War Machine, and Broken's going for a second flag. Azox oh is off. Oh, my God. This is the guy I saw on the MLC Pro scrims, and this is the guy who is so phenomenal with the headshots. No one is going to get to the base before Broken puts this flag in. It's going to be 2-0, so but he's going to check every corner before he gets there. I love that AAA is playing so cautious. They know their tournament life is potentially on the line here. I agony to be just around the outside. He's played it just as slow. I'm trying to figure out who that is. That's Proofy. actually Proofy. And Proofy is going to get outgunned there by Agony. He's going to go for another flagpole, pulling directly oh, towards good Rambo. Oh, stop by Rambo. And he's not even going to go for the return. He's going to leave that flag and keep pushing forward. I love the aggression. Meanwhile, Stain is going to pull the flag. That was four down for AAA. Good spawns for AAA as they get the box spawn. But Stainville is going to get the calls from Straight. Rambo, who is just rolling. And Stain is going to get taken down. Can Proofy get this flag the alive? That is a huge kill. Stops the return. Rambo grabs the flag. Envious with one minute left on the clock are going to answer back and make this game two to one. Can they get one more to tie it up before the half? Aggressive Hellstorm to keep that flag alive. So Stainville getting the kills from Jcap and Proofy. Here comes a Hellstorm from AA trying to be an offensive return of their own. Gataga running the flag back to the base. Can anyone beat them? to the Envy flag. Nope, Proofy's gonna get it, and here comes Mr. Oh, Gotaga. God, that could get all four, but Gotaga actually got taken down there. He did. And the, the flag's flag alive. Is, Azox will be able to pick it up. The flag is still alive, oh, however. Oh, look at this return in the back. Agony, Agony. once again. Oh, and my God. There's gonna be one Envy player at the back of the flag. Azox got it in. in. Three to one, 221 left on the clock. Now the pressure is on for Envy. The flag being pulled once again. Everyone pushing forward. Agony could dive it. And Agony, I think, is gonna watch his teammates get the return. No! Puts the kill it in comes or in again. He? Broken oh goes my down God. Azox. Jacob with oh a- Oh, my Jacob. The three piece at the base. Now the flag is gonna be running at home. Hellstorm incoming. Can he shoot it down? No. Nope. Cluster from way above. Broken picks up two. Proofy in the kill call. I'm trying to keep this flag alive. Needs to win this battle against Azox. He does. The flag will be picked up by Rambo. Rambo's sprinting it, and now Envy knows they're out of streaks that can stop this flag from going in. But how do we get a third flag gap back to the base in just 48 seconds? Agony and Kotaga, the last two alive inside the hard point. Not the worst spawns. Now they're going to get some worse ones. <laughs> as it looks like they're going to lose one teammate. However, Agony and Gotaga holding their own. It's going to be four kills registered between Broken, Agony, and Gotaga on the other side. Proofy oh starting to heat God. up on a three kill spree. Oh, oh, oh. Agony goes huge, gets the three piece on Stain, J Cap, and Proofy. Good night, Envious. The team Stainville goes down. Proofy's going to be on the hill as well. Nice. Azox with the two piece. Can he find the third? Gotaga's going to clear that up for him. He doesn't even need to worry about it. Agony covering the backside as well. Point bonus and the hard point as well. Would assist away from a Hellstorm, which would be absolutely uh -oh. huge. There's the lightning oh. strike. The pistol oh, oh, oh. is going to put him within two kills of the stealth chopper as well, I believe. Ticking closer and closer to that 250 mark. No, Jacob will not get it. it. No score streaks for him. He still has the Hellstorm and lightning strike, but no 
Stealth Chopper, Agony, remember, he gave AA the opportunity to get back in this game with his three-piece on this hard point. Can he clutch it once again? Just 60 seconds left on the clock. The no, difference in score, 40 no. seconds. Agony, what? there is no one better than him in this game right now when it comes to the church hard point. His short-range, high sensitivity is simply phenomenal. And I think with that That's play, game. they just locked it up. Nine wow. seconds away from finishing 250 to something. And it looks like JCap, he's just going to call in all of his streaks. But Agony, he's not slowing down behind enemy lines, picking up kills. They're looking to finish strong here. Will Wait, Rambo check? Seconds. He's trying to edge towards it. He's going to go for it. Goes for the fake, Rambo maybe. Knows. Rambo's going to go around the corner. And oh, he oh, spots him. Rambo, too play. smart. And even if Broken gets this kill, not enough time to double back. He realizes it, and that is a round one by Rambo, the 2v1 clutch. You got Broken just pre-aiming absolutely everything. The two red dots appear on the radar. Jcap shuts down Azox. Two versus uh -oh. two, one in kitchen. Jcap with the two-piece. Oh, God. And Proofy is the other one. He's going for the defuse. Jcap's covering. And let's see if they notice it. Oh. Is that Pillars? Gataga gets one. Gataga with two kills in this round. Jacob knows the pistols him down, and seven seconds left on the clock does not have time to get the defuse. Envy knows it's not coming to be. Jacob's gonna get another kill, so it's all up to Azox and a 1v3. Well, he's got himself into a nice position. He's got all, all three, three aligned up. up. They're all looking the wrong way. Oh my god. He goes for the nade first. Very heads up play, but by this time, the players have recognized he's not on pool stairs. He's challenging, cannot do that. 20 seconds left on so the clock. Go he needs to go full health, and Proofy's gonna get the ninja defuse. He's going to hope that his oh, teammate can cover Is he going to round the corner in time? That's the question. Oh, Jcap's looking the wrong way. He's got the kill. Azox Azox got the, got the kill, kill on Proofy. Proofy. The defuse did not go down. Jcap in a 1v1. 10 seconds left. He's forced to go for it. Throws it down. Now just going for the kill. Not going to hit him through the wall. Azox oh, in a bike. Go out and get the kill. <laughs> the 1v3 wow. clutch from Azox. And broken. Unreal. Broken. So fired up after that one. He knows that's a huge round. He knows that is a huge round. And the rest of that's going to hit Oh, nice. You have to say, once again, the three man running together did not work. Putting shots down wisely, backs down. The kill comes from Gataga, another player that's proofy this time. Everyone just exchanging kills, and it looks like Rambo now going to meet with Agony on top stairs. SMG versus no! Agony! Oh! No! Oh, that was dirty! No! Rambo just missing shots left, right, and center. Agony just like, oh, hey, bro. I'm just going to do a nice little 360 twirl for you. I'm going to make the kill count look fancy for you. Is he going to go the right way? No, he hasn't seen him. He has just seen a glimpse of his head. Now, Rambo, the question is, did Broken see Rambo? I don't know, man. This let's, is tense. Let's see what's going to go round. down. This is a huge, huge round for Broken. If he does this one versus three clutch, that's going to put his team one round away from taking out Envy and potentially... There, there, there he is! Oh my god, Broken just needs to run away now. 22 seconds left. Is Rambo going to chase? That's the big question. He has to. He's underneath him right now. Broken for the one versus three. No one defusing that bomb. Rambo's going to check. He has Broken and he shoots yeah, him in the back. Is he going to get the defuser? Yes, he's 11 got seconds. It. 10. Nine. He needs to pick it up now. Yeah, there it is. He's got Did this. He He's got this. He's got this. He's got this. <laughs> He's got that. this. Fingers crossed from Puckett. This and is going to be no, huge. He One. Zero. Oh, he oh, refuses so the bomb. Oh. Rambo with a nick all time. Point One oh, second my difference. God. And looking at the mini map, you're going to see JCap get himself in a position up top. You got Proofy also watching the flank. They're going to force their opponents to go to the bomb site. And JCap will be spotted. Both players from AA pushing in. Can JCap dip and duck? He gets help from Proofy. Gatanga with one! Gatanga with two! Oh my god, Gatanga! going to get the fuse. Oh. And it's going to be five to four. AAA getting pumped up. The French the monster. The French monster. Going huge. And now AAA is one round away from from defeating Envious after being down two games to zero. You could not ask for a bigger clutch right there from Gataga. Broken gets taken down, two Envy plays. He shuts down Proofy, immediately spins to the left-hand side with the A and 94, takes down Jcap. And now we have the situation where they're just one round away. Plus his teammates can draw someone out. Oh. And there's the wall winning headshot on Azok. Jcap. We're gonna start this one off with Broken. He has been the hero for AAA. He's made it so close for them to push Envy out of their misery. But now Envy, 
They can actually end AAA's run here. Oh, and Broken Stain. is going to watch as Stainville gets the first knife in the game. So AAA down a man in the first Look at 15 the play from seconds. Envy. This is where Broken now should recognize exactly what they're doing. And he has Perfect. done. He's going to plant the bomb this time. And Envy, four men right at the back of their spawn. You don't even need to push them. There's a, there's a player in Kitchen from AAA. He just needs to stay alive. It's going to be Rambo that's going to be challenging. And you can see Katarga well, on Katarga's the flank. Blank. Katarga's flanking. He the has French three monster players. has three players four in front players. of him. All four players are going to line up for Katarga if he's not careful. Seed one, seed two. Can't get Turned the kill. On. Stainville is going to help out. Jcap get that kill. And now Jcap going for the angle on the player in ring. The bomb is down, though. Envy needs to make a move. 21 seconds left on the clock. 2v3. Azox is in the action. He's picked off by Jcap. Now it's up to Rambo to pick off the player up top in the window. He's done it. And goes down. And Envy is going to take it. Six. Five is the final score. Proofy getting fired up as Envy will be able to pull this one out. The French team so upset with themselves after that one. It was 5-4 and Envy will close it out. Rambo with your final kill cam on Broken to seal the deal. What a series we just witnessed. I just can't believe that. That is one of the best series of Call of Duty I've ever had the privilege of casting over. I'm even in a way because if you move the half point after this, has the same anchor point for two half points. It's like 40 a 50 percent, sorry, of the of the half points with one anchor. Yeah, but look at this. The Giants are flooding this hard point right now. One player left alive for Propsy and Swanee. Swanee in a big battle. Methods helps out Tahor, and they actually get control. So Brycey, Giants looking very great right now, breaking that hard point. Just in case the Giants want to move around, try to get that anchor position. And there you see Legend was oh! moving for a great two-piece right there Excellent. from Excellence. I said simply because of that good anchor. And here you see Methods for the Giants. Excellence with a massive three-piece. Three in the feed for excellence. Make it happen, and Prophecy is going to go ahead and close this out with the last few points here, and that's going to do it. Prophecy taking map number one on hard point, and there you see them on your screens. Definitely, definitely amped up. A bit of a collision. I did now, say this actually earlier. I believe these two are basically the same player in different roles. <laughs> Both big slayers. Oh, oh, reaction shot from Swanee. Great shot by Swanee onto that RC car right there. And here we go. These guys are going to have to run into each other. Swanee. Oh, he almost gets turned on. Can Swanee get the completion? Look at Swanee. Smart play. 30 seconds left on the clock. He's waiting to see if he can take out Sotero. But no, he just goes Sotero's for the bomb going to be like, plant. where has this guy gone? Oh, my goodness. Great play by Swanee. I love it. The reactions of Swanee, though, just so fast. There we go. They're going to they're gonna see each other any second. It looks like Satara might get the advantage. And Satara's on a five kill spree. He's certainly going to get the streaks with the defuse. What's he doing here? Oh, <laughs> look at this. Is he really doing that? Oh, oh my is. goodness. Does he have enough time to get back? <laughs> oh, that'd be really up. bad. He does. He That was such a smart play by Satara. He realized that there were two trophy systems down for Prophecy. He takes them both out for his streaks. However, like I said, Lan, a veteran himself, Lan's been around for quite a while. If he's going to deal with the pressure in this situation, it's going to be him. Put shots into Tara, and he goes to challenge, but Methods is there. And Giants take a map. This is not going to be the 3-0 we thought it was going to be. Like I said, Giants have surprised before, and they will do it again. Yep, and now you're going to see your final kill cam. That's excellence just doesn't have enough. And it does look like it's going on. What a slow game of CTF at the moment. Trying to see what is going on. There you go. Flag actually been pulled. Okay, let's see who's got that thing for prophecy. Or sorry, for the Giants. Or for prophecy. Sorry, it's Jake pulling that flag, and it looks like he's got a free run right here. Two Giants players are not going to be able to catch him. Jake going to get the first flag cap of this game with a minute, oh. a minute into round number two. Oh. I think he knows his way is clear if he can get past this tank, and he does. And that is going to mean that now they have to run through. But incoming Hellstorm. Oh, and he look at survived. that. survived. Yes, he does. Oh, oh look at the play out of Excellence right here. There's one more player. No, Excellence. No, oh, you didn't just excellence. do that. Oh, my goodness. And you know what? He has a Lightning Strike and Hellstorm that are about to reset. I wonder if he calls them in here. He's actually just going to play the safe move and get that flag cap. Oh, he does get the flag cap there. Don't have map control. But, promptly, they took the pressure. They rebuffed it. Again, like I said, Giants just struggling to make any sort of play, but they snuck a flag out. Sotaro has actually managed to sneak a flag out from under the nose of Prophecy, and it looks like he might have a good run home, but no, Gunchy answers him back. They still have that flag. No one in a position to stop this. Maybe Swanee, if he can pull off oh, something miracle. Look at this. He is going to get this cap. Ooh. 
Oh, oh but there it is. Excellence and his, or sorry, Gunshi and Swanee there defending for Prophecy. Gunshi picking up a big two piece. That's going to close it out. Prophecy going to go up two to one in the series. Now they need one more map to close out the Ozone Giants. Everything. What a close one now. I thought for a minute there, Giants were just going to just throw themselves out and hopefully pull something out of the bag. But And you see Tahor now for the Giants flooding that hard point with his team. And now Giants get some control. Some isn't Giants are in control at the moment, but it's always favorable to be at the top here to get the better spawn. And it does seem like Prophecy are holding that quite well, but they've got to break in. They do. Gunchy leading the way as he goes in, but there we go. Legend Arms is back in kind of. Prophecy Excellence comes in as well. It does seem like she's still kicking off with Excellence, who's got a war machine. The oh, guy is going off once again. What? How did Excellence get that so quick? He's seven and three with three captures. And look at that. <laughs> Pulling it out and they do the in here and so difficult to dislodge what he is. Jake comes in and gets a two piece. Like I just said, the guy loves this hard point and he does so well when he's playing it. He is really just going on a bit of a tear at the moment. I certainly do. His prophecy starting to put up a commanding leader's excellent. Still has that war machine. <laughs> just putting in a lot of things they're trying to get. They've got two hit markers and he actually has one left, but he's not actually going to use it right now. Trying to just pick up this kill. There we go. Eventually gets it, but someone's still contesting him in there. Can he do it as well? Excellence is on fire this map. They're going to start making their move. Most certainly so. And Excellence still has that one war machine. I wonder if he's actually going to use it at any point. Uh, it doesn't seem like he really wants to pull it out, but they are actually breaking back into this now. And it's can actually make this kill as well. Once again, the man just pulls off incredible plays. Yeah, he, he, his shot is just so nice with that laser sight test with his hip fire. He knows exactly kind of how to move around the map and use that laser sight. And, and Gucci, I'm going to stay on Marky B for a little bit because coming into the tournament, everyone told me to watch this guy from TCM. What can you tell me about Marky? What's his play style? What's his role on the squad? Oh. Besides turning on kids and making miracles look dumb. Well, I think, to be honest, he has just answered that question for you. He's just in the middle of a contested hard point in this garage side. Going to get the better of Marky oh. B? No, he's not. Marky B shuts him down there. And another player... Oh, oh the knife Marky from Marky! Marky. Wow. Kama's in the action, but Marky's not slowing down. Gets hit markers on the second player. Flux is going to get a kill on the back. Shots from behind, but he continues to challenge inside the hard point. Just a smart thing and retreats back, and he's now pushing up this right-hand side. Oh, oh my god, Monty. But I don't think they'll really care when they win by 148 wow. points. Absolutely insane start from TCM. Some would say the advantage is in favor of TCM, but look at this three-man stack on your mini-map. Down goes one. Big kill by Rich. Just needs to hide behind the pillars. Marky B lets him know. No one else is coming. Rich gets a second kill. They're taking out Parasite. Marky is going to get a kill as well on Miracles, and now it's all up to Karma. Once again, a 1v3 before I can even get to Karma's screen. Flux is going to take him down. And it looks like all the action is about to go down at B. Parasite sees one, doesn't know everyone else is right behind him. He's going to charge. I love this play from Parasite. Juke that one opponent. However, it didn't work out for him. Miracles too far away to help. One on two situation here for Miracles. Otherwise, we are going to see TCM open up 4 0. Can he do it? There is one. The bomb still not planted. Flux still hiding behind the B bomb site is right behind Miracles. Now the chase is on with 18 seconds left to go. And it looks as if Flux is actually going to be going the wrong way here. Surely Car uh, Miracle sorry, didn't actually see him on that bomb site. Flux is just going to bait it out and hope that he comes and checks, which is not going to do so. This looks like it's going to be the first round on the board for Impact. And it looks as if Flux is just happy to keep his streaks. I mean, So Flux was actually about a kill away from getting his RC car. Let's see what he can do defending B. Pulls out the MP7 with a laser sight. I don't know if this is the weapon he oh. wants for this situation. He says, shut up, Pucket. It's perfect. Takes down Karma. Parasite's going to pick off Monksy with a headshot. And now the smoke grenades come in. Playing it perfectly as Flux picks up two of them. Oh. Make it three. Give this man the ace. The last one alive is Parasite. It's going to be a hard feat to defeat Parasite as well, and he is adamant on doing so, but Marky B there quick to take that away from him, but that was a huge play from Flux around that middle yellow area. Marky B with your final kill cam, working perfectly with Flux. Flux knows he doesn't have to challenge. Marky's got the pinch. There's 30 seconds left on this clock. Who is left alive? It is a two versus oh. three. Two versus two now as well. 
And then what can happen? Parasite and Miracles both getting kills, oh, but Flux, Flux defuses the gets bomb. the defuse, and that nice. is a 2-0 lead. And we're going to see a back alley run. The flag being picked up by Flux as well. Let's see if Flux can get out of this very sticky situation. Oh, he's choosing to run it at him here, which is very, very unwise. Pat. He's obviously realized that that was an unwise choice. He doesn't know himself what he's doing, or perhaps this is a technique that he's employing just to try and he's get going for the challenge. Him. He went for the challenge, and Miracle manages to get the better of him, but of course it is down mm. low. But Miracle's there with huge, huge fully streaked. streaked up and 1 0 in the lead. But, but nice play there from Richard. I don't know how he managed to get Karma through that window, but Flux is opting to run it straight through wow. the middle. Of the map. This could be risky. What support does he have? He's only got Rich on top. Granite line and strike inbound. He needs to go off and dive and get away. From that, he has managed to do so. No, he hasn't. The third strike managed to get him and his teammate in the form of wow. Flag return. Karma, there. big play at the base, gets the return and stops the flag from going in for TCM. Now going for a counter cap opportunity, just running all around the base here for TCM. Big kills being scored on the main street. Flux answers back on Miracles, however, and Karma knows all he has to do is keep this flag out of his opponent's base for 36 more seconds. If he's able to get it in, it's a guaranteed victory at this point. He just needs to buy this time. That's all he needs to do because then TCM physically cannot capture a flag while that flag is not back at the base. But TCM have just made two kills now, three kills, and now he has just one teammate supporting him. Killer has managed to take down Rich, that was such a huge play. Karma and with a big kill of his own. Monks. That was so essential because Done. if that would have got returned, that would have been a stopwatch over time. So that was so, so essential. Well played there to Karma. He managed to start off that in the first place, he managed to set that up, and it was 2-0 in the end there. Nice little return, and that is that said goodbye to TCM's perfect record in this league. Turn up that road because they'll try and get them to spawn in the middle map area, which means there's only two possible main route to get in towards and Parasite went for a cut off of his own. So, oh nice plays from Monty. And Monty is going to clean up the hill. He's got Flux working with him as well. Marky B is watching the statue side while the kills are going down. Finally, Impact able to pick up a one or two on the dirt road. And Monksy getting challenged from the right. Doing a phenomenal oh. job staying alive in the hard point. That oh. is the best player in the game and the best anchor. Taking down Karma and Parasite. Oh, Kill it goes down as well. Is this another set of full streaks? Monksy putting on a show, ladies and gentlemen. Currently 14 and 2. Uh, 70 or more points. He's got himself another staff chopper. No, that's why he called it out. That is why he got rid of it. Jesus, Monksy. Wow. He's playing so confident this game. I he absolutely is. love watching him. Can we just go full screen? Do you mind? <laughs> Let's just watch Monksy for the rest of the game. This is the Monksy show. Is why I put Monksy. the controller down, guys. Wow, this guy is impressing the absolute hell out of me. He's going to pick up another two there, unless Black Jacket prevents it. Does manage Does. to take down Miracle and Comet. He just killed those two with his SMG as well. And then he just brings in that. Oh, He's my Monksy! Absolutely huge. Monksy is having the tournament score streak after right score streak ladies and gentlemen he's second in bravo here still moving on to the champ bracket most likely <laughs> but then get blown out this in both hard points 250 to 124 uh, and 250 to 102 tcm showing their strength Breaks, but it's going to be some hard point Yemen action. Haven't really seen too much of this map so far today, so it's going to be interesting to see how both these two teams are going to set up. And it's going to be Aix rushing towards that hard point. He's one towards that left hand side, is going to get out. Goodbye. I'm pretty sure that's that's fair to say that's going to be Scumpy. And TP is going to shut down Big T and Scumpy with an early two piece. And so far, both teams just back and forth on this first half point. They're getting all this free time. They're, they're actually going to hit 100 points. And Optic still on 14. They only picked five points up from that last half point and oh. the rest were on the middle of Clayster. Oh my days. Hellstorm landing strike and I can hear Clayster from here. There's a soundproof door that we have to our right hand side and Clayster, he is just letting Optic know how badly they are playing you right now. You cannot soundproof Clayster. No <laughs> way. Impossible. No how. Not in a million years. Um, but Optic still leaving Scumpy quite vulnerable here. He's going to have a couple players. Scump getting some support from his teammates. They do manage to hang tight here but Scump still in that position where he's in a lot of trouble. He is, but he's managed to shut down Ace. Goes for the pre-fire as well, anticipating there to be one more. The EMP goes in. He is able to get that kill, and now Scum's going to be so close towards him. Scorching hardpoint contested. He goes down. 
Big, big plays coming from Complexity. Eggs is going to be on that hill. Can he just try and pick up the last few points on it? Half points contested. Fails the knife. Double oh. fails the knife. Chasing behind him. Can he get the kill? It's going to be big. Oh. It's the knife finally. And the complimentary teabag as well. Letting him know about that knife kill. But right now, this is all Complexity. And it's just come down to controlling the spawns, Astro. Just, every time Optic tried to get a rotation in, <laughs> it's Chris just Crimson waiting attack. in the wings. And look at Clayster. He's uh, fired up. <laughs> he is definitely the showman on the squad there. And 250 to 167 is going to be your final score as Complexity take the 1 0 series. And Scump for Optic. Clayster just going straight for the bomb. Very aggressive play out of him. He's actually in decent shape right here. But oh, no! Merc <laughs> just did it to him. Merc with a nasty play right there to avoid getting taken out by Clayster. And I actually think that was another Optic member that was actually getting shot by Clayster. And Merc just hops up here onto the rock. No big deal as well. So Aix going to have to go huge here. I think Aix is just going to miss out on Nature, but he is going to see the bump on it. Shows down Big T. Nature's going to be right there. Oh, oh my god! Aix is going to let the whole g know about that. Who's the best player in there right now? That was a huge play from Aix. The reaction's just so quick. He was like, oh, I see you. I'm going to make a nice little kill cam. Two piece. Thanks. Thanks for playing. 2 0 complexity. And this is a huge statement coming from them right now. We're going to stop on you right here and cut that flag off. Here we go with Scump now, making an aggressive push. Optic looking to capitalize here on Complexity, just spawning back up. Scump's got a free look at it. He is going to get this flag away. Optic in great position with the cutoffs. Merc picking up a huge kill right there. He's going to have to pick up one or two more here to secure this flag cap. And I think it's going to be up to Big Timer now. If he can get Crim6, he does. That's going to be Optic Gaming taking a 1-0 lead here on Slum CTF. Just have to try and stay alive. You can see him through the little gap. Can he pick off Crim6? No, he can't. Crim6 just on form right now. Oh, and look at this. Merc now challenging Crim6. He's weak right now. Crim6 oh, no. winning that gun of battle as well. Big Timer last alive for Optic. Here Optic spawning complexity. on the port side. Here comes Complexity. We're going to jump on board with AC spots. Big Timer. Can he get the kill? Yes, he can. And now, certainly Optic in a little bit of trouble. TP manages to get the flag away. Blaster now picking up the flag. Oh my they gosh, here we go. Though. Complexity. Oh, Scump does have those streaks. We're going to jump on board with TP. Can he make it through? There is an Optic player right behind him. It's going to be Big Timer who does get the No! Oh! Scump, he's landing strike. He's taking down Big T. Huge mistake right there. Can Merc try and put a stop to it? Has Scumpy got his health storm that he's going to have to use? That's the question. Oh, here comes Clayster. Can he put this away? No score streaks available. I Scumpy can't believe used that's just that health storm already, and complexity ties it up with a minute and 15 seconds left in the round in overtime. And Scumpy already used the streaks, and there you go. There's the lightning strike. Another big kill on a Clayster, and here you go. Complexity might go for the win here, Benson. I wouldn't be surprised. 55 seconds, still time to do it, and Clayster. Oh. He's going to try and get the lightning strike off spawn. This could be huge for. Complexity could take down three. He has actually managed to shut down Nature. There's a second in the form of Merc. Crimson down. takes down Big T. It's going to be all left of Scumpy. He did manage to take down one. Ace has managed to get one kill. Here comes a Hellstorm off spawn. And this is oh looking so strong for Complexity. Goodness. Crimson has pulled the flag. 35 seconds to work with. He should be able to get away. Have they got any more score streaks to call in and try to kill the flag? Scumpy oh! is going to get shut down. Crimson is running all the way. 26 seconds left. One ulti gaming player left in the form of Nature. He's going to get shut down. And oh my god, Hastro. What did we just see? Complexity is just too strong, Benson. My goodness. Perfect use of score streaks. Amazing teamwork right there. Smarts from Complexity all around. Oh my Clayster goodness. Is on a Clayster kill on a 10 kill spree to end this round. Anyway, let's jump on board with Black here. Using the M one of the main AR slayers for Curse on board with him now. Pyron to what? <laughs> Just to get to kill out of nowhere. Fantastic play by him. Can jump inside that hot point momentarily. Oh, Grenade on him though. He's very, very weak. Managed to stay alive. Yeah, he just managed to pick up a weapon there. He surely knows that there's one coming on his right hand side. Can't see it on the minimap. Does manage to make that hard point kill. I think there's going to be another one to get yourselves here. In the first place, Azox trying to challenge them. Mac, as we were just talking about him, picking up a 2 three, three piece with a B23R now. Five score streak total. He's got going for the six, not able to get that. Yeah, on board with Max still currently has score streaks available. And then we're way ahead here. Curse are really outcasting A at the moment. Oh my god. No, no he's not just done that. Yeah, time to switch. Oh, oh my god. god. Oh. <laughs>
If he would have taken down Agony, it wouldn't have been fair. That's what <laughs> <it> would <have> been. <laughs> That was ridiculous. That's going to leave a little bit of a bitter taste in their oh, mouth. Yeah. Because, of course, that was the map that they lost 6 5 to Envious that did put them in this particular predicament. Now, can we see them bounce back? They did look very, very strong in it, I will be honest. But obviously, few little mistakes. A lot of people on Twitter were saying they literally gave that away. Challenge gets on the head, but smart play from Mac. Is he going to retreat? He's got, got a van behind him. Oh, he managed to get away. Oh, he's oh big shot by Matt there with the headshot. That's going to be two now. No. He, had, he will have had some kill points on his uh, score as well because he, right. he picked up Azox earlier on in the no. night. Oh, he's only got his alpha and RCXD. Well, let's actually have a look. Let's have a look through. And yeah, we got Azox and Broken with RCXDs and Mac with an RCXD, which he's going to use straight away. And if he takes this down the middle, I mean, he's not going to get anyone with this, I don't think. He's trying to get it into Kitchen, but I'm sure they'll be aware of that. There's one coming in there from Broken as well, so what they have to be careful of is that they're attacking each other. You know, if he can get it in the back of the oh, map being sneaky. Oh, there, he needs to go with that. He's not got enough time. I don't think it's going to explode itself automatically with that C4. Gets himself around that area. No, they were there waiting for it, so that's nothing for Mac. That comes in from Broken. No, it shut down early This on. is actually Call of Duty, not Mario Kart. <laughs> Five five though, it doesn't get much taste. Azog still has his too. Once again, five five on raid and AAA are fighting for their lives in this tournament. Well, they seem to be mostly over a B, and that's exactly where Curse are going to go. Let's go on board with Black, see what he's going to do with the M8 here. Sitting in the middle of the map at the moment, just patrolling for his team. Let's go on board with Bissell, though. I was actually saying that. I'm going to have to go on board with the RCXD of Azox, which is in a good position to do something. Oh. And he's taken out the... Oh, oh hold on. Mac actually oh, he shot it. RCXD. Yeah, he shot it, and it exploded it. So that's not really his fault. It probably would have killed Bissell anyway, but the bomb is about to go down now, and 19 seconds to go. 5-5 five, five currently is looking oh, good for Broken in yeah, Agony. Yeah, he's Matt now, unless Matt can pull something out of the bag, which they don't. What a huge play there from AAA. Look at Broken. He jumps up in absolute momentum play there. That was a huge comeback. Of course, they were, what did you say, Tom? 3 nil up? Yeah, they were 3 nil up at one point, Curse. So, you know, that they're going to be very disappointed about that. But there you go. That's the second map. Point, uh, kill streak, Ten. was it in the end? 10 in the end. Got the double figure kill streak, but nothing came well, of it. If anything, it puts a definitely in the driving seat. But not if Broken gets taken out here because Bizzle is now on a run with this flag. Let's have a look at the, the map Two in the bottom right hand side corner. Oh, he needs to stay alive, he needs to have for his teammate who's just going to cause a distraction if anything, Max going to take him out. Oh. Yes, we can. That's, that might even get a triple kill off that. Oh, it's going to pick up one. Azox taking out Bissell. The flag's now going to be picked up by Black. This is very, very important. Look at the minimap. Um, I don't think AA are going to get there in time. I think if Black just runs it in instantly, he will get that flag in. Dives and gets it. That very is important. one nil. As he destroys Wonder in the middle map and continues to push down. War Machine equipped straight off the spawn now. Is he going to pick up that kill off Black? Yes, he is. He's now in a good position to spawn trap, and he has the war machine. Oh, Wonder's going to shut him down. That's absolutely that was vital. vitally important. But you know, Kataga, this is looking good for him. But I'm going to have to go on board with Wonder. Let's see if he can make this kill. It's not going to happen. And can Azox really cover it off? Agony's had an absolute storm out there. Picked up two mid at three kills there. Azox helping him out, though. That's going to be 1-1. On board with Wonder. See how he's going to play this from the start. Went oh, straight into go. a double nade from Broken. That was not the way he wanted to do that at all because he wasn't far away from his score streaks. But now Broke's going to push down, gets the kill on Wonder off the spawn as well. Oh, he's he, getting away. He killed him straight away with the grenade. He's going to run down this right hand side, try to avoid the advances from Black. But now the target. If there's anybody you want running a flag, it is this man right here. He takes down Mac and showing you exactly why I said that statement. Now, the target is just going to make sure he can't get shot in the back. He's baiting out with that delayed flag time. Oh, he's going to get shot in the back here. Yeah. Surely he's taking too long. To get a win, and he's no. gonna take that oh, oh, no. oh my god, he's just turned on him. He's gonna oh, run this flag oh. away. He has nobody behind him. He's taking his time though. He's went down middle. This is a mistake. He's gonna get shot in the back, surely. Why did he just go down the right hand side? That's really, really slowed things up. Going up away, Azox. He's is gonna, gonna put the flag in. Hey, 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 just went 2 1 up. Oh my god, I can hear the screams from here. Kataga with that massive turn. He could have made the flag run all the way home. But he thought, no, I'll do the nice thing. I'll let Azox run this. Yeah, home. yeah, That's he knew what he was, was doing. You know what he thought. Was wow, absolutely was... insane from Gatorade. I will mess there. with their heads because I let them get it one <laughs> minute to capture the flag there. In this area, simply because of their map control, they are oh, in That was <laughs> dirty from Agony. No. Matt quick to shut him down. 
dominating everybody. He's very aware that somebody's coming up there. Very good awareness. He doesn't oh care. My God. He is agony. He has gone into Wonder and taken control. Goes for Fischl as well. Look at Agony going. Oh, I thought he was going to get himself another two piece. Unfortunately, not able to kill Agony. Which is said it turns, he doesn't get out of shot that guy. No, he, the guy is gonna say, oh my god, please. Oh, oh my god, my god, what are you doing? Stop it! That is absolutely ridiculous picking up those three kills. Instant math, and now he's getting those points. Currently trading by 40 points Mac, play. taking down Azox, couldn't make the second. Black is taking down Bissell inside the half point as well, gonna make one. Oh, oh my god, Bissell picking up the two piece there. On board with him now, around 40 points behind. And it's gonna two. go down right to the wire here. If AIA win this, then they will not, I do not think, come completely last in this tournament. Who knows? If this is the way that we will see the three way tie if AAA do this. Now, let's they see. They need to break them now. Curse broken. need to break them now. It's it, it's going to be too late. This 35 is seconds. Is it over? Break. I believe this might be very, very soon. They've won. I'm sure they have. With 29 They've seconds. Won. That's yeah, it. They have. I think Bissell should have used his score strings a little bit sooner to try and patrol around that hard point. And Curse are going to run away with this now. No, but AAA, uh, AAA, won AAA it. might have won the series. That's what I, meant to say. I don't know who's went out. Oh, I'm, I'm completely confused. <laughs> I think we need confirmation of who's we, actually crashed out the tournament here. Now, there we are. We are seeing AAA all shake hands. Now, Curse have been so, so strong in this tournament, but it's going to go down to a three-way tie, I think. Oh, yeah. And it's the exact same reason that they're using the war machine as well. If they can get one of those, that's going to be big, big news in this uh, hard point game. Still on board with Giants. Night in a little while, but I want to see what Methods can do. Does get a very nice oh, kill again. Pasco follows it up, and it's not the third piece, but he definitely got an assist on that. So it's big for his team, and he's on a rampage right now. Gets the fourth person. Oh wow, this is excellent play from Methods. Yeah, he's, he's still going. Five streaks from him. He's got his score streaks as well. Yeah, and they got control of this hard point, which. They seem to have locked down very, very well. Uh, no kills are being made and Giants are just setting up around it. It doesn't seem like Knight can do anything. Uh, Tataro is the player that's still in there picking up kills. Pasco does take down two. Made that three. Is Pasco going to pick up the four piece? Oh, he is not. Legend was there to take him down. Pasco going big for Unite. For a minute there, it looked like a glimmer of hope for Unite. But look at this lead once again. He's now back up to 60 points. Pasco desperately down. trying to get in this hard point. They said Taro, he's been tearing things up. 11 captures to his name and a lot of points. And there we go. Fist bumps all around. Bro Fist, talented uh, players. Uh, you know, is the teamwork element there? Well, I don't know. Oh, oh, Sowers oh. just drops Tojour. And it does look like he's going to try and look for a second one. Oh, and he gets Sowers, it. Sowers, wow. Reaction from that man there. There were actually two right in there. As Pasco takes down one, Legend's trying to back up, he's trying to get it, oh, Ooh. good shot, takes him in the head. And it is now three versus two, Unite really struggling. And Legend manages to evade the gunfire there, did sustain a little bit of damage, but he comes head to head with Vapes, Vapes picks up the kill, two versus two, Tojo and Sotero left for Giants. Now Tojo and Sotero are actually the big hitters for this Giants team this weekend. Every time a big play goes off, it is them. It is now one versus two. Sowers has to pull something out of the bag as Tahor is actually on a four streak. Oh boy. That's going to be bad. Oh, oh what a get oh. Ready for the next Fist bumps. Round. There's the bro fists. He, he says, it's fine either way you want to pronounce it. <laughs> he was quite a nice guy about it because I said, I just want to double check your name. And yeah. in fairness to him, he went, I know what you mean. He says, it is quite difficult for the English to present the full fellow's name. is Sowers <laughs> bangs methods with the sniper rifle again. This guy's good with the sniper as he oh, takes another oh, one down. Someone co opt it. Sowers needs a place. <laughs> He's actually been brought into effect by Tahor. I'm pretty sure that was a war machine kill. But uh, hey, let's see what Sowers and Pasco are going to do. They've decided to go to A, but they've got to be careful. There is somebody waiting for them who has just turned around. Oh, and Sotaro makes the kill. It is going to be all up to you, Pasco. One versus four. Otherwise, it's going to be two the Giants. So, uh, Pasco gets done through the window. And let's have a look at that kill cam when it comes up because wow, and unite. The dream is one map away from being over for these guys. Oh boy. Methods just completely wall banging him. Well, if there is a time to step up your game, it is Pasco did manage to escape, but the flag has been pulled. Sotaro is the flag carrier, and there is absolutely nobody that's going to be able to stop him here. No, as he does get through. He's not going to be able to catch him in time. Shots actually taken on the east. <laughs> <laughs> 
That awkward moment when you stop a little bit short can be quite nerve-wracking. Now they have an opportunity as Bates picks up two, like we said, the magic. Can this be the return? And I think this is locked in tight. There we go, there's that police car spawn. And the oncoming, <laughs> you've actually gone back in blue. He's like, oh no, this is not There we go, he's actually managed to get away. And is he going to make this? There is still a chance that he could be cut off by one of the Giants players. Let's see if Panthers can do anything. Uh, I think it's... Oh my goodness, he could have captured that. Fly. Oh, it's been dropped. He's played it way too slow. And all of you Knight go down and that is going to be returned. And Giants going for the counter cap. Wow, that could have been a capture for your Knight. 2-0 down. I think he was getting stunned and then he hesitated and it all just went a little bit downhill and they couldn't get it in. But look at this, Pasco has managed to get another counter cap, it's just back and two, and we are seeing Unite equalise, it is now 1-1, Unite are not out of this yet. EMP grenade removing the red dot from his side, but still, Bates advancing. However, he is surrounded by three of them, picking up one, he's shot the back, no it isn't, Bates! What a kill by Bates, the reaction! Wow, that was massive, Tahor is actually temporarily the only one left alive and I think he might be able to shut it down, no! Unite actually pick up a very big kill, it was Pasco who managed to get that and he is the flag carrier, there is nobody that can stop this, he's just sneaked around the corner, but somebody's giving chase, oh boy this is going to be oh, close. Oh, he's shut out. Vapes getting the cutoffs and this is going to be it, Pasco please just run this flag, Vapes with a two please, piece Pasco. Cut off and he's got it in, There we Vapes, go. Pasco, the two agents. pieces, Get the plays, the so we have the same idea but look at it. You know, not only have the half point and contesting at the moment, they are set up on the next one. This is a comeback from United. As Vape has both of his score streaks. Don't count these guys out yet because they are taking it to the Giants. Oh yeah, they're bringing this right back now. As you said, he's got the lining strike and, and the health goal missile in his arsenal. There is smoke scattered all over oh! his map. Vape has gone huge. He has every single score streak unlocked. They're rotating better. There's Giants having to pick up the Constellation Forge. However, they are at the next one, but it does seem like United are very well. It's Lucky oh. Bell gets a great two-piece to lock this down and let his team all spawn around this area. Yeah, the lead is extending now. Pasco right around, does pick up two, and he did it up to Sotaro. Oh, Pasco! Three-piece for Pasco! Gets a three-piece. What an incredible play. Up. There is some magic coming out from United. Oh, no. Yeah. So, we're still with the War Machine. Six shots reloaded, so he needs 19 seconds. Yeah, it's mathematically impossible and it has been for about it's 20 gone. seconds. I was too threatened, I was just watching them, these guys have fun with their score streaks. Well, while we've got a little bit of time before the game ends, let's bring up the score. But Vapes is so, so close to the 40 bomb. Come on, Vapes, let's watch him. Vapes get a kill. I think he's actually going to leave. Can he make it? No, he's took it. <laughs> he's trying to find someone and he's not going to make it. But it's going to be 250 to 170. First to six, of course. Unite currently winning this 2 1. Pasco does take some damage, was actually from a teammate. But Lucky does take down Method. Oh, Legend. Misses it. Legend picks up a total, picks up another one. Back to 2 2. Is this really going to go to 5 5? 2. Lucky against 2. He's just got to defend the bomb. Still one there, and he takes a shot. That's going to put him in a bad position. He's giving it away. Takes the head. There's another one on the other side. Lucky, can he do this? Yes, take down one. Oh boy, behind you Lucky. Oh no, Lucky behind him, no, Tahora gets him in the end. Tahora goes big for Giants there, and now Giants are gonna take this lead. I mean, the problem is, for Methods here, you might know exactly where that bomb is. <sighs> this is gonna be a problem now, he is trying to start, and look at them, they're not even, they're not even in that area, you usually see a player defending around there, but they're not, <laughs> he's just walked into the Hornets nest. Can you make this kill? No, Lucky, look at it now. One round left to go, and Giants could be going home after throwing away a 2-0 lead. Break into the A-bomb site where they have lost the bomb. I know, oh, oh, gets a big down. kill. Pasco, if he won versus two of this, he Finish guarantees his team is safe. And he doesn't seem to be moving. Yeah. <laughs> oh, oh, Pasco just about <laughs> makes the kill. There were no words there, Rel. But here we go, one versus one, and it's going to come down to this! Oh. Tahora keeping his team in it. Pasco could have ended it there and then. It was a one-to-one -one gun battle. Pasco had time to make the kill. And please, he... please don't go to a 5v5. I'm not sure I can take it. Going all out. They're going for an A-rush. All or nothing now. Pasco picks up one. Lucky takes down another. It's two versus four. This is bad news now for Giants. Methods and Sotero with the final two plays for Giants, keeping Spain in this tournament. And Unite just need a single round if they want to take this. Giants only need two. Lucky's going to go hunting. What can RCXD achieve? Looking for them. 
You know what, I think he's using this more as a scouting device to make sure they haven't rotated. That's exactly what he is doing. He's just double checking they haven't rotated round and looking for them. However, look at that. Uh oh, oh no, and Lucky is gonna go down. He has been caught off guard oh! there with a black jacket. Oh. And Totoro takes that one as well. Wait, wait, one versus no! Oh my it's goodness! Five, five! Can you believe oh, it? Oh my goodness. This is this is too much. This is way too much. It all comes down to this one round. One round left. One round of search and destroy to determine who gets just, knocked out. Couldn't you believe that? Lucky, he died, but he was still up because of the RCXD and almost took down his killer, but it was not for a flat jacket. Flat jacket, oh, flat jacket. Yeah, well, I said we were going to watch Giants. Let's get on board with him. Tahor is going to be the guy to spectate from the get-go. <laughs> oh, and it all comes down to one round of search and destroy to decide who goes to the knockout stages. This is tense, and Giants have gone for a rush. It's into B, and unfortunately, Unite have picked A. Oh, no, this is bad, bad news for Unite. They need to make the most of this now. They have the numbers, and Unite rallying round now, and it is advantage to Giants. Four versus three. Three versus three. Oh man, people are, the plays are just getting whittled down now. We're probably going to see a one versus one, but the bomb has been planted. Giants are looking strong. Every single angle has been t cornered off. Giants have this covered. They're going to do it. Giants could do it as they take down another one. Two versus three. Unite has to do something as lucky as there. They have lucky and 19 seconds. They have to go now. They've got a challenge. They have to go. They need to challenge now. It's going to be too late, they literally have to go. Oh. In fact, they picked up two. They have to go into the defusion kill right now. They have to defuse, that's it. It's game over. It's game over. Unite are going home. The Cinderella comeback has not happened as Giants go through. Unite are out of this tournament. Can you believe this, Rel? Oh, my goodness. And you know that final kill. Look at this. I mean, the kill cam kind oh of shows he was on goodness. the bomb. He was next to the bomb and he almost got the pistol kill against across the map. Oh, and you've got to feel bad for Unite, but Giants pulled it out of the bag. It was 5-3 to Unite. Give Rupi back the AR. I should point out for the top two hills, he was using the M8 at the start. Now he feels that the SMG is much needed here. There's no shot, there's no assault shield, and Miracle oh my is going to come in and shank him. Picks up the kill, he's high-fiving his teammates, not even putting his hands on the controller at this point. Parasite was on a four kill spree, and that play from Miracle may have just Rush the momentum that Envy was trying to make the game oh, the last God. 20 seconds on the top hard point. So awesome. Miracle's now on a four kill spree, earns himself a hellstorm. Rambo's able to break the hard point, 30 seconds left, and they need all 30 of this to hit the 60 second point. Their opponents almost 100 points more than them. They know what pressure is on them right now. The question is, do they have enough in the tank to pull it out. Proofy's pushing in, but this war machine is just going to deny any yeah. entrance. There's still a Hellstorm in Parasite's back pocket, and he's not going to get a chance to use it. 250 Woo. to 115. Envy, welcome to Yemen, says Impact. Yeah, and again, I think you said it best. That's one that Envy just has to put behind them. They, they, they're not a good hardpoint uh, team on Yemen, and that's just that's a fact. There was really no way that they were going to come out and win this kind of with their skill set on this map. In game commando, we got Rambo Ray, and he's pulling out a sniper very aggressively. He's going to find Ooh. Karma, and Karma says, Take a seat, son. Proofy picks up the double, though. Proofy doing everything he can in this match. Dropped most kills in game number one for his squad, and he opens things up with a double. J Cap with a kill as well. Ooh. Can they finish it two on one versus kill? And J Cap is going to do it. The duo is alive. Three Ooh. on zero as Ooh. Miracles Ooh. is going to have a Nasty kill cam. Kill is just jumping around blocks. Yeah. He's going to get Miracles the defuse. He already has the RC car, and he is going to be working his way towards that Hellstorm. Great round from Miracles. Can't Good wait job. for this kill cam. Oh, man, that was well played, and they give it to Miracles. He has already had his RC car, so he was working on it. So three consecutive kills, plus he gets a bomb defuse there, and that was sick. This Look. kill cam was Look at this just push. dirty. Two players, they know he's there, and he wins the battles anyway. Down 2-0. All right, so here you see the double stack. It looks like Proofy working with Stainville in the middle. Proofy is going to lead the charge. Stainville picked, though, by Kill. Kill doing a great job dancing around the pole. And J-Cap will answer over their shoulder. Proofy with the SMG once again. You can tell that he has great accuracy. Oh. And there, he just beat one of the best SMG players oh. in the game one-on-one. -on -one. His opponent in the kitchen. It's Parasite. Parasite with the oh. And the pistol is good. 
Five to two. Impact one round away from going up two games against Envy, oh sending them God. home. Envy is now six losses more than they have wins. They are in the bottom of our Bravo group. Stainville looking to finish off the kill. Karma actually up close snipes J Cap. Now Stainville trying to stay alive. He will be picked off as it looks wow. like Rambo is going to be left alive with Proofy. Two on three situation. Let's see what Envy can do. We got Proofy above. Rambo watch on the back. Rambo goes down up top. This is all up to Proofy. 1v3. This is going to be 2-0 Envy unless Proofy can pull off something miraculous. Yeah, they both, they just, yeah, they just engaged him so quickly. I mean, there was not much that Proofy could do there. When you're in a 3v1 situation, they all knew where he was. You had Karma that had the sniper rifle. Killa played selflessly there just to engage him, bring him out, and Impact cleans it up, and now they take a lead 2-0. And it is a very, very dark evening here for this MV squad. When they're looking at the situation here, there's an MV player behind enemy lines making moves. I'm not sure who that is for the MV squad. It is Stainville. Stain. But this is scary because no. now Impact, as M Impact has the flag, and all four of them are like the mighty ducks in a flying V bringing it back. And, and you're Karma Stainville, you're carrying the flag is one of the most fierce things I've ever seen. He gets a 200-point bonus for every kill he gets. Stainville able to call out a little bit of a... Flag stalemate action. Great cover fire so far. Stainville goes down. Rambo's nowhere near. Karma's going to put this one in. 1 0 after a minute 20. It's impact once again with first blood. Donut, and this is almost uh, only a minute and 47 seconds left in this first half. Let's see what he can do. Parasite on board with him, but Stainville does pull that flag. Didn't last long, though. Nope. So, as you guys can see on the mini map, oh, three there down. were three members of impact pushing from the front. Parasite just comes from the back end, loops around on the flank. Now his teammates are in position to spawn kill. Unfortunately, they did lose kill, but look for Karma to get a few more kills. The players try to rotate through blue. It doesn't matter if they die because they were just buying time for oh. Parasite, who puts in the second flag with a minute 10 left here in our first round. Left alive behind enemy lines. He is going to find one. There he goes. That was Parasite with the war machine. So he knows coming off respawn, there will be a grenade launcher any second. Needs to dodge any walls that might be available for splash damage there. Parasite will be tracking him down through the middle of the map. Meanwhile, Miracles for Impact is going to be trying to run a flag through Garage. Gets a kill of his own. War Machine is golden for Parasite. He gets the return. One more kill to his left, and this flag could come home. He's taken down, but Miracles just playing with Envy. Running back Oh my and forth, gosh, that kill through the smoke! Through the smoke. Gonna get another Stop. one with the cop car. He oh, I'm done. Five bullets I'm done. in the clip. 2.15 on the clock, and it's going to be 3-0 at the two-minute oh, mark. That's Impact it. is not losing this game. Blank, and here comes the first flag attempts here from Envy, but it really doesn't matter at this point. You can't run three flags across the map in 35 <laughs> no, seconds. No, man, you can lace the Nikes up all you want, but you will not go coast to coast for three flags in 30 seconds. It's not possible. That is it, and Envy is going to be out of the Gfinity tournament. Oh, there was 10 teams that were invited here for Call of Duty. Two teams got knocked out today, and Envy was one of them. And I don't think anybody could have predicted that. No. I, I didn't think it could get any worse than what happened at MLG Anaheim. And to be honest with you, uh, it did. Wow. Parasite, yeah. Matt, 30 and 16, Matt. double positive. Envy just furious with their performance, but still amazing sportsmanship. The first one to shake hands is Rambo. The rest of the team now congratulating Impact, telling them best of luck. They're going to have their work cut out for them. Teams like TCM, Complexity really putting on a show. It's day two. <laughs> I'm so excited right now. Gfinity, $55,000 on the line. We had 10 teams here for Call of Duty Black Ops 2. Now we're down to eight. And two, two teams got knocked out last night. One of them, I had in my top four for this event. It's been crazy. I mean, the one thing that I was saying yesterday, I had such high hopes for Envious. And guess what? Mm, well, I'm sorry. They've, they've been knocked down a little bit. But, I mean, they, I, mean I can't say they played their best, but... Envy have sucked this weekend. Let's be okay, honest. All right, let's. I Envy to it nicely. <laughs> should have been good. They weren't good. Everyone was struggling except for JCap, in my opinion. And even JCap, actually, when it mattered most, was struggling against Impact. They just shut him down. Parasite won all of the anchor battles. Really, Envy. They played AAA, and it was a much win situation. They barely pulled it out in game number five after going up 2-0.
But then, in a must-win situation against Impact, they just simply didn't show up. Impact made them look bad last night. It was really bad. Actually, I was watching it and just seeing their faces after that game. I mean, it was it was true devastation. It really was. So our two teams that were eliminated, if you guys are just joining us this weekend, Envy, one of the top American squads, went out last night losing all but one match. And that one match they did win, it was a 3-2 victory over AA8. That means they only had four victories overall. That was the worst score. So they're out of the tournament after the three-way tie. That's in Group Alpha, though, or Bravo. But in Alpha, it was Unite UK. Those guys lost every single match. Some of the games were really close, including the CTFs, mm -hmm. but they were sent home. That means our top eight now. We got Complexity, AAA, the French squad. We got Prophecy, Impact, Optic Gaming, Giants, TCM, and the boys from Curse, I Curse think, UK. Yeah, and one of the biggest surprises for me was TCM. I mean, no one was really sure how they were going to perform. 4 0. Crazy. I mean, they've only lost one game and they've lost none of the matches. So that's pretty amazing. They are looking so strong. If you guys don't know who Marky B and friends are, you will know by the end of today. Before the event, I actually had no idea how strong they would be. We've never seen them at a Major League Gaming Pro Circuit event. So coming over to London and watching them dominate on the home turf, it was really a treat. And let me tell you, you think complexity plays with energy? You just wait till you watch <laughs> TCM. Swizz, the coach, was going nuts. He gets the rest of the team fired up. Really and Monksy closed out the night, guys. 44 and 14 with two stealth choppers on Yemen. And the thing is, I, I wish that everyone could actually feel the energy in this room because it is a smaller sort of confined space where usually you're in these arenas and there's right. so much more room. I mean, you are here actually in the action and you're really feeling it. And it's really cool, the, the setups. It's kind of like the open bracket at some of the other events you've seen. Teams are playing directly across from each other. Unlike the MLG event where there's a little bit of championships where you're in an isolated booth. These guys are looking straight across at their opponent. They're talking trash mid-game. They're trying to get in each other's heads. It's a really, really intense battle going on out there. I love watching it you unfold. Know, it's so much fun. And even like the other teams and the players are all huddling behind them too. So there is a real support system. So we got to get your predictions here, Justine. I was talking with Fwiz. He gave me his top three. He said it's going to okay. be complexity, impact, and then either Optic Gaming or TCM in that third spot. Who do you have taken this tournament? You know what? I'm going to go with TCM, complexity, and optic. TCM, Is complexity, optic. Yeah, can I do that? Am yeah, I allowed to do that? absolutely. Right, great. There's you, my picks. Do you have TCM in the first spot? I do. All right. Yes. So go TCM. All right. She's sharing on the UK lads. I like it. Don't tell my American friends. We definitely <laughs> won't do that. I mean, they've been they've been struggling. I don't know if it's this jet lag, but then the entire when I was reading the chat, every time uh, the American boys would complain about the jet lag, the UK guys are like, "Well, we struggle with the same thing when we're at the US." So quit yeah. whining, babies. Yeah, basically. All right. Well, fifty-five thousand dollars on the line. We got thirty thousand to first. 15 to second and you have to finish in the top four to take home some dollars today so five grand going to third and fourth place it's going to be an epic battle and that means that rounds one is going to be probably the, or round one excuse me is going to be the most important you lose it you're out of the cash you win it you're walking home with something in your pocket so do you know who we have up first you know, our first match is going to be Complexity versus Curse. And Curse, they went 1-3 and three yesterday. They won a bit more games than the other teams, AA and Envy, in the three-way tie. So they had some good games, but their only win was against Envy, mm -hmm. where they 3-1 them. So Curse, it's going to be up to Mac and Black to shut down Crim6 and Clayster because those two were absolutely on fire for Complexity yesterday. If they continue to slay like they did, I don't think we saw Clayster drop less than 28 kills at any point in the tournament. Tournament. If they continue doing that, it's going to be a brutal beating for Curse UK. He is someone that I've, I've never seen have so much energy, just in general. I mean, I'm, af I'm actually afraid. Yeah, he, he got up at 8 a.m. He was playing until midnight, and he was still doing jumping jacks outside when we left the venue. Oh, my God. <laughs> so have you got a chance to talk to any of the teams today? Yeah, uh, Mr. X came here with the Team Complexity. They were the first team in the venue ready to warm up. This is the exact same thing I saw at MLG Anaheim. I think these guys are fired up. They've had the most time to prepare for today. They're going to be coming in hot. I don't think anyone will be taking them down. Optic, though, they came in, and it was Scump, Nadeshot, and Big T just chumming on the couch with their cups of coffee. They're feeling <laughs> really comfortable. They're feeling like their first challenge in round number one is not going to be too bad, but they got to look out for the French Monster and the rest of AAA. They're going to be coming in hot form. It's true. There's going to be a lot of amazing games today.
Into the lead here. Yeah, Humble with Black now just covering in the back hit. Easy enough kill there from. He's just really trying to hold down this back alley. He needs to help his teammates inside the area. Now Crimson's in there, gets shut down. It looks like somebody else has jumped in. Max shut down by TP as well. Black trying to hold down with a BT3R. Oh, he has to stay alive. The no, knife coming did. in. <laughs> TP just bum rushes Black with the knife taking him out. That's a nice shank there. Help them out for themselves at the moment. And it's all cursed at the moment with the kills coming up on the, uh, the feed there. Well, with TP. Kurt's did a remarkable job moving to the hard point, knocking out complexity from top granny and taking it over. They are well set up, but TP not allowing that to happen. Aches and TP both just rush in, taking back that hard point, but Black trying to stop that, stepping it up after a slow start. He's now even at 11 11. They make that 11 12. And we are going to jump on board oh, Aix. with, yeah, you know what, got to stay with Aix, he's, he's got some things going, picks up yet another kill, he's going to start working towards that Hellstorm. If that is the trend with complexity, I, I don't think I've seen them enough to say so, but I don't want prophecy to batter anyone because if they win it all, <laughs> I will have to bleach to pick it up. If he can do that, moving slowly into this hard point, see somebody oh. and gets taken <laughs> out. What a beautiful Semtex coming in by Wonder does take out Black, but it was all worth it as he did stop Crim6 from earning that Hellstorm. Yeah, but I mean, he actually got shot first by Vessel. Turn around, takes him out as well. Still on board with him. Comes with the kill on Black as well, looking towards the wall. Needs help from his teammates, he's not really extending out. I think they're just sitting back and trying to get the spawn on the next one. Now he picks up his full scorn streak. TP going off inside the half point. 30 seconds left on that half point there. And if Complexity pulls this out, they're going to have to thank TP for it because what he just did in that hard point was a game changing moment. He earned the first score streaks of the game and he has them all the War Machine, the Lightning Strike, the Hellstorm, and he is just going to be a terror. So they're going to. They had that hard point. They could have abandoned it. Curse is going to take the garbage time left and at nine seconds left. And they're going to make sure that complexity is really well set up with TP and the war machine in his hands. It's going to be incredibly difficult for Curse to get in there and take the win from complexity. Now that they're so set up, he can just let that thing rip. Well, they need to do it pretty much in the next five seconds. And oh, that's going to be good. That's it. That is going to be the nail in the coffin. The Hellstorm comes down, picks up Bissell. He's got a lightning strike. He's going to let that one rip as well. And mathematics impossible so back and forth these two squads one completely evenly matched no doubt about it can't take it away from either team but it's complexity that comes out on top and again clay sir of course the guy standing up oh yeah very loud oh you gotta wonder if he's even gonna put the bomb down no pun intended oh good play by mac that gets the kill on Crimson. so one guy left it's gonna be clay oh, nice. not gonna pick it up mac comes in around the back of him there clay i managed to get one kill Mac, very, very smart though. Come around the back of him. Easy kill. Mac picking up a two piece there with a round ending kill kill. And Curse just said, forget the bomb. Let's take out the squad of complexity. And they do just that. Mac getting the round ending kill cam on Clayster. Should maybe try to pick up a stray kill here to get his RC card. He's not even going to yeah, do that. Very defensive. Smart play by him. He's very close to an RC. Not too far away, believe it or not, from a Hellstorm. And they just, not smart. Taking it back from him. I'm taking the smart card back <laughs> away from Mac. Followed around behind the RCXD car, which gives them cover if anything. Scouted out the guy, at B, took him out. Max is gonna take that TP as well. Max coming in oh with a two piece there. Gosh. That's gonna be the round for Curse. Fantastic play by him. Max going off in this SD. Wasn't a full kill streak. Now on a three, defusing the bomb as well. Gonna be close. Well, no, you will get his RC car. Against Clayster and Crim6. This is an awkward situation to be in when it's two versus two of complexity. Choose right, they're just gonna go in and absolutely take out Curse. And it's one versus one. Oh my gosh, back and forth, oh, shots Bissell. being fired, and Bissell pulls it out, taking out Crim6, and Complexity is fired, Curse is fired up. Uh, in MOAB, Moab, yeah. before, oh on a, I think it was a European event, I think it was actually Riddles that might have gotten it. Jeez, that's pretty crazy as well. TP just trying to be smooth criminal in that car and does not do that at all. Aches taking shots, he gets taken out. Wander is going to be all alone here against Crim6 and Clayster. If they want to stay in this game, it's not going to happen. Crim6 getting the last kill and Clayster taunting the curse team, letting them know what's really good. As now Complexity takes a 2 0 series lead over Curse Gaming. Curse. Bissell no, does very not. Close. Very close to it. And now it's going to be Crim6 that's going to start making another push for him. He's going to try to get that flag. Flag now is in the basketball court, still in the hands of Bissell. So Crim6 is going to play this one very slowly. Behind enemy lines for Curse is Black and Wonder. They're going to try to get that out of the hands of TP. Black does kill Clayser. So both teams starting to make some moves in here. And Wonder not able to do it. So 
I'm trying to focus on who's going to pull back. Crim6. Crim6 picks up a two-piece, going to get the return on the flag, and that is going to be a cap for the complexity. No! Oh, oh, he does close. get it. He got it in, but look, the counter cup could happen here. On oh board with Black gosh. Now. He needs help from his teammates. That kill going down the left-hand side between Bissell and Aix was so important. Aix has picked it up as well, and he's pretty much... Oh! 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 Aix going off for the M88. He's going to get the return on the flag as well, <coughs> and going to be very close to his Hellstone missile. Oh my goodness. Flag's been run again. Crimzix is all over this. That was so quick. I mean, that was almost returned. That flag cap was just so close and Curse not able to get the counter cap. And actually, it was a counter counter cap yeah. by complexity. That really did happen. And Crimzix now has his Hellstorm and Lightning Strike in tow. And he's still working for that War Machine. Clock, something's got to happen here. Black's back there trying to get a return and not going to happen. So both flags won't get a return. Ace is going to try right here. He has the War Machine out. But eight seconds left. He's got to have to move really quick here to get in there and get the return. And he does get it. He gets the return. They get the cap. 3-0 in oh, favor guys. of Complexity. And they just... That was a perfect execution by that squad. This kills all over the score, but I have no idea what's going on anymore. Yeah, I was going to say, <laughs> I'm like just sitting back as a spectator here at this point because the death is so real at this point. Let's take a look at the scoreboard. 16 and 7 for Crim6. 14 and 8 for Aix. And no one is positive in Mac. Oh. 3 and 14. I won't tell his mom about that. No, I don't think she'd be proud. No, she would not be proud. Mac, just the curse team, just demoralized. They've had such an amazing run here, though. It's such a talented team. It's just when you go down 2-0 after very, two very close games, all things considered. Yeah. Search, not as close, but hard point was definitely a hard-fought battle. But this cool. capture the flag game just got away from them very quickly. But like, gotta love him though. Uh, you, you know, uh, you gotta say you, they, he's had a good tournament. Every time I've watched him, minus this game, he's played very, very well. And yesterday he was on fire. Oh yeah, he picked up some very important games. We were games. All talking I mean, about it this morning. But yeah, very unfortunate for him. But yeah, that's gonna be the uh, the game. And uh, I think uh, you know complexity. They're just <laughs> dominant. <laughs> it, when it's, it's, four, when, when it's gonna four stop and, and poor Mac is three and seven hundred and twenty-two. There's not much <laughs> that you can say at this point. It's been a hard-fought battle for both of these squads. I, I can't give Curse enough credit, though, that they are continuing to pull flags. They're not giving up here. They're continuing to try. They just put one on the board there for just some prize, for the European pride. They had a great tournament here, but Complexity, with their eyes set on winning MLG Anaheim and Gfinity back-to-back, -back are just an unstoppable force here. Um, they, oh, they, yeah, he, oh, he, the he, he almost <laughs> did pick up that collateral, which would have been just absolutely ridiculous for Aches. But Aches, with those four returns, have been pretty massive big, yeah. I mean, for his team. If and you look there at you the, have it. If you look at the curse team, they didn't really have any returns. It was just Complexity coming in with the important returns. Again, this is what I'm talking about. It's not really necessarily the amount of kills you get. It's the important ones. If Mac had returned the flag six times, we wouldn't have been complaining. But no, you know, that's how right. it goes, unfortunately. Yep, that, that is the truth here. And Complexity, 3 O's curse. They just slay. When they get into that close quarters, so difficult to take them guys out. They just move so fast. Uh, it does seem like we're on board with Parasite as he actually gets taken down. I believe he was taken down by a smoke grenade as Gunchy picked up a two piece to secure that heal. All right, on board with Killa now, and, and Killa is in the brown right now. Brown house round level two oh. dropping down, and he's going to pick up another nice kill on Swanee. 21 seconds and counting, both deaths, and there you see just eight and six. Make it nine and six after that nice SMG kill. Meanwhile, though, it's Killa at 14 and seven, six caps and five defense. He's absolutely dominating the SMG battles. Most caps, most defense in the game, second most kills, and nearly, yeah, least deaths. This nearly flawless gameplay. He didn't even use his score streaks. 250 to 105. It's Impact bringing it in game number one. And there was another headshot from Miracles. There is a player bottom center. Swanee is that player. Miracles knows he's going to be trying to retreat. Cuts him off. Gets the kill. That is his fourth in a row. Working towards his RC car. And it's going to be kill with a two-piece in your kill cam. Can't wait to show you ladies this one. Oh my goodness. Here we go. He's Killa to is one. single, ladies, and he's really good at COD. One burst in his first kill, and he's going to catch the ankle through the wall for the second. Great angle there, and just communication and teamwork from Impact really showing off there. Here at B, everyone else from Impact outside in the middle of the map, they're about to meet up, and it looks like the rotation here for Ice Swanee is going to be perfect to A. Just they don't blow up the trophy it. systems, they'll never know you're here. They got away with it. Look at that. That was such a you know a blatant switch. They just ran straight across the middle of the map and they have actually out duped the impact line. But 20 goes up against him. I believe that is Parasite at the bottom of them stairs. Gunchy's actually backing him up, but oh no! 
Kilia has now been down there and it does seem like Prophecy are in a great place to shut this one out. They are actually playing very carefully. It seems like they're just uh -oh. hanging together as a teammate. That's what he's able to get. Oh no! no. no. Miracles is amazing, ladies and gentlemen. Getting shot first. He's able to take out Swanee, who is outside and should have been able to get that kill. And then he's able to turn and take out Gunshi as well. So absolutely incredible <laughs> play from Miracles once again on Meltdown. And look at that karma cracking up. Miracles talking a little smack after this one. And here's how he did it one more time. Swanee goes down. The red dot, the dive. Gunchy just aiming right above his head. Amazing, amazing play for Miracles in your final kill cam. Oh, that really was. And you know what? Prophecy not going to be happy about that. I know Swanee is going to be in a really bad mood. Like I said, for excellence to grab this flag and run it right down middle or take it poolside. And it looks like that's the game plan with Gunchy rotating. Finds the spawner, picks up the kill. Where is the flag grab? Excellence nowhere near. Prophecy just taking way too long and Gunchy realizing it. Tries to make a move of his own. These guys need to start working together as a team because as you look at the mini map, they don't know it, but they are always in position to get it out and escape with it. Shane would have been long gone halfway oh, across the pool with that by now. Shane would have run around the bamboos with three people, but however, it does seem like they are now trying to get this flag back. Swanee actually has it. His team are in half decent cutoff positions. This could be Two all down. the way home. Gunchy has got to shut this down. And, and there we go. The miracles, but they have actually made it. Swanee got this flag back, and now Prophecy. Starting to get the pump. I think we just heard them screaming then. Win in a row. Won't get the score streak. So big kill outside. That was Parasite shutting him down. And now this is when impact gets dangerous. They counter cap like a boss. I don't even know how to say it, man. These guys do it better than anyone else. You anger them, they will answer back immediately. We saw it with Complexity versus Impact just a few months ago, and now this flag is all the way across the map. Only position, player in position to stop him is going to be excellent, and he's going to have a tough time. One player to get by in Kitchen. I don't even think he's going to get there in time to stop Miracles from Dolphin diving this one in. No, I don't think he is actually excellent to try to take shots in kitchen, giving a position away. Now 1-1, one, one, and probably going to hate that. They did such hard work for two minutes, and the impact just whipped that flag away Their so Their first push. Hard. Where is excellence? Where is excellence? They all turn around. They get the kill. Now they'll push out as a team. I love watching impact in CTF. Yeah, I know exactly what you mean. It does seem like excellence, his KD ratio is quite bad, but you watch what he's doing every single time. He's just going for that flag. He's playing the objective really strongly, constantly challenging Constantly making them check the holes in their defense. And you know what? It's helping probably at the moment because probably getting map controls. Excellence gets the flag away once again. Nine He's got seconds. Nine seconds. They don't have any cutoffs. His team are desperately trying to get there. He gets taken down by Karma. swanee has got it alive. Three seconds left to get home. Can he reach the flag? No! Dolphin diving about 15 feet short. Getting two kills on his way to that flag return as well. Big plays from both players. 2.30 left on the clock. And now it looks like Excellence may be going for a flag grab of his own. Here we go. The counter cap. Here come Prophecy. They've got the cutoff. They've got Swanee's the is back though. No. Both players are getting chased right now. It's going to be up to Mary Tarot. Gets caught by Swanee. In the mini map, more players pushing from ringside though. Who can get the cutoffs? Can Gunchy do it? He's in the position as Swanee or Excellence. It's in. He does. It's in. What a great play from Prophecy. The turnaround. Swanee made that hellstorm just. It was just inside the building when he got and it. And look at this final kill cam. This is what springed it. If he didn't kill Miracles here with his two bursts at short range, that flag would have gone down. A double kill opportunity and impact probably could have pulled a flag out through the center of the map with the two-piece in the center, make it three straight kills. And now Prophecy, they got middle map control. 40 seconds left on this one. If Jake can get the kills in the Graves, and if they have a player locking down blue, it looks like they do an excellence. This is going to be a huge chunk and a great comeback. Yeah, Prophecy are doing the work. And the great thing is they're actually holding the spawn as well. They haven't let anybody breach that defense. If they can hold this for the next one, they're going to come screaming back into this game. It's Prophecy, <laughs> Prophecy Swanee doing great work with him, he's just holding it. Can he get the clean mm. move? No, he cannot. And this is now going to be a bit dangerous as they do not want to lose this spawn as well. And now he loses. He's just waiting. Look at the patience from Karma there. So I'll just wait till you jump out and I'll keep doing you. Reloading it and it is bad news. Look, he's just putting them down again. Karma it's not even worried. Game over if he keeps playing like this. They're just 40 seconds away from victory. Prophecy <laughs> needs to dig deep right now. And that was a big play from Gunshi. Gunshi getting in. We got some great matches coming up next, and this one is looking like Impact is going to finish strong. 
Looks like Karma calling in his Hellstorm is going to take out two of his teammates, but it doesn't matter. Parasite's inside the hill, racking up the final oh, 10 wow. seconds. They are going to keep Prophecy under 150 points. Remember, it was 133 to 131 at one point. After losing the lead, Impact gets angry, and they finish up by 103. I mean, they're leading by 20 points against this optic lineup, and we're just watching Broken patrol around the back petrol area. And there you see Broken picking up a kill on your screen. He's down to four kill spree. He's about halfway to the score streaks, but he gets taken out. One of the optic players comes back door on him. It's going to be Scup. And Scup now watching that back alley so closely. Here we go. Can he pick up this kill? Oh. He does manage to get one. There is another player there. Big timer up top now for Optic Gaming. He's the only player left in that hard point. He's getting challenged from the hop up. He gets taken down. So Agony now comes right back after getting taken out. Nerd goes to check that, but his teammate does go down. There was one coming behind him. He gets taken down now. And this is all scrappy points now. But full streaks for Broken. They are going to be so, so influential, especially on that next half point. Oh, and here comes Broken. He knows where Optic's going to be coming from. They have to come from this door. 25 seconds still left in this hard point. He's got the war machine out. We're going to stay on board with Broken. Optic has to breach that door still. This could be bad, bad news for them. Broken with a timely reload there. Now he's just actually going to pull out the MSMC. I can't say that's a bad decision. He's going to hang tight with those uh, war machine rounds. He's going to save those gooch, and I think that's going to pay off huge dividends really soon. Time has just been taken down, and literally all AAA need to do is contest the hard point, and they will be able to win with two minutes left on the clock. That's a potential 120 points. So this still can be done by Optic. And Scumpy right now getting fed. Scumpy with a big two piece. That's his second one inside this hard point. Here come the streaks. Here, I mean, they're leading by 20 points against this optic lineup, and we're just watching Broken patrol around the back petrol area. And there you see Broken picking up a kill on your screen. He's down to four kill spree. He's about halfway to the score streaks, but he gets taken out. One of the optic players comes back door on him. It's going to be Scump. And Scump now watching that back alley so closely. Here we go. Can he pick up this kill? Oh. He does manage to get one. There is another player there. Big timer up top now for Optic Gaming. He's the only player left in that hard point. He's getting challenged from the hop up. He gets taken down. So Agony now comes right back after getting taken out. And Nerd goes to check that, but his teammate does go down. There was one coming behind him. He gets taken down now. And this is all scrappy points now. But full streaks for Broken. They are going to be so, so influential, especially on that next half point. Oh, and here comes Broken. He knows where Optic's going to be coming from. They have to come from this door. 25 seconds still left in this hard point. He's got the war machine out. We're going to stay on board with Broken. Optic has to breach that door still. This could be bad, bad news for them. Broken with a timely reload there. Now he's just actually going to pull out the MSMC. I can't say that's a bad decision. He's going to hang tight with those uh, war machine rounds. He's going to save those gooch, and I think that's going to pay off huge dividends really soon. Time has just been taken down, and literally all AAA need to do is contest the hard point, and they will be able to win with two minutes left on the clock. That's a potential 120 points. So this still can be done by Optic. And Scumpy right now getting fed. Scumpy with a big two-piece. That's his second one inside this hard point. Here come the streaks from Scumpy. He has to call them in right now. He's got to understand that uh, they have about 80 possible points. They've got to come back. They're down about, down about 50, 45 points. So those streaks are going to come into play here very shortly, I think, as soon as AA gets control. Here it is. This is going to be the lightning strike coming out of Scumpy. Can he connect with all the AA players? He does manage to take out Broken, Agony, and Gataga. That's all four down for AAA right now. If Optic can manage to get that spawn in the next green room, oh, they don't, though. AAA gets the, the gas side spawn, the petrol spawn, and now Scumpy's not going to be able to connect. His teammates have to breach this door right now. They need to take full effect of this hard point with the potential 44 seconds on that clock and for, uh, 38 to actually find. I cannot see this going in Optic's way. AAA have taken the control of that hard point, and I think they have actually won it here, Hastro. Just the mass that needs confirming there, but they are going to fight until the end and try and go for that ultimate score limit of 250. Uh, and Gutaga on fire right now on a six kill spree to end this round. 23 seconds left on the clock. That's going to be all she wrote for Optic Gaming. Here's your scoreboard at the moment. Huge plays out of Broken. 34 and 16 versus Optic. Nine caps, seven defends. 
broken going massive for AAA. Yeah, broken the uh, player there in the blue hoodie standing up with the red headset shouting over towards Optic, showing that he is the more dominant player on that half point area. So that is AAA there taking the early lead here in this quarter final. Of course, the winner of this matchup has got themselves a guaranteed $5,000 and a spot in the semi final. They can pick up the first pick as Jerry picks up a nice so, head shot on the uh, fourth pipe. So pretty much we see AAA here a bit putting too much focus on the middle side of the map while Optic is trying to flood B. Um, not the greatest of decisions, but actually playing someone's being really aggressive on the AA side here in the front. Gotaga actually playing crazy there. Gets the first kill, and Agony wow. also kills Big Timer, so now we're in a 2v2 situation. And if you look closer at the mini map, we saw two players in the great middle. Great shot by Scum, cleaning up everyone. Oh, oh. Big shot. Please I wanted to see Gotaga. him get that kill, but great help by Nate Shot to pick up Gotaga to end that round. And I saw Vlog, on voit une... Il y a deux YMP lancés, alors vous voyez, il y a des hitmarkers. Il sait, Gotaga sait qu'il y a des joueurs de optique à l'intérieur du alors ils vont pousser vraiment agressif avec les Scorpions. Euh, Volkun se fait tuer par euh, Big Timer dans le milieu de la map. Euh, Agony fait un trade, alors c'est maintenant un 3v3. Euh, la bombe pourrait être plantée ici par AA et voilà le hit que Targa fait la plante. Euh, ça va être intéressant pour voir comme round parce que le, le A est toujours un point intéressant à défendre. Euh, vous voyez que Azok se fait tuer aussi, maintenant c'est un 2v3. Euh, J'aime pas vraiment la façon que AA, ah, ils ont split up. Ils auraient dû rester ensemble. S'ils étaient plus, euh, si je jouaient plus en équipe sur ce jeu-là, il y a un faire de quoi. Mais Gotaga fait un flank. Gotaga fait le premier kill sur Merc, il va falloir qu'il rentre à l'intérieur du encore. Ouh, et Big Timer fait le kill. Et ce sera la fin de la ronde. Optic euh, qui vont mener 3-0 euh, dans le début de cette ronde. Et, euh... Proofy, back to English. What do you think about that round? Well, honestly, listening to it in French got me really excited. I didn't know what was going on, what you were saying, but I could see it by myself. No, I just didn't know what you were saying. And everything was getting tight. I was just like, Ram is going in right now. I don't know what's going on, but everything's happening so fast. But Big Timer got four kills there and a bomb defused. Did he get the Hellstorm? I didn't see if he got that. He got he had the, he had the A's that round, did he? Yeah, did okay. get the A's. Sure Finishing it off with the yeah. beautiful B2-3 kill. Would you uh, like to finish this round in French, Ray? We're going to do this round. All right, let's hop on board with Gotaga here, see if they can make something happen. Uh, I'm going to be speaking French for this restaurant. Alors, on va parler en français encore. Uh, vous voyez que a fait un, un push de bas de mid vraiment agressif. Uh, quelque chose qui ont peut-être pris de notre playbook parce qu'on fait ça souvent. Alors, vous voyez un, un flank immédiat. Et voilà, Gotaga fait le premier kill sur Merc. Un, une bonne stratégie en, en, par, uh, par AA. Uh, Gotaga voit son quick piece tué. Big Timer fait deux pistes. Un très bon kill par Big Timer. On va embarquer sur Azok ici. Voilà. Big uh, Azok, Azok est encore sur le flank. Euh, il, voilà, il y a la spot quelqu'un derrière de sa baisse, mais je pense que cette personne l'a vu aussi. Et non, Broken fait le kill sur Big Timer, alors c'est un 2v2. Nichelle fait le kill sur Broken, alors 1v2. Azox, la dernière chance pour euh, A de revenir dans cette partie avant que la fin de la partie, soit, avant, avant, avant que ce soit les maps, c'est 1-1. Alors euh, c'est ça encore, comme je dis, c'est 5-0 pour Optique. Comme vous voyez, Azox, 1-5, pas la meilleure partie pour Azox en ce moment, mais euh, encore une chance pour son équipe. Alors il vient ici, voilà, le, le, le plan tombé est, est fait. Il fait le trade, Azox. Une chance de gagner la ronde, il fait ses fêtes sérieux, il fait un turn-on sur les shots. Et Optic looking really strong in that SD. After losing the HP, it didn't look like they were phased by it at all. As they're able to pick up the 6 on, like, alright, you guys want to beat us and get some momentum? Let's just take it up a notch and not let you get around in SD and see how you feel. Broken play, makes a nice play right there. He takes out the glass so that Gotaga can get through. I like that. And the flag is pulled by Optic, but there, got actually got red spawns here. Really good for AA. As Gotaga does get the garage, they should be able to clean this one up. As you see, it's a 4v2 situation out of base. And there you go, the first cap by A, a really aggressive play. But here comes the counter, and actually Azok gets the cleanup on the last kill, making it a 1-0 and stabilizing the map. Huge plays by A, huge play by Gotaga with the pull, sneaking up behind Optic and to take the 1-0 lead. Makes a great move. It's going to be Azox. Azox coming up with a huge kill on the Scumpy to shut him down. And now you see AAA in a little bit of trouble also with some more Optic players threatening. That was big timer, but Ooh. they managed to get away. But the Whoa! flag has been returned. And here we go. Gotaga coming up with a Gotaga big kill there. Huge. But no, he gets taken down. Streaks. And this is where Optic really can't, they have to neglect their base at this point. They really cannot afford to go back to their base. If a guy from AA actually goes for their flag, it's actually better for them because they're practically playing 3v4 on the map. Oh, and there's the pull by Big Timer. Huge kill by Big Timer. And now he's going to get That's that flag dead. away. That's all four down for AAA. That flag is surely going to be a capture for Optic. So Big Timer is going to put that away. We're going to switch back on board with Merc. Merc's going to have his work cut out for him. Takes out Azox. One more player here at the top of the staircase. He's at, at the cutout. Dead. He needs this kill record. It's huge, and he gets two kills, 26 seconds. He needs to. Optic needs to get this fight on. And no, oh. Gotaga gets a huge two at his base, and that's pretty much gonna kill this game. As Gotaga still has a hellstorm, I believe, and he has not called that one yet. So we'll be seeing him call this out. They need to pull this flag right away, and then he go through the middle of the map. Big Timer calls his lightning strike to get it out, but Broken gets a huge two piece and it's three down, and that is gonna be it. I think Complexity Gaming is a great example of that. Adding Clacer to that team really helped with the hype. So here we go. On board with Nate Shot. Huge kill out of him. 
right off the bat. Hopefully that motivates him in the squad, but broken with a three kill spree right off the bat in the first 20 seconds. Patient, you just pretty much give Optic so much room that if you die, you're spawning across the map. So it uh, really made the Optic really get that second hill really instantly without getting the spawn uh, from the first hill. So we see Big Time here get some huge plays here in Laundry. And uh, everyone actually on, on AA is actually spawning across the map. That is four down. And their uh, Optic is going huge right now, up 40. Yeah, there was a war being fought by Big Time right there in the laundry room. He literally held off three AAA players to hold that spawn for his team. He slayed them out, forcing AAA all the way across the map. So Optic showing up in this hard point so far. Scumpy on a nine kill spree inside the hard point. Can he get a 10th? Oh. Yes, he can. Full score streaks for Scump. He already used the lightning strike. He's going to get taken out, but huge plays out Scumpy early on. He's going to go ahead and call in that Hellstorm. He might get two here. And yeah, he only picks up one there. I believe he weakened another, but it, it's still really great plays by Scump. A 10 kill streak is always something you want. And he does have this war machine to try and clear up the hill. He's trying to do his best doing that. A big play there, we can see. Yeah, and you see Scump and Nade Shot going massive for Optic Gaming right now. Both going huge and uh, supporting their team. Actually, just really carrying them to victory with the slaying power between those two scores. 35 and 34 kills, respectively, for Scump and Nade Shot. And there you see That's Optic right. with a little life in him. All right, Merge is trying to hype up his team here. Always a good captain to have. And, uh, I mean, we really saw flawless play from Optic there. We know the game wasn't that, like, crazy. There wasn't, like, a 150-point win. Uh, we saw Optic pretty much controlling the map pretty much from the start to finish. Uh, it was really great play by Optic. Uh, just maybe a lack of score streaks when they had that would have made the game like pretty much a blowout if not uh, but I mean great great plays by both teams but Optic just came out on top. Well that, that, it was all that middle hard point the second time around yeah, pretty Optic pretty much just got fed their score streaks right there on that one and racked up almost the entire time on that middle hard point that was a, a huge play by them and that's actually probably the hardest hard point to lock down for that amount of time it's pretty wide open you have three choke points you have to look out for and uh, they just did an amazing job locking that middle hard point down. There's not enough I can say about that. A was just not able to break it. That's pretty much all it was. A was just pretty much splitting up a bit, scattering, and the last map is going to be searching on his on Express. Uh, so I do feel, I think, did we play it? I don't think we played this against AA, but AA beat Impact on this map. AA is really good at Express s and I mean, that's one thing I've actually noticed about their team. I've actually spectated them in a couple of tournaments that I've watched where they've played Ex Express S&D and they, they are a strong team at that map, that's for sure. I know that. It's probably one of their better S&D maps and I'm sure that they would say that. So uh, Optic, certainly, I don't know exactly where they fall in that, that map category. We I know they're used to playing it, but... We played them at da uh, Anaheim against them and that was the only map we beat them in. So um, Optic's definitely a team that uh, they love the B, and I believe A loves B as well. So we're going to see some crazy, crazy battles, some crazy quick rounds going on. This is my favorite bomb site out it of is. all the oh, S and Ds yeah, so and Black fun. Ops Two. The B rush, I call it the war for B, it is. and it's awesome, man, to watch the B rush. So if both of these teams favor the B bomb zone, we're about to see fireworks in map number five. So here at Gfinity. It's make it or break it through all of these matches. Single elimination. There is no forgiveness here. There is no lower bracket, no losers bracket. Single elimination bracket after pool play. I actually like this tournament setup quite a bit. It's very World Cup style. You play group play and then you play through a single elimination bracket. I, I would always prefer a double or elimination a bracket. It's so but, awesome, but, but yeah. for the player it's like ah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You, it's <laughs> nerve wracking, but at the end of the day, you get your shot. You know, yeah, the most I mean, prepared yeah. team is going to win. The most. Focus hype team is going to win. So here we go. This map number five is going to be ridiculous. Ray, give me a prediction. I mean, both these teams are going to be hype as hell. I can guarantee right now. If <laughs> A gets to a good start, I do feel like A is going to come out on top. I just feel like A has that overall hypeness they really want. It doesn't seem like Optics really in it to win it right now. Almost like they they do seem into it. They do like we saw Merc really going up, but the rest of the team just seems a bit down. I'm not entirely sure why. Maybe it's a bit tired. Uh, but in general, I do feel like. If I had to predict, I'm going to say Optic, but it's going to be like, I do feel like it's going to be a 6-5, six, 6-4 six, game. Oh, well, if that's the case, it's going to be amazing to watch. But Optic, uh, they, when they come focused to an s and I feel like the S&D games are really more, actually the ones more about focus right, right. instead of hype. And then the, you know, respawn. running gun game types, the respawn game types are more about hype than they are about focus sometimes. Right. So, you know, it's it's going to come into play here? Which one's going to yep. take over? Is it going to be AAA's hype or is it going to be optics focus? You don't want to go anywhere because this map's oh, actually about to load up. Let's so I'm going to give you another opportunity to, to cast in some French. We're going to have to go round by round. 
And uh, well, I don't know, what do you want to tell the French viewers right now about AAA? They're actually coming in and performing against an American powerhouse. Alors, alors pour les fans de AA, on a vu, euh, on a vu la, deuxième, la quatrième heure, excusez, euh, AA ont perdu par environ 65 points. Euh, un, un peu le manque de contrôle devant la map qui a causé la, la, le match, la perte de la match. Alors euh, vraiment, ça va être la cinquième map. Euh, ça va être Sushi Nechoy sur Express. Euh, une map qu'on a vu, ah, euh, ont battu Impact quand ils l'ont joué contre euh, hier. Alors euh, vraiment une map que on, je crois que ah, sont très capables de compétitionner avec toutes les équipes au monde. Euh, mais comme je vous dis, ah, a fait une très bonne prestation à ce tournoi. Euh, ils se sont qualifiés troisième dans leur pool. Euh, puis vraiment, ils se sont classés pour euh, contacter que ils sont dans la cinquième map. Alors vraiment, euh, soyez, soyez euh, fiers de vos joueurs euh, français. Euh, puis vraiment, ça va être une cinquième map très intéressante. Euh, comme je disais, Astro, euh, ça va être vraiment des batailles. Je crois que les deux équipes euh, favorisent le, le, le site B. Alors, euh, vous allez voir des, des batailles de fou, vraiment des, des rondes très rapides où ils vont avoir beaucoup de kills. Euh, ça va être vraiment, la, je pense, la grosse différence de la map, c'est vraiment le, le teamwork de Optic. Quand on a vu la, la deuxième map, euh, Meltdown, c'était vraiment les, le jeu d'équipe qui a vraiment causé la différence, le, le 6-0. À chaque ronde, on voyait des kills échangés par chaque équipe. Mais c'est toujours Optic qui venait avec le dernier kill, alors euh, ça va être vraiment à, à l'équipe A de faire les kills euh, pour vraiment les trades et de, pour gagner ce match. So, let me, I think you were selling them that, what I was saying, basically that it's going to come down to either the focus or no, the hype. No, I was talking about the teamwork. I was talking about the difference teamwork. teamwork we saw in the second map okay. compared to this map. It was really like, I think that's the main difference, especially on when we have those B wars, it's all about the trade kills. You're going right. to push, someone's going to die, but it's whoever's going to get that trade. And that's where teamwork comes in. And yep. that's where that's where we saw Optic really come out in favor in a 6-0 in the first map. So in the first search map, excuse me. So that's I think that's going to be the difference here. If, if A is able to do those straight kills, then we're going to see A come out on top. Yeah, and you know what? You hear me say this all the time in, in foreplay. You know, one of our old teammates, old pro. We talk about this all the time, the bait and switch. Pretty I feel much, like yeah. in S and D, it's such an important tactic. And for all of you who have never heard me say this or never heard a caster talk about the bait and switch, essentially it's where you use Teamwork. One, Pretty two teammates together. One teammate pokes, takes a couple shots, and the other teammate. And the war at B is alive again. Here we go. Three versus three. Agony opens it up. Mercs Merc, picking up two right there. Actually, Skump picked up one with him. So two versus three now. You see Skump's on a four kill spree. Those AA members are going to have to come up huge. Nade shot picks one, and Skump with another headshot. Optic looking strong. I'm doing this right now. No, and it seems like he's just playing for kills. But look at that shot from Azox jumping up off the stairs. Case picking off Merc as he's approaching that B bomb zone. I, we have to see this on the rounding and kill right here. I don't even, he barely caught his head and look at that shot. Great shots right there by Azox. And, and there is one more optic player going down. Nade shot and Skump left alive. Here goes Azox. Oh, oh nice dude. kill there on the Nade shot. Oh, Skump, they're oh, answering dragon. right back. Now it's up to Agony. All of AAA's life is on this line. I think you take it away in French. Alors, nous avons Future hard points. They're probably going to save them a little bit for this one. Uh, most likely for the next one, it goes into that middle area. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, because, of course, it is extremely open. But wow. score streaks are now being called in by Legend. Yeah, Legend trying to use that Hellstorm missile. And he is finally going to cluster. He left it very, very long before he did. Did manage to also take down Monksy, but Flux, watch out. He is on a two kill streak. He's on the hill. A few more kills on that hill. He is going to end his health. Missile has one. Goes to the pre fight connects as well. Fantastic play. Hardpoint once again contested. Can he try and pick up the 3P? No, he can't. But I'm pretty sure he hasn't himself his health. Missile. I'm not too sure if he picked up the lightning strike as well. <laughs> Between TCM, who everyone is now starting to really favor as they could go and actually take this event. But Sotaro, he has completely other ideas. There's absolutely nothing they can do. They have taken the lead. The cries of Vamos can be heard all throughout. The game station, you got Sitaro with four kills. If he picks up one more, well, he's going to have his health stone. Oh, yeah, and look at this. Now Giants just stretching Oh, he's got it. And TCM don't seem to be able to do much, but three go down. It is all up to Sitaro in this hardpoint no. area. Does not oh. manage to get the kill against Monksy, who is going to get the final few points here with the TCM team. But no, Giants take it once that more. Was, that was really smart play from Sitaro there. Just as he was about to die, drop the Lightning Strike on the hill, just making sure TCM couldn't get those extra excess points here, you know, those final 15. And because of that, look at the lead they have now. 214, 188, going into that last hill. 44 seconds remaining here. All Giants really need to do at this point is contest the hill, and that's exactly what they're doing. Total goes in, and so does Sitaro, picking up a huge two-piece, and that could actually be the game-winning two-piece there from him. Meanwhile, Tojo just needs to keep it contested, didn't actually need to challenge that. 216 to 190, 30 seconds left. Rel 
It's looking like this could be GG. Yeah, Monks, he had to go for the challenge. He's trying to do everything oh, he can. Here comes TCM. In there. there is still time to just, do this, just about, maybe? Just, I think. But down goes Flux. And I'm pretty sure that yeah. is now officially game. Yep, yeah, there we go. Mathematically impossible. And Giants, they're getting themselves pumped up. Well, we could have a huge, huge upset on the cards. Yep, yeah, and I said watch out for Giants. A very underrated team. TCM yeah. have Call been it. dominating this tournament so far. Um, I believe they've only dropped a that, single map. Is that the second map they've dropped? This now? is the second map they've dropped the only other wow. map they dropped was against impact where they beat them 3-1 uh, so the second one is going to be against giants 218 to 203 well do you reckon that's due to complacency or is this just a, a, a poor game uh, do you know what i i almost think that tcm I, I, they're I, expecting I, it to be too easy exactly they've yeah. sort of gone into this game thinking we can take this i think most players do that when yeah. they've, uh, in this tournament they've just thought of giants as the easy team to beat and once again they've proven the worst giants did really well there they've got one round under the belt and as you said this is a $5,000 guaranteed game. Yes. They can then uh, build upon that, but the pressure on these guys, wow. Yeah, un unbelievable pressure from both these two lineups. And, you know, take nothing away from Giants there. That last two hills, that one, one of the big plays was that lightning strike. You know, he recognized he was going to die, caught in the lightning strike anyway, and it cleared off all the TCM plays and allowed them to pick up that excess 15 points, those scrap points. Fantastic plays there from Giants. All right, well, just looking at the score as well, we can see Flux standing out for TCM, uh, getting the most score out of everyone, but Legend getting 5,300 points for himself. Meltdown Search and Destroy, though, um, you know, it is completely different to Hard Point. It's, it's very hard to judge what's going to happen here. What do you reckon? You know what, the TCM have looked strong in SMD all weekend, it's going to be hard to say that Giants are going to take a map away from them, but when it came down to the pressure situation that was Search Detroit yesterday with Giants, they came out on top, so to be honest with the momentum we've got from that hard point game, I could strongly see them actually going ahead and, and taking the first one. Alright, well what we are going to do now uh, is introduce a, a nice guest I believe at some yes, point. Yes, we are. So uh, we'll just hang tight for that, but it is going to be Meltdown of course, all of these quarterfinal games are using the same maps to keep everything fair and keep everything balanced. Uh, there's going to be some really interesting semi-finals coming up, oh, I mean uh, it's already decided it's going to be complexity going up against Impact next after this quarterfinal game. game. Gonna be. It's going to be a semi-final for a guaranteed wow. fifteen thousand uh, dollars for the team and of course the prestige of advancing further in this tournament. And Optic will be playing the winner of this game between TCM and Giants. I want to ask you, you know, the complexity impact semi final. Yeah. Who's going to take that game? Well, um, I've said, I actually said from the start of this tournament that Impact would win. So I'm going to stick to my guns. Okay, wow. uh, even though Complexity did defeat them at MLG, uh, they've looked really strong in this tournament so far. Um, I can just see Impact winning it, so maybe there's, there's no special guest coming on then, I, I guess. Not. I guess they, the players just wanted to start the game. Okay. Special get we should clarify it was Rambo. Rambo just yeah. disappeared. He, he's gone. He just he ran away. God damn it, everyone tweet Rambo, time to get to the castle. He's, he's late. He's, he's late. Gonna get he's just gonna get, get spammed. He's gonna get destroyed. So if, if you don't now. know what his Twitter is, it's at Rambo underscore MB. I'm pretty sure is that right? Um I'm think, pretty sure. Yeah, I'm pretty well, sure that is right. But they're anyway. looking for one. Uh, anyway, yeah, it is, it is right. I'm, I'm pretty sure. They're LF1, so go, go, go tweet them. Tell them you know, they should pick you up. Get to the go, stream go, go. and pick me up. Yeah, <laughs> get to the stream and pick me up as well. All right, well, let's awesome. watch some attacks anyway in Search and Destroy. It does provide the more active uh, gameplay, if you like. Watching Satoru now, the bomb carrier, this big early push into the A-bomb site. Every single Giants player has gone this way, and TCM have realized it now, trying to defend, but the bomb isn't going to be planted. He was about to go for it, but he's a little bit cautious that Flux is circulating him. Well, Flux is going to be the left. The left Sorry, the last player alive for TCM. He's going to be in a 1v2. 50 seconds left. Bomb goes down. Reduce that time to 43 seconds now. He needs to try and go big. Both Giants players sort of staying close to each other. Not Envy close, holding hands, as we saw all throughout yesterday, but relatively close enough. And Tojo is going to get the pick on Flux, giving Giants the first important round of the search and destroy. All right, TCM really feeling the pain now. I mean, it's very early on into the search and destroy, of course, but their backs up are, are up against the wall. They're already one round down in a best of five. They need to get this search and destroy. Uh, you know, their heads are probably stooping and know what that TCM team can be like if they get a loss. And they certainly work upon hype, especially with Marky B in the team. Oh, he's a, he's a hype master, isn't he, really? I mean, he could just get the whole team hype. Yesterday was one of the only times I've ever seen Rich shout, let's go. <laughs> and that was all because Marky B was just screaming. He was, he was just going as loud as possible could. And even Rich let out a, a little slight, let's go. Well, he, Rich is a man of few words. Marky B actually pulled off a one versus four on that this map incredible. earlier. He technically only got three of the kills, but he was up against four and played it tactically to actually win the round. Uh, Rich followed it up with a one versus three. And with Marky B down, let's see what Rich can do. Well, Rich just being a little bit more aggressive towards the B bomb site. Meanwhile, Flux and Monksy are both going to pick up some kills there. 
And there is going to be one more Tojo player in. Sorry, one more Giants player. It's Tojo. He managed to pick up a two piece. Rich shoots him in the back. One versus one. 54 seconds left. Bomb down at the B bomb site. Now, how does Rich play it? It looks like he's just going to try and see if he can seek out where the Giants player is. It's going to be Sotero in the one versus one. And Rich just going to take his time. Yeah, I mean, the problem is for Rich now because he had to, of course, pick up one of those kills. He's revealed his position to Sotaro, but time has passed and Rich could be anywhere. Neither of these players have any idea where the other one is, but Rich does need to be going for that bomb soon with only 30 seconds left on the clock. Well, just having a look at that minimap, you can see Sotero. He's just trying to circulate, trying to figure out exactly where Rich is. And now we are going to see that gunfight. If he checks that bomb site, he is going to check oh. it in time. Picks up the kill on Rich. And I tell you what, Royal Giants, they're not wasting any time right now. They're doing really well. It's going to be two rounds in favor of the Giants. And they've had a really good start here. I mean, the group stage is a little bit shaky. The only game they actually ended up winning was against Unite in their group. Yep. So now they're in the knockout stages. It almost doesn't matter in a way. And let's not forget, if they actually defeat TCM, who were the forerunners or the top places in the other group, it's gonna be huge. they're going to have the easiest run from there on in. Technically Technic speaking, technically I mean, there's not many games left to go, of course, <laughs> but, and they're against the best teams in the world, but they will have beat the first places in the other group. Well, everything should seem easy if you can take down the team that places exactly. first in the group. I mean, it would be a huge, huge upset, thing. I mean, no, obviously, no disrespect to Giants, but they are going into this game as the underdogs, and I don't think a lot of people really are expecting them to do the dirty work, so to speak, but they do have that one map lead. Can they try and make it two? They've started off very nicely in the session stream map down there on the attacking side. From, I believe it was Satara, so let's have a look exactly what he's planning oh. here. Meanwhile, Methods is taking that monkey beat. Satara's gonna get the kill against Richie. Now it's gonna be Munksy. One versus four situation, one play to the right hand side. Methods is gonna get the pick on Munksy as well. And now it is gonna be four rounds to nil. Oh boy, TCN are really, really struggling here against the Spanish. What's, what's happened, right? I don't understand. Yesterday they were they were hyped, they were shouting, they defeated the Call of Duty world champions. Now yep. Again, no disrespect to Giants, but this is a different caliber of team. It's three though, a one versus three. Oh. Isn't gonna be able to make the kill. Could this be the comeback that TCM finally need? They've got to win a lot of rounds back to back here. They, yeah, they need to. And you can see actually uh, Prof Jake giving a little bit of coaching tips there to TCM. I'm uh, just saying when, when he wasn't coaching, they, they, they weren't quite comfortable. I'm yeah, just yeah. saying, I'm just throwing I'm throwing it out there, yeah. I'm, I'm only, I'm only uh, kidding. Obviously, Jade knows exactly what he's <laughs> talking about. And whether he's going to be able to pick up that kill, he's already managed to get inside the eight bombs that he has taken down one. That's rich. Can he take down Muxi? No, he can't. And TCM starting the comeback. Down two methods in a one versus two. Sees Marky to his left. He has his play right behind him as well. Can he get the kill? No, he can't. And TCM are coming roaring back into this game, bro. I think he's actually called in that lightning strike to clear the way. And that oh. is going to be a very, very efficient lightning strike there from TCM boys. Now it's going to be a one versus three situation. Sotero with all the work to do. He's going to know the bomb is going to go down at B. He needs to see if he can try and get that bomb stop quickly though. He's going to have the player planting just there. That's going to be Muggsy. Didn't manage to get the kill. One versus two now. Another play directly in front of him and Fox is going to shut him down. They need to go in as a duo and they need to just try and get that first kill and back off. But in goes Methods. He's going to be seen and he's going to get taken down and Marky B with the two piece. Well, you can see they're going for that B bomb push on the attacking side, but they're doing a very delayed push route. Yeah, and here comes a Hellstorm missile now from Monksy. Isn't oh. going to be connecting with anyone, but it has given him some good recon. They know where all the Giants players are, and it has opened things up for TCM. Well, Tojo has got that first kill. Flux, who's actually cooking that Navy, is going to get the kill on Sotaro. Meanwhile, Rich is going to shut down Legend. There's one more player to his right hand side. Methods is going to get the one. Rich is going to get a kill as well. One versus two situation. Methods isn't able to connect. Monksy it has that bomb. Is he going to go for the plant? That's going to be the question. Sotaro has just seen, sorry, Methods has just seen Rich, I believe, who was peaking. Bomb is being planted. And this is not looking good oh, for Giants, wow. but there's the one on Rich. Can he get the second? No, he can't. Muggsy with the jump shot. He shuts down Methods. And that was six rounds in a row from TCM Rail. An unreal game of search and destroy from them. Been stunned, but luckily using that tap mask perk. Needs to just try and defend this flag. He's going to have to go straight for the return. Oh, Doesn't wow. get it. Big plates coming from Muggsy and Rich. Now it's going to be left to Tojo. He has the enemy flag. Picks up the 200, expecting the charge to come from Paul Stairs. But little does he know there's a player rushing directly behind him. Flag does go down. Can Giants do anything? Muggsy with two kills. Floats with the third. That flag should be returned. And that's going to be 1 0 to TCM. Oh, it's to the left hand side of Muggsy. And Muggsy is just going to get the glimpse on the head glitch. Is he going to give the charge? He does. Not sure if that was the smartest idea when you're so close to streaks. Legend fantastic play from him picking up that headshot and that's also going to give him a little bit of control on that right hand side flag has been pulled away Sotaro manages to dodge a stun getting a charge he waited and didn't pick up the kill nice defensive play once again coming from TCM flag away from Flux who just destroyed methods yeah and it's pretty open on this left hand side bar one player which is <laughs> and he's just holding back he knows that the uh -oh. flag is coming his way and he's got to play this carefully he does pick up one oh, again, the second against Muggsy, and Giants okay Oh, down. down and now they can 
finally make a push. The question is, are they going to dictate where they spawn? They have all four players spawning. Sorry, three players spawning. Full side one at Ray. Toho's oh. going to get one. Method's going to get the second, but Flux just turned on Toho. That's going to put a stop to everything, but Method did take down Flux. So Giants still could get this flag away, but Marky B. You could not ask for a clutcher kill. My goodness, this is anybody's game right here. It is so back in two and it is coming down to individual gun skill and little gun skirmishes. And it does look like TCM have successfully thwart off the Giants attack. Base. Yeah, Flux is actually just making a flag pull, trying to keep them busy. Giants are actually pretty much just ignoring him with 25 seconds left on the clock. They have to make this flag pull and they need to do it now. Well, Methods was so, so close to the flag, but Marky B just sat at the back of the garage. Is he going to get taken down? No, he's not. He takes out a Torrent shot down Legend as well. A very important three-piece from him. Muggsy standing up, letting Giants know about it. That's going to be 2-0, and um, what a way to end that CTF raid roll. Yeah, and I mean, that final flag capture, it doesn't really justify the flow of gameplay because Giants kind of just let him run that loose. They, yeah. they knew that they had to push up themselves and take a risk. Bro. No, and this game is so back in two. I mean, look at that score difference. Giants do have the lead. Oh. But there we go, Marky B <laughs> with an absolutely devastating lightning strike, taking out three of the Spanish Giants lineup. And so far for the first day of this half point, it hasn't even really been contested. Giants are just doing such a good job. Marky's brought out his war machine, but he got shut down by a legend. There's going to be one play down the middle. If he picks up this kill, he's going to be an assist away from Streaks. Methods needs to just get out of there. Is he going to have to pick him up? That's going to be a question. TCM with that control, and Methods turns around. There's the Hellstorm missile. Now, the smart play here would be to use that straight away. See if he can earn the lightning strike. He's going to have three players there. If he clusters it perfectly, he should connect with two. Does get two. One more on the hill, but shut down. I'm not entirely sure. Did he get that lightning strike? Yes, he did. Didn't get the war machine. In comes the Hellstorm missile from TCM. Immediately going to be replied with, with that lightning strike on the TCM spawn. That should get another three kills shortly. There's one. There's two. Not going to find oh, it. Oh, my. Methods is just having a game of his life right now, Rel. Yeah, TCM are trying to do everything they can, but every time they go into that hard point, they're running straight into a score streak. This could be a huge, huge clutch from Rich if he's able to get that lightning strike. Oh boy, it's going to be a clutch. Oh, oh Rich my God. has just gone huge, got all of his score streaks unlocked, and one of those is a death machine as well. And um, sorry, TCM have the score streaks, and Satara with a very important kill there on Mark. He's going to oh. pick up the second on the hill as well. That was Mox. He finally goes down. 56 seconds remaining. 221 to 191. Legend. He's going to get nothing but hit markers. Needs to stay alive though. Doesn't want to give away those last few points. But this is exactly why Giants have had to spawn all game long. Look at Methods. He's just on. Anchor position, just waiting, playing it patiently. Does get EMP and tags up. If he shoots the car, that's an easy kill. There's one. The second does get the wall bang. TCM, they need to control the hill. They need to do it now. In fact, game it's over. Not impossible. Yeah, and that means Giants are going to once again wow. take a hard point victory. Both hard points going to the Giants. This could be an upset. I'm, I'm getting worried for TCM because you look at that last SD. Giants were two, sorry, were four rounds in the lead. They blew it. That was their own fault. Put that behind them. The momentum this hard point game is going to give them now. They could take the search and destroy against TCM. And oh. TCM's strongest game mode is search and destroy. They, they'll say that out loud. You know, Marky said we're not going to lose an SD all game. Oh, all, no. oh, sorry, all tournament. All and tournament, they already yeah. have. <laughs> well, yeah. <laughs> uh, but this yeah, previous search and destroy was 6 4 in favor of TCM. This game is going to end 250 to 206. Uh, a more significant margin than the earlier search, uh, earlier hard point that we saw. TCM in a spot of trouble. Rich is going to have to go for the plant with no long left on his clock. He's actually cancelled it in favor of the kill. Uh -oh. But now, one versus one. Satoru needs to go in there. Oh, Satoru with the R6D car as well. He's going to allow Rich to get that plant off. Or is he actually calling in the R6D? He's calling in the R6D. If Rich doesn't get away quick enough, he's going to die. And no, the R6D kill from Satoru. Such intelligent play from him. Getting a little bit lucky, because can you imagine if he'd have been using flat jacket? That would yeah. have been the most annoying hit marker of his entire career. But he's going to pick up that diffuse, and that's going to put Giants 3-1 in the lead in this search and short. 2. 2v2. Can Toho try and get the kill mid-map? Rich is taking down one. Rich is going to take down two. Unreal two place there. Not, sorry, two piece. Not entirely sure exactly how he managed to get that, but we're going to see exactly how in the round of the kill cam. One going through blue. How you doing? Oh, I see you in tickets as well. Unreal plays from Rich there. When he needed to, stepping up to the plate. Two versus two situation. Him and Marky B going up against a tower and legend for the Giants. 58 seconds left. It looks like he's rotated towards a bomb site. The red dot is going to be seen. He's going to have two plays there. Go! Oh my god, nothing but wow. a hit mark is against Legend, and he's going to be charged by Satori. He's going to be very annoyed about that. Has to put it on the left hand side. The assist comes in from Moki. He's got the last Giants player pinned in the back of his spawn. He's going to be to the right side trying to juke him out. Should get the kill surely. Marky B comes in. He's going to pick up the assist. 4-4. Four, four. It just seems when Giants get to that fourth round, they can't get that fifth round to just rejuvenate and energize them. Yeah, Marky just came to the rescue of Flux there, who was Superman. low on ammo. <laughs> I mean, Flux was just trying to dodge, uh, duck and dive. Uh, 
between the Giants players. He put so many bullets into that Giants guy. To be fair, he on this ninth round of Search and Destroy Express, it's going to be Giants on the attacking side. They've already dropped Methods. Rich is going to take down Toro. Virgin's going to go down to Toro in a one versus four situation. This could be an easy round for TCM. It is 5-4 TCM. They are just dodging absolutely everything right now. They have come back into this game and are one round away from advancing to the semi-finals where they would meet Optic Gaming and have guaranteed themselves 15 uh, th sorry, five thousand yeah. dollars. Giants have been caught off guard, and TCM in a great oh, position to go for one. Flux takes down Sataro. Wow. Monks is going for the plant. Now Giants need to do something fast if they want to stay in this tournament. This is looking like it could be the end for Giants. Bomb goes down 43 seconds left. Three Giants players have to try and take down the four full squadron of TCM. They only have 38 seconds to do so. Monks has got a player down the left-hand side again. Nothing but hit markers for him. Can he try and get that teammate support? They don't actually need to charge. Flux is going to take down Toho. Two players left. Flux gets a two-piece against Methods. One versus four. Monks comes in. Cleans house. And that is going to be TCM Gaming. Just doing a fantastic job here at the Search and Destroy Express. They're going to advance through to the next round, guaranteeing themselves $5,000. Yeah, and despite a really, really tough defeat there by Giants, I want to say two things. Firstly, those guys are animals. They have put oh, yeah. up such a good performance against such strong, uh, strong teams throughout this tournament. Um, a close Search and Destroy there again. It was the second 6-4. Wow. Side, he's going to have a complexity play right outside. It's going to be X. He needs to pick up the kill. Does so. And this is where Impact, they need to push as a team. Sending one individual player time and time again just isn't going to do anything. Unless he's got wow. a freaking what? robot walking in here with his super gun out. The AR, the <laughs> M81 is just dominating. And here we go. Karma by himself picks off three players. Right in the back of Garage, just doing a great job of slaying. Meanwhile, TP, he's on the hill. He needs to win this gunfight with Killer. Is he going to get the kill? Nice. Yes, he is. Nice plays coming from TP. I do want to point out as well, in Aix's previous life, he was going up against Karma, who had three kills as well as a 200 point hard point bonus. So that kill stopped Karma from getting score streaks. I don't believe we've seen score streaks acquired yet in this game. It's been nope. so close between all eight players. Clayster now working for his score streaks. He's at 500, looking to get two more kills to get his Hellstorm. TP doing a phenomenal job holding off all of Impact by himself on jump side. Finally, oh. he's gonna get, oh, I thought he was gonna go down, but no, what? he's gonna get one more and Miracles will flank him, but TP still surviving. Meanwhile, Clayster on the opposite side of the map is gonna get the 200 point bonus, earns himself a death machine, uh -oh. the lightning strike and the hellstorm. And with this, he doesn't even have to see his opponents. Pack need to contest this middle hard point and get some points on the board. There's only gonna be 90 points left. Miracles, Miracles with the three is gonna do the work. Karma's gonna get one as well. Parasite knows he has to stay alive. Hellstorm incoming, and that is coming from Impact. Wow. Only gets one though. It looks like actually anyone. none. So a huge wasted kill. And now we have more score streaks coming in. That was Clayster's taking out Killa. So complexity with 72 seconds left on the clock is trying to lock it down. Impact's gonna need to get every single second now. They're gonna have any chance of winning this hard point slums game. Complexity have played this absolutely perfectly. They still have control. In goes Impact there. This is a huge 14 seconds that they're gonna have. But TP goes for the contest, picks up the kill, and that pocket is going to be game number one going to complexity. TP and friends still racking up kills though. That is the question for complexity. Who is gonna finish with most kills? They have 45 more seconds to do so. Hellstorm's coming down won't do any damage to impact but it looks like TP is going to hold down that hard point and here are your stats ladies and gents. 31 and 30 from Aix. You got Clayster going plus 8 at 26 and 18 21 and 23 from TP and really no one going extremely positive other than Clayster and Parasite. Both guys are going to finish in the 30s, and Clayster is going to let Impact know. <laughs> Welcome back to the Spring Championships. We're going to do it to you again. Bomb down as well. Parasite needs to get it. try and get the bomb and pick it up. Meanwhile, Karma, he's actually going to be able to do so. Turns with the BQ3. Oh, picks up the kill on it. Turns. Not going to happen. Crim6 with the kill. Now Parasite, Parasite needs to chase that down. No time to plant. He's got to go for the kill, no. and he is going to get picked off by Clay. But Three versus three, bomb being planted by TP. It has gone down, so now Impact, they need to try and get a response. And importantly, TP Ooh. actually got an RCXD card from that Parasite with a pick on eight. Go over to Crimson. He's going to be inside this control panel. Oh, sorry, con control room. It's two versus two. He's going to get an RCXD card from TP. He gets shut down. Wow. Kill against the first, and Parasite's going to get the next three. Impact retakes the lead. The kill on the stairs. <laughs> One more coming behind him, and it's all up to Cloyster. Karma showing his opponent's dead body a little extra love. Well, 
Parasite saying, put him in, Parasite oh. is going to get this shot off on Clayster. Clayster's not going to be happy about that, and Parasite is going to let him know. If there's any if there's any going to be a player on, on Complexity you want to get into the head, it has to be Clayster, because he's always the one that's loud, he's always the one that motivates him. And Complexity. Clayster got first shot, that's what that's, Parasite that's, oh. was saying. He didn't miss a single bullet wow. after firing back. Such a tough situation to be in. He only has 65 seconds left as well. Oh. What is he going to do? Clayster was actually going to be fighting. He gets oh. back over. Okay. does get the kill. One misses one season, mid map gets taken. Have clip oh, and kill wow. will take him down. Oh, Impact's gonna let him know that that was a dumb decision. Oh my goodness, they're trying to get back in complexity's head. That is the entire strategy I here. From he challenge that. He was feeling confident after that last play, man. I don't blame him for it, but still, six three. Benson, what's the plan here for Impact? Are they gonna try and pull this one to Tractor? Are they gonna try and pull it through the back alley? Karma definitely looks like he has his eyes on the flag. Karma's been playing some amazing CTF all through GTA. It looks like he's just gonna try and get a few kills. STP nice picks cover. up the 200. He's gonna be close to streaks so if he can get one more kill with this flag, but it doesn't even look like he's gonna need to. There's gonna be one complexity player rotating all the way around. Who is that? There's gonna be X. Has to stop two impact plays. He's gonna be able to do it. The concussion no. is flying out. He's gonna die, and Karma is gonna Boom. run that home. Score streaks, baby. All right, so Karma now one kill away from getting a Hellstorm missile as well, and if you guys are uh, unfamiliar with the rules here at Gfinity, there are no sentry guns allowed, so a little bit different situation here. We should point out that Kill is running another flag. Just got oh a huge God. kill at the tractor to keep this one alive. Karma's gonna watch the mid street, and we got the middle locked down, so Karma Parasite absolutely on a ripping it up, well. and here comes Kill to run this one home. Parasite, Killa, Karma, everyone from Impact catching fire. Parasite's finally executed, but let's go back to Karma to see what he can do. He's working towards that stealth chopper. Crim6 also taking out Killa over at the tractor, so maybe they just needed to switch sides and have a whole new life. Unfortunately, Miracles dropped down right on top of Clayster's weapon, and Teepee's able to escape with this gun, or with this flag, excuse me, the last one alive was Killa. Now everyone coming off the respawns in the back alley, expects some score streaks to be streets. called in. But no, they were all dead long enough for TP to get this one home. He's going to dolphin dive it, and Impact is that. going to keep their streaks. Now Karma calling in the stealth chopper. Crim6 was on a five-kill spree, grabbed the flag as well. I think one of those kills was a 200-point bonus, so Crim may be streaked out. Stalemate here, guys. TP may be calling in his to try and stop this flag here. That was Killa, who was forced back into the building. Did Inks go down? He did. Did the flag get That's returned? Down. No. That's pulled out. All four dead. Can Complexity beat Impact to this flag? Aix chucking the preemptive grenade is going to be able to rally this one home. Can he dolphin dive it in? That's going to be the question. The answer is jump yes, in. ladies and gentlemen. 93 seconds left on the clock, and look at Clayster. He's picked up eight kills already in this round, but it's Crimson. It's going to be tough for Complexity to break, but TPI in that flag is on a three kills three. Aix is double. It's going to clear away. Clayster down. has the fourth, and this should be it, ladies and gentlemen. Look at your yellow arrows. It's going to be up to Karma. He goes down. Impact knows this one is out of their hands. What can they do about oh, it? Parasite, Parasite gets one. He, can he stop this with a perfect two burst? No, he goes down, and that is going to do in. it. Clayster is going to get your final kill as the flag is ran in by TP. And Complexity once again defeats Impact in sudden death overtime with a third flag coming in just at the end. What a great round there. Four down. <laughs> I can't believe they pulled that I, off. However, with that split spawn, that's yeah. going to be very, very lucky. They're going to have to run through it. And oh, Miracles with a very yeah. important kill there. He's now going to try and get control over the next hill before Complexity have time to do so. There is one player over here to the left. Perfect smoke screen oh. for Miracles. He's going to get the kill. Miracles maybe having a rough first round of CTF, but since then he is turning it oh, on. My and he is absolutely miracles. ripping it in fine. He is just on a mission right now. Obviously, he has that Hellstorm missile, but TP, he's going to get killer and Miracles there with that. Cram6 was working up top with TP, just gave away his position. Great plays oh by Parasite, who goes prone and then dominates Krim. <laughs> 97 wow. to 80 seconds. We're looking for our fourth lead change here as Impact is once again trying to make the comeback here on the basketball hard point. Remember, the next hill, impressive than 17 kills. 10, 10 defends of your 12 kills from TP. Wow, TP doing some massive objective based work. I mean, he's one of those players that can wow, just sit on Krim a hill, but Grim full of streaks as well. They're coming down to the last hard point, and they're down by 15 seconds. 44 seconds remaining, 217 to 205. Complexity on the hill. First of all, it's going to be Grim 6. He does pick up a kill. Can he find the second? He's managed to stay alive. No, he can't. And it's going to be Parasite with four kills. He goes down as well. It is going to be a carnage last hill pocket, but right now it's going to be Complexity on the hill, but in goes Karma. Amazing kills, but the score. 
Ghoul is going to be so close. 27 seconds remaining. Grow. It is going to be a tight game. Crimson with one kill. He gets shut down. TP getting big on the hill as 217, well. 217, oh 217. Complexity has the lead, but there's still time for impact. Karma getting in, challenging. And, and all miracles. those miracles jumping miracles. in. A huge two piece from Miracles is going to put him with the four seconds. As well. But no, Complexity keeps flooding the hill. Clay's turn, friends. All they need to they do need is kill. Contest. Five seconds is not going to happen. Oh my goodness. That is going to be Complexity. Oh my god. Complexity celebrates. And there we will see Impact getting knocked out of a tournament by Complexity once again. Complexity moving on to your grand finals. But first, your final kill cam, Crim6, coming up behind two players contesting and clutching it for the boys from Complexity. He Look dropped 36 and 26. Teammates are actually holding spawn for them. Optic flooding the blue side of the map now. Eight seconds until this hard point flips. You're going to see Monksy here at double dumpster. He picks up a big kill onto Optic right there. That was Nade shot that he just took out. Big timer oh, though, comes oh, through with a two piece. He did take out Merc also, but that's gonna be instrumental. TCM still though with that, that spawn. 20 points on that, I don't think I'll do. No, Nade shot. Oh, here up. comes Nade shot. Nade shot's gonna try and. Oh, oh Flux oh. just shuts him down, says no Nade shot. Those are my last few points. Nade shot on a four kill spree, only one player for TCM left alive here in this hard point. Can Nade shot get this kill? It's gonna be a big gun battle right here. Oh, oh Monksy, no way he just did that. <laughs> oh, TCM have just come flooding in. Can you believe Monksy? Uh, he's the good. They still have the spawn. Now, this is the crucial thing. That next spawn, whoever can hold it, has a chance of pulling away with this. There's a minute 12 left to go. And if the scores, I think it's going to come close now. Optic, if they don't push, it's going to lose. Mathematically, it's very, very close. Yes, it is very close. Optic has to push right now. Rich just went on a five or six kill spree for TCM. Monksy contesting the hard point. Picking up a huge two piece. Can he get the third? Monksy with three right there. Can he get the oh, ace? Yes, he can. No. Monksy, Monksy has some just sport. done it. He's now mathematically impossible. The clutch by Monksy. He has just shut Optic down as we bring up the scoreboard. Wow. Quick look through, peek through the middle, try and see if anyone's by B, but he didn't even do that. Right around the outside, just go straight to A, and he caught him looking the wrong way. Oh, and look at the war at B going down. Flux got some hit markers into another player, but his teammates go down. Monksy and Flux left alive here for TCM. The Optic players are putting pressure on. You're going to have Merc and Nade shot just at the top of this staircase. And here we go. Flux. Gonna have to maybe push here in a second. There's Nate shot peeking. Caught him. Looking for another one. Oh, and that's gonna be Merc coming through. Picking up a big two piece. That's gonna be on your round ending kill cam. Brycey, Merc going huge for Optic. Oh, yeah, like I say, just coming in from the flank. Look at him. Dexy dodging the shot from Monkey there and then picking him up straight away after as he come around the other side in control. Yep, and they have trophy systems down, but Smoke Grenade comes out of TCM Scum, making the play here on the Marky B. Marky B wins that engagement. Nade shot has to come back around quickly. His teammate Merc going down. It's going to be sorry, Big Timer goes down as well and now Nade shot, it's all up to him. Three players here for TCM. He picks off one, but no is he going to get, get that in time? I'm not sure. Let's check out the bomb defuse. No, he They're didn't. not going to no. get it. A victory here on Express. So let's see what Optic can do on their next offensive side. I'm going to jump on board with Scump again, and I think the war at B is on once more. Four players for TCM are about to challenge Scump, and he just runs backward. <laughs> I don't know what, what he thought right there, but I think they're doing a delayed B push. Look at this strategy. Oh. You see the strategy from Optic right here. They're looking for Optic, thinking that they might be at B, and then they realize, wait a second, they're not here. They must be at A. They all turn around, then Optic goes right for the B bomb zone. Amazing strategy out of Optic game. That is probably one of the cleverest things I've seen here all weekend just completely out baiting the TCM team taking them out of lineup and it is playing to their advantage three versus two we're on board with Scump two versus two the kill is picked up Flux taken down Marky B is the last one no it is and it was in fact Monksy as Optic that tactic beautiful He's going to be making an aggressive B push with Marky B. Shots being fired. Marky B taking out Merc. Nate shot with a huge two piece. It's going to be all up to Flux. Flux here on the flank. He's going to be one versus three versus Big Timer, Nate shot, and Scum. You know what? It's just all going up this way. I still cannot get over that strategy. Stand up oh, here. Marky between B's monks. all alone. Oh, Marky B is all alone. Here we go. He's getting pinched. Optic does manage to get that return, but here is Monks. Monks still alive, but Scum oh. with the awareness. Gonna put that flag in, he's near his score streaks. Huge play by Scumpy. Oh, it most certainly was, it does look... Because when a player is hot, he is hot 
and this is what Scumpy does. He comes through every now and then with these just rounds that are ridiculous, and there you see the lightning strike. He doesn't even care. He's almost back to his streaks again. He still has that Hellstorm, so look. He called this Hellstorm in, or this lightning strike, just because he's going to get it again, and look at this. Scumpy is on fire right now. This performance is insane, and you know what? He doesn't even care at all, Bryce. Calls in the lightning strike. That's going to be enough for him to try and put this flag away. Here we go. TCS Nine Flux strike. is going to be the last player left to challenge Scump. He's got a scorpion, but Scump, oh no, Big Timer shuts him down. Can Scump get that flag cap? Yes, he can <laughs> on a nine kill spree, Bryce. And now you see, look at this. Look at this, Merc defending his flag. TCM oh, is threatening, he misses. but oh, that could be huge for TCM. And there's some backup in Monks. Marky B is running this through the middle. This is very careless. He's got away. By... He's got away. Oh, oh, look at the flag. Oh, oh, the player bottom brown. I don't think he managed to get the return. Flag is in the hands of Rich. Only one optic player can stop him from across the map. It's going to be Merc. Monksy now trying to get here to get Merc. They have to get into that flag. And they do manage to do it. Merc TCM it <laughs> putting that flag away, Bryce. <laughs> Because at the moment they're just being so sneaky and slipping around optic, being incredibly dodgy. And there we go. This is in fact another push. But there's someone at the back. Is he going to check? He is. He's in nade shot. Can he take him down? That flag is away. Oh, flag is away again for Which TCM. Support. One player in yellow. It's going to be Scumpy. Can Scumpy finish them off here? That flag still running here. They have to take care of Scumpy. And oh, TCM do shut oh my him God, down. Monksy. Merc coming up behind. Gets the stop on the flag. And oh. the Merc going huge for Optic Gaming. Winning this CTF. And oh my <laughs> God, that was so close. Oh. Almost got around the corner. And now you see TCM. Nothing they can do except watch as time dwindles down. Optic Gaming, after going down one to nothing in the series now have a two to one lead in a very nice position right here i like what he's doing he's waiting to see if he can get some shots oh. on optic picking up a huge two piece oh. right there points once again optic not really able to claw back the deficit as much as they would like on that last one is monkey be picked up two can he get the third no War machine available he can pick up one more he is in the oh. hard point he gets taken down by skump skump with a three piece right there taking out three tcm players in about two seconds on the hard point and now optic Coming back with momentum. Look at Scump on a tear now. Again, and you see it runs out of ammo. He swaps to the M8. He can't get anything with that. And now Flux is pushing for the next hard point. Oh, two piece by Flux. It's going to be in the middle of the map. Oh, don't do it, Flux. And he oh, does. Oh, just turns Flux. on Nade Shot for the three piece. Flux adding to that. He is 30 and 25. Huge games out of them. Monksy needs one more kill for a 30 bomb. On the other side, you see Scump going 34 and 32. He is the only positive player for Opti Gaming at the moment. I think Marky wants the 40 bomb. I think that's what he's aiming for. Oh, that's why he's still playing. 15 seconds. There's number 37. 38. No! Oh. Oh. Marky B really being aggressive right there. 38 and 19 now, Bryce, as this <laughs> one dwindles down. That was an amazing map by TCM. They really made was. all the right plays. But look at this. Flux taking out Merc. That B side is wide open now. Monks is going to try and put this down. He's got some cover. He's got, uh, let's see here, Marky B and Flux. So Monks getting that bomb down, and here's Flux jumping up on the platform. There's going to be one player from here, from Optic, right around this corner. And there you see Flux picking up a big kill right there. Oh. TCM just cleans house. Left alive for Optic, and there's the pick from Nade Shot. Great shot with hit by him. And now Merc is going to be pushing in with Nade Shot at the back door here. And let's see if TCM can actually manage to hold them off. Big Timer goes down. Now you see Merc going down. It's up to Nate Shot. He's going to be one versus three. He's pulling out the sniper, oh. and he misses the shot. Rich takes him out. Three to two now in favor of TCM. Yeah, it really is. TCM have now taken the advantage here. Nate Shot, like I said, he was in a bad place. Tried to get the snipe out, and he wasn't able to. Rich shut him down faster than he could pull that trigger. And look, he just missed just by a little bit. Did Rich manage to get away? Hey. If TCM can manage to lock this down, it's going to be bad news for Optic. They have actually slipped in there now, in there, and TCM have looked away at the wrong moment. As one goes down, it is now two versus two. Rich is now on a five kill streak. They've actually backed out. They are completely out of the hill at the moment. They need to go find out. They need to go challenge this bomb. I think it's being defused. Big time. And yes, he does. And Rich takes it. Rich is playing out of his skin. I believe that is a six kill streak he's now on. And they all need to push A. This is where everybody on TCM needs to push the A bomb zone quickly but it looks like they're actually rushing mid on oh let's see here monks picks up the kill on nade shot i think rich might hammer, call rich. this hellstorm he might do it they're all outside too bryce they're all outside, outside. this could be very bad he he's dropped his hammer. Idea. 
They check out. He's going to see there's no one in here. They have no idea that Rich has this Hellstorm. Is he going to call it? Oh my gosh, it? here he oh comes. Oh Optic in a no! world of trouble now. He is going <laughs> to cluster it, and there you see one kill on the Merc. Two players down for Optic, only Big Timer and Scump left alive. Welcome to the Gfinity Tournament here in London. I am Fwiz alongside Ton. Hey man. What oh. an epic weekend it has been. It has been fantastic, you know. Game after game after game has been ridiculous. Every yeah. single game that has been streamed today, it's pretty much every single one has went to the wire and it's been brought down to this. Complexity yep. from, the U from the US. Come on, oh. whoa, 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 whoa. The US. Yes. Yeah, okay. <laughs> so the pro complexity from the US. Yeah, yeah. Taking on TCM yeah. from the US. No, I'm joking. Oh, no. Yeah, probably okay. <laughs> but yeah, it's going to be a great game. Absolutely. I mean, it's so crazy that this international matchup in our championship, we actually have North America yeah. versus Europe. And TCM has been playing a phenomenal oh, yeah. weekend of so Call of Duty. Good. A lot of people are, always say they come in strong on Saturday, mm -hmm. they kind of deflate on Sunday, but they're playing awesome. And this yeah. is actually, we saw the, uh, you, you know, this is a pretty good matchup between these two teams. And, like these guys play out. I mean, if we look at the stats, uh, complexity of 81% of their maps. Have they really? TCM, 77. Ah, well, so, number, I mean, numbers don't lie, right? Yeah, exactly. I mean, TCM's strongest game will be in S and D. Complexity is is Hardpoint and CTF, so you know... They're Swiss, T the general Swiss, oh, man. <laughs> general Swiss. TCM need to win their S&Ds, and they just have to hope that they can take a CTF or a Hardpoint. We are doing best out of five, and they oh. just need to nail it down. One thing I would like to point out, though, S&D standoff has not been played by either one of these teams this weekend. Interesting. So, S&D standoff not being played by either one of these. TCM haven't had played it this weekend, but they do claim to be the best S&D team in Europe. And they took an S&D off Optic, who claimed to be the S&D, best S&D team. They, and they are a very world. talented S&D group, no doubt so, about it. you've got to think, TCM should be winning those S&Ds, and they probably will win those S&Ds. Yeah. If they get to it, because Hardpoint and CTF coming up, Complexity have dominated everybody this weekend, pretty much. I mean, yeah, yeah. No, I mean, Complexity, if that Complexity and Impact match was oh one for the books, man. God. That's this a, is going to be hard to replicate because that was insane. That was insane. And there you have the Complexity Squad. They were fired up against Impact. They brought a ton of energy and intensity. Everyone was huddled around watching that game. The banter was high between the two squads. And Crim6, on the, and the very end away from you drinking the water as we speak, actually said if I, on Twitter, like an hour ago, tweeted, if I'm not the best player in Call of Duty, I don't know who is. So he is on cloud nine right now when it comes to, <laughs> some may call it arrogant, but I would say from definitely the best player in the U.S., you know, from a North America standpoint, we don't cover or follow Europe as closely yeah. as, as you do. So I don't want to say in the world because that's, that's quite the strong statement, mm -hmm. but I kind of agree that Cream 6 is the best player in North America. I do know a certain uh, Damon Karma follow that we Karma's just absolutely you know, amazing, uh, too. At the, at the end of yeah. the day, you know, Complexity are here. Yeah. Impact on. And, and that's a tough one for Impact because they lost to Complexity at MLG Anaheim in a hard-fought championship game. Yeah. And then Complexity knocked them out again here, making them finish in that third, fourth spot. Yeah. Um, so mean, a, lot, a lot of people said that this is going to be an American versus American final. Yeah, they did. But you know why that... It, it, you would think it was because, because it, Impact and Complexity didn't get to split up because of where Impact finished in there. Group. Right. TCM stormed that group, did not lose them up. Yep. Pretty much. No. Oh, no, sorry, they did lose the map. They, they did, did not lose yeah. the game. Yeah. But just TCM did so, so well in that group. And then that Optic much. Gaming matchup, too, I mean, oh, wow. that, that was a hard-fought battle. Yeah, but at yeah. the end, that yeah. Search and Destroy game, I believe, on Meltdown was what really kind of sealed it for them. Oh, yeah. TCM's players on S&D, they're so ridiculous, they work. Yeah. yeah. I was speaking to them. I fully expect to see you guys four men rush in the same direction. Yeah, yeah. They, they were literally will be defending and will rush the bomb site themselves. So... Man, it, it, the, the, the games that they, the things that they <laughs> do with S and D. Sorry about that, guys. <laughs> that was funny. You know, they just play ridiculous, and it, it catches them off guard. You know, I mean, complexity. Then maybe they're expecting now because they would have been watching TCM. But would they have expected to be going up against TCM in this final? I would say no. No, no. There's no doubt about I it. I predicted at the beginning See, of the day. Though. So I would I say, just, yeah, you did, and I and you did because I was casting with you. So I will give you. I will most certainly give you that credit. And you said that you thought they were going to win it all, and it comes. And I picked complexity at being in this tournament. So, and now 
EU North American cats or EU North American team. Our picks to win it are all here. Well, Woo! we're won. one nil up essentially because of okay. the caster battle. Oh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, the caster battle Dropping earlier. Was like a pro, wasn't I? Let's not talk about that right <laughs> now. And we're gonna jump on board with the Complexity Squad, and we're gonna be in the eyes of Clayster. He is the hype man. He was the missing piece for Complexity since they added him to the roster. They won MLG Anaheim, and they find themselves here in the championship. And a great start as they knock down three. TCM players and Complexity takes the first hard point. Complexity straight away their kill feed is being dominated by them coming in with all the important kills straight from the bat you know the first hard point isn't necessarily the most important but you've got to set up for those next ones with TCM advance back straight away inside that hard point pretty well contested straight away. Absolutely we're going to jump over on with TP here the hard point is contested. Clayser gets some shots on Monks. TP picking up a nice kill on Flux. Oh. A two piece on Rich and finally Marky B comes in to knock him out and Crim6 easily gets into that hard point, but it is contested because Rich is still there. Shots fired. Complexity takes it back. Flux holding down the hard point. Sees two Complexity players. Throws a nice nade to the right. Beautifully played. He did Ooh. it. He picked that kill up late, but you know he split that pillar there. He threw a nade to the left, jumped to the right, and although he did die, that was a nice execution. TCM holding that hard point, but Complexity takes it back over. No, I think he might have still had that on. I'm not sure why he decided to pick an RC car. That is not a common one used, most mostly focused on search and destroy. I think what happened is they sat down in the stations yeah, yeah, they yeah. were in before. They had a game five search and destroy, and he didn't switch his score streaks. It could be a mistake. He does pick up his Hellstorm. TP picks up a two piece, and Complexity, they lost a lot of points from that garage from TCM, but it allowed them to make a move into the basketball court. They were able to get there first, so now it's TCM's job to break this hard point, and TP is on a roll here taking out everybody. We're going to take a quick look at the scoreboard. 14 and 11. The, the TP is going to have five kill streak. Now just picking up so many streaks at the moment. Oh my god, oh, what is Rich? Rich just stunned him. Fantastic play by him. He's managed to stay alive in center. Jeez. Oh my god. <laughs> So complexity adding to the score here at 149 to 83. The hard point is racking up for them. 42 seconds. A look at the scoreboard. TP and Rich are definitely the hot shots of each game here. The rest of the players all going negative for both teams. So this is the TP and Rich show, holding it down for North America, holding it down for Europe. These guys are just absolute studs this game. And we're on board in the eyes of Rich, who's just been killing it there. He's going to get taken out. We'll switch over to Monks, who's got three consecutive kills, and he's holding it down in the kitchen on hardpoint, avoiding some kills. Picks up one, tries to get the second one there, and it's an assist. He sees oh. somebody in his sights, and is he going to get that? No, oh, finally, Monkey it's Marky B that helps him out. Monks has got a hellstorm, and he's doing a great job racking up points in this hardpoint. 173 to 120. They've got a deficit they need to make up for, and they've got to do it now in the kitchen with 26 seconds left in the hardpoint. Point. They are doing a phenomenal job thwarting off Complexity's advancement. And Monk's able to take out Clayster here, holding it down. He's got a lightning strike yeah. still at his disposal. He's got five consecutive kills, picks up Aches and the War Machine, and he's going to be able to do some work with this. TCM coming back here in a big way with only 20 points with a separation. They had a huge deficit that they've made up for. TCM What's is kind of just strike? catching wind here. Monks takes out Aches with the lightning strike, and again, he's got the War Machine, so he's just a terror oh there. Picks God. up TP as well. They're going to take the lead in this hard point if they keep it up. That's moving in. This is going to be tough here, and Ooh. TCM might take this from Complexity, even though they had first setup. They do. <laughs> they break the setup, and TCM knocks Complexity out a minute and 30 seconds left, and they are just dominating here. TCM coming alive late in the game. 25 points left. None of his teammates are anywhere on board with Rich now. Muxy picking up the two piece. X coming in with a kill on Rich as well. TCM moving in the half point. X and TP doing work though. They're holding it down for complexity. But TCM back in there once again. Yeah, absolutely. Flux is still in there, and they, they've got to hold it down. Complexity has to keep pushing in here. Oh, with the, so oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. TCM just dominating Complexity here, and they got a ton of time in that hard point, and they've actually already rotated to the next oh one. God. Rich is won. in the middle hard point, and they've won, they've won That's it. Game. That is game Complexity there. TCM, the European boys, are going to take game number one after, again, huge. They were down in it by a pretty significant amount ton and they pulled it out. I hate to be the Benson here, but oh, geez. what did I say? Oh, jeez. <laughs> oh, These damn boys coming out here, yeah, they're going to hit the 250 as Benson's well. Benson's a fair weather fan, man. He, he makes seven different picks over a weekend on who's going to win. And there you have it. The final score is going to come down to 250 to 199 TCM.
and all you hear is Swiss saying, come on, boys. See him. Wow. <laughs> Monk, Marky P oh, actually takes out Monk, so it is a 3v3 situation. Oh, he's made up for it. And oh, he's Mar just taking out Rich he's as well. He, wow. Marky, Marky B. B. Oh. Two team kills to Be start careful, this game man. off, and that is not smart play, Flux but still. Flux takes out TP. We're going to switch over on Flux. Oh, a uh, gun battle oh, being exchanged so, between so these two one juggernauts. Oh, what's going to happen? Oh, oh, Flux is going to take it with 1v2. Monkey B took out two of the I team cannot. Hits. That's how good they are in search. <laughs> it doesn't matter, honestly. Fuse it. Three versus two. Two versus two now. Oh. TP just taking out Monks. And we're going to jump on with Marky B. Bomb is down and oh, he gets Clayster. taken out. Clayster just goes big. And there you see it. Hype man. He stands up, gets excited, and they're going to get the defuse on the bomb. Complexity answers back with a round of their own. And now it's tied 1 1 here. Game number two on Search and Destroy. Oh, he's annoyed. He's not very happy, Clayster. Oh, look man. The they. they he is a hype man and a half, and that is really the field of the fire for complexity. That first kill was insane. There's the second one as well on Marky B. Marky B didn't really need to challenge that. He probably just could have stayed alive. Two complexity players, no one near the bomb. Yeah, they are both sitting back here very patiently. Oh, Marky B shooting, getting very, very oh, nervous. Oh, Aussie XD. Sorry, sorry. Yeah, yeah, I got to do that. That wasn't a trophy <laughs> system ton. And, yeah, that was a, you could see, though, that was a little difficult. Uh, Marky P retreats as Clayster takes him out, and now it's a 2v2 clean situation as we're going to jump out. Oh my goodness, Clayster picks up Rich, which has kind of been a head glitch spot there. Oh, Monks Almost he... takes out Monks and TP right there to pick up the kill, and a nice, nice play by TP. He is. Flux takes out Clayster. Aix is on a roll there, takes out Flux, and now Marky B all alone trying to keep his team alive and in this search and destroy game. Yeah, well, he's just missed out on one or two players there. Is he going to run into him? Yes, he is. No, oh, he's going to make the kill. Big shots on the X. They're going to take him out. Needs to stay alive. Marky B just gets amped up, and he's got to be one of the best players in Europe. Is now he is going to try to single handedly keep his team alive in here. He's got to move into ringside and take out the bomb. And now he's looking around. He sees one there. Oh, and not TP's able to make take it. it happen. A little sloppy shooting there, and TP is going to capitalize on the opportunity. And TCM is going to be sent packing on game number two. Here we go, currently on a full kill streak. Oh, that's sorry about that, guys. That black screen. Sorry, guys. Sorry, we just closed your eyes for a second, and all you <laughs> missed was TC. I'm just going crazy. Actually, it was Clayster that now is five kills. So, and Clayster takes out Flux there as we are on board with him. He's going to try to take out Rich. Rich picks up a beautiful two piece there. Switching over to Aix. TP did grab a two piece of his own, taking out Monksy and Rich. Nice kill by him. We're in the eyes of Aix as now Complexity trying to make another push in here. Two minutes, 22 seconds left on the clock. That's two down for TCM. Make it three, make it four. Four down for TCM. And this should be a flagpole. No problem. Cutoffs are established as we pull up the map here. You can see really the only player that can try to hustle there and get it is going to be Monks. And that's not going to be easy. A flag is going to be pulled in there and it's going to be Complexity that goes up two to zero with two minutes left in the game complexity playing a very strong CTF here on slums yeah for me that has to be two mil in the series now I might be picking up a two piece as well it's not gonna matter I can't see TCM picking up two flags unless they get some sort of ridiculous relay and spawn trap on the bad side and you know look here Crimson coming with another one that, that has to be game yeah that's definitely I hate calling games early I've been advised ever since day one of casting not to do it but a minute Nobody's 30, ever revived me of that. Well, <laughs> <laughs> a minute and 31 seconds left. 3-0 in favor of complexity. Kevin's only 140 there right now. Yeah, I yeah. think that what you're going to do is you're going to ride out an all-nighter. Yeah, there you exactly go. That's what exactly what I did. Then I got 12 hours of sleep next day. Fine. <laughs> Words of wisdom by Tan as we're jumping in at game number four. Hard point on Yemen. And we're in the eyes of Clayster here to see what he's able to do. Complexity moves in nicely to take this hard point. Crim6 picks up a two-piece. Switching over right away to him. He makes it three. And he's on and a roll. Ball. Make it four. Crim6 finally take it out. But not after he's able to take that hard Hard point four kills. Now it is open for either team to take over. 35 seconds left in that hard point. TCM's going to move into it. It was flux. It didn't last long. And complexity back in the hard point. Complexity really riding this first hard point here. They did in the first game as well. They started off fantastically. 15 point lead within 45 seconds. Insane. Fantastic play by them. They've held it down so, so well. TCM really, really need to bring this into it now because oh man, the hard point, the last hard point, the one. But this is Complexity's best map. You've got to say, is this going to be the championship going to Complexity? 
Yeah, you don't know. I mean, last time these two teams played hardpoint, it was really bad start for TCM, and TCM was able to turn and burn on them real hard and win the game number one. If they can do that, they can push it into a game of five for the people out there watching and asking. This is only a best of five, so if Complexity wins this, they will win the entire championship. So this is up to TCM to desperately push this into a game number five and put it in a search and destroy where they are so often good at. They were not in this series, but they do definitely want to get to a situation on search here. Clayster picking up a kill on Marky B, trying to fire in shots. Wall bang in there, not able to pick anybody up, continuing that shot back and forth, continuing to get hit markers. Crim6 picks up a two-piece, and now it is Monksy that's in there. He gets taken out, so back and forth these two teams are going. Yeah, well, momentarily, TCM have actually taken the lead yet. Clayster inside the half point. Not many people are going to get past him watching this door but somebody's going to come around behind him nice. from the window fantastic play but well, now TCM if you look at the minimap in the bottom right hand side corner complexity are perfectly set up on this next hard point that's the nice thing when you have a good start there and they did they were up so quickly but complexity had to abandon it they are down 41 to 33 and this was the smart thing to do because TCM just rolled through they took that hard point over and complexity you've got to rotate on hard point you got to know when to cut your losses and move to the next one and complexity does that and it's going to be worth their while because they take the lead back from TCM the problem is with this hard point map if you are taking this back hard point here you're not going to have a good spawn for the next one no you don't this is a you uh, kind of the a sacrifice to take this hard point and they had no choice to do it now they're moving up here they've got their whole team here. i don't think i've seen a tcm kill for a while now and they're picking up some now but it seems it's, like it's been all complexity Aix's, for this hard point yeah it definitely seems very comfortable in this hard point just racking up kills he's got a deadly ar here getting shots and again picks up yet another kill and tp was over there these guys are trying to rotate to the next hard point aches is going to be the last one in there they're trying to set up here Full and let's see points. you've got clayster that's ready to roll to try to get those boys where they need to be. And it's going to be TCM that's going to get the church hard point and complexity has to move in on this. This is really all about the rotation. That's why the teams are battling against each other. And I wouldn't be surprised if TCM catch up with this 30 point deficit because they, both teams, as you can see, once they are in that hard point, they are very, very good at holding it down. But it's a case of who gets there first, who wins the first gun battles. And then you're going to see, what, I mean, look at this. Fox is holding this down. He has his team around him as well. I'm going to be watching the window. So he's just going to pick him off. TCM set up very, very nicely. BenQ, Mugs, and Rich coming in there with the two kills. TP picking one up as well. But here we go, TCM have picked up 35 points on this half point already. Absolutely, and Rich finally gets taken out, and this is what TCM needed to do. They just take the lead from complexity on this hard point. They were able to get all of the time in here. I mean, it was hardly even contested, and now you've got complexity on the rotation to pick up the next hard point, which they had to do. I mean, they had to abandon that. That is... That's the thing about that hard point. It's so difficult to break through there. That's why you see North American players use a shotgun. With it not here, it makes it even harder. It's the same with the previous hard point to that one as well. We've seen Complexity pick up 60 points, TCM pick up 60 points consecutively. And it's very, very close. But here we go, Complexity inside the hard point now. But a couple of kills going down as well. Here comes the Hellstorm missile. Rich needs to stay alive. Gonna get taken out there. Flux has done work though, can we go on board with him? Absolutely we can, we are in the eyes of Flux here, he's got three consecutive kills, Causing dangerously problems. close to that Hellstorm, they've got to move in and capture it, go. picks up Crim6, he does get that Hellstorm, comes in, gets the hard point, that's going to earn him a war machine as well, and he picks up another kill, Flux on fire, going to retreat oh. out of there, gets taken out, but he does get a lot of power to work with, racking up all three of his score streaks, oh. Lux comes in, picks oh, up a two-piece, and Monksy just put on a show for everybody out there. TCM coming up big now in this half point. As I said, they're very good at holding down. That's the first time we've seen a really big break come off. TCM come in there and Flux very influential with those score streaks. That war machine is going to cause hell for the complexity team. TP picking up a kill. Rich picking up a kill in return as well. Crimson and Eggs doing work. Clays to taking out Flux as well. So there you go, complexity. Once again, with a better start on that central half point. Yeah, absolutely. 122 to 119 in favor of TCM. I got to look at the scoreboard because Flux was doing some work there. Marky B needs to step 12 up. and 13. So actually, Flux was not doing that well up until that situation where he just went on a roll. He's still in the negative, but now he has caught fire. And again, he's on a streak again. He's had three consecutive kills, trying to make it four here, going to duck some shots. 
and throws the smoke out. Nice play by him. And bowling out the big boy War Machine. Seeing what he can do with this. Going to load some grenades in that boy and just fire it out. Seeing if he can pick up any kills. Not able to connect with anybody. Puts it away. Pulls the SMG out. Picks up a kill. No, that did. It was Marky B, but he got the hard point. And now you see another rotation happening. Yeah, the rotate is going to happen in complexity. Our first one's there. CCM needs to start thinking about breaking them. This is a big move by X. He needs to hold down this back half point. He has help from his teammate as well. And this is very, very important, this spawn. This can set you up for the next two half points if you can hold this off correctly. And X going to pick God. up a nice kill on Flux. Hard point is established here. They do look pretty well set up. And you've got TP that's going to rock it out in here. They've got to get some quality points in here because a lot of it, remember, you don't want to go back to that church hard point where they saw earlier in the game after this, another two rotations, and get stuck where TCM was able to capitalize on the entire time. So TP holding it down here. And they are going to take the lead back from TCM. So back and forth we go. And I'd expect nothing less between these two squads. Oh, my. Oh, now they picked up an insane two piece there. Flux is going to come in with the and get the half point for TCM. And TCM are on the better spawn here. Could they get inside this next half point and pick up the points in the end? Very important gun battle going to happen down here now. He's going to pick up one. It's going to be rich. And as he picked up the second, it's a big gun fight. Oh, it's so important for Grimzix to pick that up. He had his teammates in support as well. X is going to pick up the final scrap points, and it's looking complexity at the moment. Yeah, and complexity with a 10 point lead. And last time they were in this hard point. They held it down, and this time instead of Aix, it's going to be Crimsix. That's going to be your AR back here, holding it down. See what he's able to do, picking up some kills, not able to connect with Marky B. And TP's going to take out Rich. Aix takes out Marky B, switching that SMG back and forth. He can do everything with those guns, and they are getting some serious points here. But remember, last time this happened, it went to, it goes to Church next, and they held, and, and TCM was able to hold it down great. We've got that guy sitting in the bottom there. That's going to be clear step. And the reason he's sitting there is to do exactly this. He's going to move a wipe out. Flux with that. It's like, it's like a ray gun, that thing. You know, Especially it, when you're good at it. Yeah. Oh, my yeah. God. Look at this, man. It's like a master class in how to use the M8. Yep, absolutely. And this time, they will not make the same mistake that they did last time. They're going to try to get in there and make sure TCM doesn't take this hard point for the entire time. Yeah, Placer, a beautiful Elliot. shot on Marky e. B. They know somebody's in there, so Aix is going to push in. He takes out Flux, so Aix and Crimsix are... Well, I'm sorry, Aix was in there. Crimsix just got the last time in there, but it is TCM that gets this hard point, which it was so, so critical for them to do. Complexity knew that they couldn't allow them to do it. However, it still happened, and TCM needs to be heroes in this hard point. Yeah, they need to hold this hard point. Are they going to go second? Oh, that's a little mistake that you don't really need here. Are they covering all the right exits here, TCM? Because they need to. They need all 60 points. Oh, it's looking very, very dangerous. Picking up a kill on Marky B. That's going to be clear. Star. This is important. That's very, very important. Oh! This is going to get shut down, though. They need to get inside there right, right now. TP inside the half point and complexity defending this well. 60 points to go. There's only. Oh, my God. I don't even know what's going to happen. TP gets taken out. Who's in charge of the half point? Who knows? And with only 52 points remaining between, or separation between these two teams, they can win it if they just make every single second count. They've got to do it now. Monks is in this hard point. 55 seconds left. Technically, they can do it, but statistically speaking, it's going to be very difficult because you just got to get in there and contest. Monksy not letting it happen, takes them out. Hardpoint switch, Crimsix in it, and that might be all she wrote as complexity Game. is going to win the Gfinity London Championship in style. Yeah, and they are pumped, yeah. Clasers pumped, complexity winning back to back championships in two very significant oh, tournaments. They're already giving the high fives, they know the game's over. Tom, what an amazing matchup. It was fantastic. You know, TCM looked like he was got back in it. Uh, and this is why Complexity won it and win it, because they made those important kills. They got in there, took TCM out of that final, uh, second final half point game. That was it. TCM needed all of it. All right, guys, this brings the Gfinity to a close, and it's official. Congratulations, guys. I mean, how are you feeling? You guys let them have that first game, but you brought it back. Uh, you know, we just wanted to make it interesting for the fans out there, all the European guys that thought they actually had a chance, you know. We decided to give them that raid hard point, you know, just so, so they thought they had a chance. Give them a little hope, you know, it's just so we could dash them back down in those last three. Is that really what happened? Uh, <laughs> yes. No, I mean, we just, uh, we stopped playing as a team after we got up so much. We were up by like 100 and we stopped playing like we play. We just started going one by one and, you know, they came back on us, got streaks, and that's how that happened. I gotta ask Aches here, man. Congratulations. This is Complexity's second tournament win in just a few weeks. You took home the championship crown at Anaheim at the MLG event. Now you won Gfinity. And 
How many matches did you guys drop this weekend? Uh, in the total, in the final eight bracket, we dropped two maps, I believe, and then in pool play, we kind of dropped, I think, three, and it was one of each game type. We were kind of just testing with some stuff, but uh, I mean, really, we could have three would every team here and, and moved on. So how are you feeling right now? You don't seem too excited. This is nothing new for Aches, man. This is expected, huh? I mean, Impact set the set the bar at the four peat, and we're gonna do it better, and that's all I gotta say about that. All right. Well, you're halfway there, and how is the new addition filling in on the team? Just like Anaheim, we're playing perfect. Like our, picking up Clay was the best thing we could have done, and I mean, we're all playing amazing, and this team's the this team's the, the winner. And you're definitely the most vocal of anyone here, and that has been said so many times over and over again. I mean, what's going through your mind? Because you're really calm right now, and so when I actually met you in real life, I was like, is this the same person that we see playing out there? Um, I'm a pretty chill guy in, in uh, you know, social situations. It's just as soon as I sit down, you know, a flip switches in my head, or a switch flips in my head, and uh, I just turn it on. And um, it's just really, it's an intimidation factor, you know? It's like, I don't act like that anywhere else, you know? I'm never, like, yelling at my friends or, you know, my family or anything like that. It's, well, I'd hope not. Yeah, you know, I'm a nice guy in general. And uh, all the people out there that think it's, you know, arrogant and kind of cocky and kind of, you know, unprofessional, you know, after the games, we all shake hands, we all hang out, and we all have a good time. We know it's all in-game trash talk, and that's all it is, and that's what people need to see it for. That's true. I mean, it definitely is an intimidation factor, but what do you think is different about this event as opposed to, say, MLG? I mean, it's much closer quarters. Do you think that has helped you guys at all? Most definitely. Um, at MLG, they have the surround sound headphones, and you're not facing each other, which is another huge thing. Here, we're sitting, looking at each other with just our headsets on, and if you yell out enough, you can get over top of those headsets, and then they see you standing up, you know, gesturing at them, and it's just a... Uh, it's a intimidation thing, yeah. No, you definitely do. <laughs> I like those answers right there, Clay. But I got to ask you guys, well, of course, we have Aikson and Mr. Clayster on the couch, but you're just half the team. TP and Crim6 also had an incredible tournament. Who was your MVP this week in Aik so far? Who do you think uh, was the standout player for this event? I kind of want to give a shout-out to TP because he did exactly what he did in, in Anaheim except better. Stat-wise, he was never really, like, on top but he made so many clutch plays it came into factor every map and I mean I, I want I don't want to give my MVP necessarily to him but definitely the shout out and then as far as like stat MVP I would say me or Krim. You or Krim I like that answer as well and I gotta ask you guys you know we came into this event thinking that prophecy would be the biggest challenge coming from the UK but TCM I've never seen them play before this event, and they blew me away. Were you guys surprised by how well they played here at Gfinity? I want to say TCM's kind of like the European us. They, they rely a lot on gun skill, but I mean, it just wasn't comparable to ours. But they definitely made a run, and they shut Optic up, and they shut Impact up, and, and that's why. I mean, we do the same thing because it's all about gun skill, and they have a lot. And uh, definitely a big shout out to them. They played amazing. Was there any point you actually were slightly nervous and thought, all right, we may actually lose this? Um, no, that, that thought never crossed my mind. I definitely uh, gained some respect for them after that first map, after they were able to maintain compo composure and come back. Um, it was really, like he said, a big shout-out to those guys for you know coming here, performing, getting all the way to the finals, and uh, unfortunately they had to play us at the end. They did. Chris, do you have anything else to add? Uh, I just want to give these guys an opportunity to give a shout out. You guys are the champions here of Gfinity. You'll be taking home $30,000 for your efforts. Aches, I know you got some people to thank for getting you out here and for being part of the Complexity brand. I want to thank my teammates first off. I mean, they played amazing. Every single one of them this weekend played out of their mind, and just like they did in Anaheim. Other than that, shout out to Sound Blaster, New Egg, QPad, PMY, Creative, Origin, and... Uh, uh, we couldn't do it without you guys. And a big shout out to all the, the complexity guys as well. We love you all, and we're all a part of the family. Is there anyone you'd like to add? Uh, just all the family and friends watching back home. I appreciate all you guys, you know, supporting us, you know, watching the stream and uh, enjoying some good Call of Duty this weekend. Well, congratulations to Complexity. And to you guys, thank you so much for watching. And we're going to head back over to the... What an unbelievable end to an unbelievable day to an unbelievable weekend. I've got one question for you. Have you enjoyed Gfinity? Yeah! I knew you loved it. I just had to check. So it all had to come to an end. And my God, we've seen some action this weekend. We've seen all ranges of emotions. We've seen some shouting. <laughs> Clayster. We've seen some tears. We've seen laughter. But what we've seen, it's been buzzing in here for Call of Duty. We knew how big Call of Duty could be for Gfinity. We just didn't know it could be this big. With your support at home and the support from everybody, we've had an amazing time. So... 
Gfinity unfortunately comes to an end. We've had the final today. We've had the semi-finals and the quarter-finals. And I think you'll all agree it's been absolutely, mind-blowingly, game-changingly epic. Am I right? Yeah! I like this. You're agreeing with me. This is good for my ego. Let's just keep it going. Um, we do have a few thank yous, though. A lot of people made a lot of effort in order for this to take place. So if you are not from the UK and you made the effort to fly all the way here from all the different parts of the world, we say thank you to you. Give yourselves a round of applause. It's been immense. Thank you for the effort. Much appreciated. Well done. Well done. Well done. Uh, to our partners and sponsors as well, with your support, this wouldn't have been possible. Again, thank you. Round of applause for those guys. Much appreciated. Awesome stuff. Awesome stuff. To the players, you really brought it. We asked you to bring it. We invited the best teams in the world because we knew the competition would be unparalleled and it didn't disappoint. Let's hear it for the players and the teams. All of you are awesome. Well done. And do you know what I've learned? That no matter what some people say, some of you really can hang. I don't know what that means yet. I imagine it means play well, but I'll learn. Trust me, I'll get there. Right, but we do have some prizes to give away. We wanted to make sure that we had someone special in order to present these awards. Um, so please let me introduce to you a former Rugby World Cup winner, former England rugby captain, Mr. Lawrence Delalio. We thought, we'd, we thought we'd give you a world champion, someone worthy of presenting these trophies. For those of you from America who don't know what rugby is, it's, it's like NFL, but for men. <laughs> Check it out. <laughs> there goes the Martin White fan club. All three of them gone. So without further ado, um, we saw some, you know, a lot of said was about European teams' performances at Gfinity this weekend. Not much was expected. We expected American domination. We kind of got it in the end, but nothing much was expected from the European teams. We had a team that stood out for Europe, stood out especially for the UK. In second place for Gfinity Call of Duty 2013, please welcome to the stage, go mental for TCM Gaming, please. Have the come, boys. That's it, just keep filtering down, boys. Thank you. Cheers. Right, boys. Um, you did so well. You did tremendously well. You did tremendously well. Everyone's really, really proud of you. You really brought it. And, you know, there were times when it looked like you might wobble a bit, but you kind of had that steel and determination to kind of really dig in. Swiss, you are someone who has a lot to say during games. <laughs> Some of it isn't audible. We can't understand. It's just noise, but whatever. It's appreciated. Just, just tell me, what does coming second place at Gfinity mean to you? It means a lot. I mean, before this, no one, no European team was expected to come anywhere in the top four. So actually getting in the top four and second in the grand finals, it means a lot to us and Europe especially. Good stuff. And, and what, about, what about your opponents, the machine that is complexity, that just doesn't seem to stop rolling forward? What have, you, what have you got to say about those guys? I mean, complexity, we thought impact were good, but complexity are on another level. Like, their hard point game is so strong. Their CTF and search and destroy, they're a very good team. So hopefully we can come back and beat them some other time. Love that. Love the confidence. Boys, you did yourselves proud. Another round of applause for these guys, please. Well done, lads. Sorry, a few good cheers. Thank you. Well done. So, obviously the TCM guys did incredibly well, but there always has to be a winner. We have that winner. Um, just one thing you need to know about the winners. I, I, my first esports experience was over in Anaheim a few weeks ago. Got the, I had the pleasure I had the pleasure of meeting these guys in an interview. So we sat down, we spoke about what their expectations were for Gfinity. All five of them, all five of them told me that they were going to win it. When I asked them who could beat them, they could only lose to themselves. <laughs> They're not short on confidence. They are the Gfinity Call of Duty champions for 2013. Raise the roof, go nuts for complexity. Is your trophy, boys. Hoist the trophy in the air with pride. It's a British thing. I love that. Round of applause. Let's hear it. So, um, I can't believe how much noise you guys make. I mean, what, what is it? Is there, is, are some of you like hard of hearing? What? 
<laughs> it, was there something wrong with the headsets? So well, it's all hype though, right? It's all hype. I'm going to ask you because you're the, you're the main instigator you are. Emma. Yeah, I don't know if you know this. I'm going to educate you. <laughs> a little bit. Right, so just, just tell, tell us and tell the people at home because they've seen you jumping up and down all weekend. Um, what, how, important is the, how important is the hype in Call of Duty? Uh, a lot of people underestimate how much uh, intimidation and how much hype actually matters. Uh, it gets in the opponent's head, makes them play worse, and then you let them know that they play worse, and then they play even worse. So it's a big factor. So it's got absolutely nothing to do with sportsmanship. <laughs> I'm only joking. I'm teasing. I'm teasing. I'm teasing. Give me a hard time. <laughs> I'm only joking. I'm, I'm only giving you a hard time because you can handle it. Um, I can hang. You can hang. Yeah, you can hang. <laughs> <laughs> Even I'm getting heckled again. Uh, Aches. Talk to me about TCM Gaming. Were you expecting a, a European team to get to the get to the final two? I did. I expected them to beat Optic. Um, I really feel like they're the European us in the sense of all their guns. I mean, they literally that's how they compare to us and. Uh, they're an amazing team. If they go back and practice, you're going to see them again. Uh, big shout out to you guys. You guys played awesome. And uh, it's a great team. Excellent stuff. Excellent stuff. So, obviously, it's a team game. It's a team game. But we have, a, we have an MVP award, which is a, a Gfinity Scuff Gaming controller. So, we asked you to have a little think about who was, who was going to take this. Who's it go to? You know what's funny? Uh, is it? Team, team needs a new scuff. But well, he was the MVP, so <laughs> we're going to give him <laughs> <laughs> Round of applause. Who's, as you, oh, you want it, yeah, TB, right. Uh, round of applause for TB, please. Sorry. I'm oh, sorry, man. Oh, I promise it's in there. Now. Now. You didn't come here for free. There was some money up for grabs. Obviously, the TCM guys walked away with $15,000, so that's a, an excellent amount of money, but the top prize was $30,000. $30,000. $30,000. So, leave it to the big man. If you'd like to accept your check, the winners of Gfinity 2013 Call of Duty Champs, Complexity! Come on, boys. Excellent. Thanks very much, guys. Cheers. Right. What? Do you want to? Yeah, you can. Yeah, you can. or you can stay. Stay here. Come it's nice. Me. Will I come with you? Yeah. Looks like some of that money's getting spent on me. Brilliant. <laughs> I knew I was right to take this job. Right. All that's left for me to say before we, before we hand over to the other guys is just to say thank you very, very much for everyone that got involved. For everyone that's in this room, it was amazing, amazing, amazing. It was goose pimple inducing. It was madness at times. I've had two asthma attacks and someone somewhere needs to find a defibrillator because my heart has failed three times of all the excitement. For you guys at home, I hope you enjoyed it. We had massive support from you. Millions of you tuned in. Thousands of you tuned in for every single game. And your support is unbelievably appreciated. So thank you very much. So if you're at home, pat yourself on the back. Why not? We won't be able to hear that. We'll just presume it's happening. Yep, someone wolf whistled. Knew that would happen. Good. Well done. So all that's left to say for me on behalf of, uh, on behalf of everyone at Gfinity, thank you very much. We'll leave with another resounding round of applause because if you think this is a success, you make some noise right now. <laughs> love this. We love this. They told us, it, they told us in Anah Anaheim they'd have the final say. They've had the final say. It's back to you guys. Thank you very much. Sadly enough, all good things have to come to an end. And it's been an absolutely sublime weekend here in London. It really has been. I mean, this was the first Gfinity event. And personally, I think it was pretty amazing. And by the response on Twitter, I think everyone really enjoyed it. Yeah, absolutely. We had thousands and thousands of impressions. We had tons of people giving us comments, interactions on social media, and whether or not into Twitch chat, and on Facebook, and all the other things. And the people in the building, it's been absolutely excellent. I know. I definitely wish though the audience could really be here to feel this energy because it's unlike anything that I've really experienced you know compared to MLG I mean this was just it was so great to be up there in person and just really feel their energy yeah, it felt extremely intimate it was it was a great venue where we are we were literally on the 28th floor of the sky straight scraper in the center of London we got Westminster right behind us the Thames is right here as well and you couldn't ask for an any better event and a better venue as well and we Hundred and one hundred and ten thousand dollars of prize money to give away in both League of Legends with Western Wolves coming out on top. Uh, my apologies, uh, 
Copenhagen Walls, my apologies. Yes. And of course, uh, complexity in Call of Duty. It's been absolutely great. It's been so much fun. So thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you to Gfinity and thank you again to all of the amazing teams. I think that's that's it. Let's close out the show. Yeah, thank you all for watching. A spec for me, it's great. I'm I Justine, and we'll see you guys next time. Till next time. Bye. Thank <laughs> you.